Alrighty guys, let me go ahead and check everything is up and running. Just want to make sure everything's all working and good and make sure that my mic doesn't sound odd or anything like that. If my mic does sound odd, guys, let me know because I know it sometimes acts up and things, but I think we're okay and I think we're ready to go ahead and get started. Uh, let me make sure everything's happening on both sides as well and make sure we're ready to go ahead and begin. I think we are. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So greetings, everybody. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Well done to Cubby Queen for getting the golden cookie. Well done, baby. Thank you so much for getting that cookie. <laughs> How are you, my love? I'm all right, thank you. And welcome in as well. We've got uh, Second Met, Natural Carnage, True Pride. Uh, we got Marie. Welcome in, guys. How's everyone going? Let me make sure I've not missed anyone as well, because I do see we've got a, we, I do see we got a few people here. Make sure I've not missed out anyone else before I get going. Hope everyone's having a fantastic uh, fantastic Friday, though, and hope uh, you guys are looking forward to the weekend. we got the Brit. Welcome in, dude. It's, uh, let me see. Uh, True Pride says, uh, True Pride says, you are food. Good. <laughs> I mean, both, yeah, and technically, yeah, both are correct, Brit, right? How you doing? Angelique, welcome in as well. How are you doing? Uh, right, let me make sure I'm caught up on the other side as well, because, you know, things like to happen over there as well. Uh, yep, looks like we're caught up over there. Uh, Marie is good as well. Excellent. Glad to hear you doing well. Bruh, who's brewing me? Yuri, I'm sorry. There you go. I miss you. Yeah, I knew I missed one. Sorry, Yuri. There you go. How are you doing, Yuri? I knew, I, I did see you coming as well. Just totally forgot. And I was like, I was like, just trying to skim through. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's Yuri as well. How are you doing, Yuri? I hope you're doing well today as well. And uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, popping in and just like keeping me company today. So let's go ahead and get started but before i get started guys well uh you know what's uh, you know what's gonna happen thank you Coffee Queen, for giving carnage a shout out baby very much appreciate it uh but before we go ahead we've got to go and give coffee queen a shout out because guys if you don't know coffee queen you've definitely got to go check her out she's an absolutely amazing streamer she's the love of my life she always brings a smile to my face and a lot of other people's faces too because she's just beautiful in every single way possible plus she makes really cool shit with crochet like yoshis and all that kind of stuff as well like so yeah she's uh she's uh also working on another pattern but i'm not allowed to tell you what it is so yeah that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be something <laughs> right gummy queen so yeah you're, you're working on more top secret patterns soon right 
Eventually, Eventually yeah. yeah, more top secret patterns are going to be coming through as well. So yeah, that's going to be yeah, that's going to be pretty good. And uh, hey, Carnage over on the other side too. Thank you so much for showing support over there too. Very much appreciated. Ooh, that Shelby. How you doing, Shelby? Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Um, says so, uh, how does the uh, how does the lily pad not catch on fire? So Kingdom, honestly, Kingdom, I have I have I have no idea how it doesn't catch on fire. I guess because it's uh, I guess because it's a leafy green. So you know, therefore you know because there's water right under it as well. It kind of keeps it moist enough, I suppose. But I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know the inner workings of this game or why they chose to have things not set on fire. True Pride says, Coffee Queen is amazing. That is absolutely right, True Pride. Coffee Queen is amazing. And I'm going to adjust my stuff. Hey! The baby boy! The baby boy. <laughs> Sup, karate boy! How's it going, Mouse? Welcome in, dude. How are you today? Uh, Kyle's like, Friend of me! <laughs> yeah, we got, we got a friend of me. Hope you're doing well, Kingdom, as well. Thank you so much for popping in, dude, by the way. And thank you, Kyle, for giving Karate a shout out. Very much appreciated as well. Make sure I'm uh, all caught up. Here. I think we're good. And uh Karate's like, hey, sub carnage. Hey, <laughs> and how are you doing? How are you doing well, Karate? So I hope everyone's doing well. Right, let me make sure my game isn't lagging too much. It is a little bit, but hopefully it'll uh hopefully it'll catch up a little bit. But yeah, we should be uh we should be fine. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I need to before I actually go and get properly going, I think I know why it might be lagging because video playback is actually going on this side of things, and I need to pause it on that side of things, and that might make it run a little bit smoother. Yeah, there we go. That's running a bit smoother now. There you go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Try to try trying to try to dual stream sometimes is a little bit a little bit crazy. And uh, Shelby's like, I'm here too. Hi, hi, Devil Shelby. Uh, says uh, and Marie says uh, says Max in an intense voice. <laughs> what karate boy? <laughs> He's so intimidating. <laughs> How you doing, Tyrus? Welcome in, dude. How are you today, dude? Thank you so much for popping in. How, so how's everyone going today? What you guys, uh, what you guys been doing today? And uh, what are you guys' plans for the weekend? I hope everyone's going to have a really good weekend, though. Uh, today we are going to continue and maybe actually do the head stab today. I know I've been intending to do it for a little while, uh, but we did manage to get some molars last time because I actually managed to craft an insect hammer. And speaking of that. I should probably go craft an insect action though because we can actually do that now, which is really good. Um, I told you we needed more spider fangs. It's really, oh, we always need more spider fangs, but eventually we're going to get tons of them anyway because you know I just every wolf spider I, I see I usually fight anyway, so we'll build up a good supply after a while. And Zeke says uh, work and more work. Ah, oh, working it all through the weekend. And Kai says grounded and more grounded. <laughs> yeah, I think I think grounded is uh, I think grounded is on the on my list as, as well because you know that's the thing. So uh, so carnage kind of, uh, all mantises must die because you know are they. Are they tormenting you in New Game Plus, or, or are they, are, is, is it really, really bad in New Game Plus? Um, I've not fought the Mantis in New Game Plus yet. I fought the Assistant Manager, but not the Mantis yet. Uh, True Fight says uh, grounded as well. Finally came, uh, finally came out on PS5. Nice, yeah, it did. So all you guys on console get to experience it as well. Uh, Kai says all I've done today is die by the Mantis today. Oh, really? <laughs> Marie says uh, I know how to get. Uh, I know how to get Tier Four. I think you got to get it from bosses in like New Game Plus, haven't you? At some point, and we've got. Uh, um, hang on. We've got, uh, we've got Jot McDumber. Welcome in. How's it going? Thank you so much for popping in. How are you going over there? Uh, weapons. Yeah. I wish you could get, like, infused armor as well. That'd be nice. Like, tier 4 armor that had, like, really good stats on it. Because I think that'd be a, that, that's kind of a thing they missed, I think. Considering how intense some of the new Game Plus bosses are. And the fact that if you get, like, a... If you get like a sour one or a spicy one, it can literally just explode the room and insta kill you whenever it wants to. I think they need some better armor. Granny, thank you so much for your resub, dude. Very much appreciated. How's it? Thank you so much, dude. Uh, you need to be in New Game Plus 4. Ah, okay. So, so I, I, I didn't know which New Game it was, but yeah, I knew it was like, it wasn't plus 1 or 2. So yeah, that's that's great. That's that's nuts. So Cash is like karate. How you doing, Crash? A? welcome in. Wait, Crash? A? No, Cash. A. I can speak today. I I can I can worry today. All right. So yeah, let's go craft an insect axe. I need one of those, and uh, we can finally get one of them. And I will need to go and get some berries before long, so that we can you know finally make a proper set of ladybug armor as well. But first of all, I need to equip this guy into here, and then we need to remove my. Wait, have I crafted two pebble axes? Uh, I did. Why? When did I craft two of these? I don't know, but oh well, we'll just oh wait wait. I know when we crafted two of these. When I was I, I crafted the second one of these when I was by the hedge, and I remember now. Uh, I remember now when I crafted two of these things. Like it's that one time a band camp when I was by the hedge. <laughs> uh, so you remind me from uh you you're reminding me of Stampy from my childhood. Really? Wow. <laughs> uh guys says uh guys says crash, eh? <laughs> crash eh? <laughs> cra cra crash eh rider? <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be bad. Um but yeah, uh, so it says so Jumpy, I think it well I, that's that's the thing, it's like I'm I'm I don't think I've anything like Stampy, I guess, but you know, if I if if I you know he's like a much bigger content grade than I am. Didn't he quit though? I think he quit at some point, didn't he? Because he was doing like a load of Minecraft stuff. 
I assume we're talking about the same Stampy. And then he eventually just like stopped doing. Uh, he stopped doing. And uh, Gray is like, "Cash, hey!" <laughs> and he's like, "Say, he's like, what's up, Cash?" And uh, just says, uh, "You're extremely, you're extremely energetic and happy." I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy streaming. And I enjoy like all you guys hanging out. So yeah, it makes me happy. And of course, I've got the most beautiful woman in the world sat right next to me over here. So you know, honestly, like I've got, ev I've got everything that I could possibly want. And she's a, she's like blah 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 blah. It, it looked like a blah 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 kind of thing. <laughs> okay, she was like, my bad. I'm sorry. It just it just wasn't what it looked like for over here. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, that 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 beautiful hand right there, and then that beautiful voice in the background. That is Coffee Queen. Uh, I shall now nickname you as Stampy Two. <laughs> so I, I it's like yay! I'm taking on a false identity. Woohoo! I win. <laughs> All right, let's go get started. So we made our insect axe now, which is really good. I need to essentially go to the hedge, get some berries. There's all the moles in the hedge we need to get as well, um, and lots to do. And I don't think I got the rotten red ant club yet either. So we're going to go make our way to the hedge. One thing I need to check, though, did I get the molar under the plank? It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, I did get the molar under the plank, so that is fine. We've got everything there. Um, that's, pretty much all, that's pretty much all the molars we can get right now. Actually, wait, before I go, before, no, no, turn around, turn around. I want to see, actually, if I can get some more bombardier parts, because the more jerky racks we can make, uh, the quicker we can get uh, the quicker we can get berry leather, right? Um, because, yeah, a jerky rack, instead of costing three leather to turn into, or three berries to turn into one leather, you just do it for one to one. So, yeah, we're going to, we're going to, you know, go, we're going to go around to the butt of the bombardier and just gonna you know rub it for luck <laughs> oh he liked that did, did you did you have, did you hear that noise of pleasure then like when you rub a bombardier's butt and it sounds like it's in pleasure it's like... <laughs> so yeah he uh he very much liked that i think there you go i have one reason why i don't play grounded i'm scared i'm scared of bugs says uh says uh oh man that's the, is, is it like all the bugs or is it just the spiders that, that mainly get you i'm getting i'm guessing though by that it's like every bug in the game honestly though like i don't know I've, I, that's the thing, I, I'm kind of like, all of them, oh man, that's the thing, IRL, like, if, if we're talking about IRL, I'm not a fan of bugs IRL, like, if a bug is, like, crawling on me, I'm just like, get it off, get it off, but, you know, in, in Grounded, it's, it's, it's okay, you know, especially, especially when there's these cute little that you can just go around and, you know, swing an axe in their face like that, right, you know, then, then everything, then everything's fine, <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing, I get, I get that the spiders and that can be scary as well, like, there is, I know there's arachnophobia, but honestly, I think they're scarier as blobs. <laughs> um, let's see, Emery says, Max, what? <laughs> I have to, I'm sad the broodmother got, uh, I'm, I'm sad the broodmother got infected. Isn't it a different broodmother, though? Like, there, there are like two broodmothers, right? <laughs> uh, Tripri says, I do pest control, so this game is right on my alley. <laughs> You're like, yes, I can do it in my job, and now I can do it in game two. Uh, there's bugs in this game, says Karani. Yeah, look, there's even a pond in the game. Did you know there was a pond in the game? Because <laughs> uh, there's uh, nothing in this, uh, nothing Nothing in this game is cute. <laughs> the aphids are, and so are the weevils, actually. And uh, the, the scarab is kind of cute as well. Right, do we have any bombardiers over here, or have I got rid of these recently? I think I probably got rid of these ones recently. Uh, yes, I did. But I do know there's three more over by... There's three more over here, isn't there? Let me uh, deal with you. All right. Oh, look, we even got some free shit, too. <laughs> Yay! Free aphid shit! I win! <laughs> so, I, I literally... I, I, it was funny at one point, though, when it was ages ago when I was playing Grounded with... Uh, I think it was I think it was with Tani I was playing it with, and she literally saw, like, the aphid just, like, dropping the honeydew. She was like, oh, my God! I literally saw an aphid take a shit! This is, like, the best thing ever! And I was like... You're getting excited about it, eh? And Aphid having a shit. <laughs> it, was, it was really funny. Hi, Lava. We're just going to leave these guys then. We love it, Lava. Uh, so, st 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 Stampy but he swears. Oh, yeah, I, I, I swear. You know, <laughs> we're 18 plus over here, so it's all good. Uh, <laughs> Cry's like, Cry's like, no way. How you doing, Zom? He says, hello, I have arrived. Welcome in, dude. I hope you're doing well. Um, so, you, so that is, is I'm, I'm guessing now I'm a downgraded Stampy too, if I swear. <laughs> but it's okay. I, it's, uh, it's, it's the thing. Hey, Pipes, it's uh, hilarious that you're starting. About it is for uh, is is for, for hot shot bug killer. <laughs> oh really? Is that what it was? That what it was for? I think for everyone it's different because you know like most ad things now are like targeted to what you look for and stuff. Um, we've got uh, Job says I shall be right back. All right then, dude. See you soon. And thank you for popping in by the way. Uh, let's see. And how you doing by the way, pipes? Hope you're doing well. Um, <laughs> Chris, <saying>, no way. <laughs> There's actually bugs and a pond in the game. And there's grass in the game, and a hedge, and, and like sky, and, and characters. <laughs> like, there's so many things in this game. Did you know there's a new game plus in the game, which means there's a game in this game? <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's go back over here. Yeah, see if we can, uh, 
See if we can find the bombardiers around here. I did I did fill up on one, didn't I? Oh, of course. I didn't. Oh, am I stuck in there? Yeah, let me just chop that so I can get out. <laughs> I got I got stuck in this little area here. Um, right, let's see if we can find the bombardiers around here. Because there should be three in this area. I don't think I took them out, did I? Oh, what? What? I pinch. What? <laughs> what? I pinch. What? <laughs> Maybe a little pinch roll, guys. You've got to turn it to work it and shake that butt for Yuri. Because if you turn it high enough, when you wield an axe and you kill things in your fury, so the bombardiers, they're going to go down. Then we're going to rip out all their butts. What? Turn it. What? To work it. What, man? I don't want none unless you got blunt, son. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then we got Mortal Kombat. All right, here we go. Going straight, going straight for it. I'm probably gonna die here. <laughs> All right, let's try and get that guy away from the others if we can. Yeah, it's a lot easier now with the insect axe. It's a lot quicker. There we go. Got it. Right, there's one. Ooh. Owie. Okay, back over it. <laughs> Hi there. Right, is there only one after me now? Okay, I think so. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the instant axe makes it a lot quicker to take these guys out. Oh, we got a crit. Nice. There you go. Taking now number two. Right, where's number three? Oh, it's the rock one. <laughs> He's in the rock. They still haven't fixed that. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's the rock badia. There we go. We got it. <laughs> hey, thank you guys. Thank you so much for the redeem. There we go. We got him. There we go. That was okay. Yeah, I, I got. I was getting like sniped from one inside the rock. I hate. I hate when that happens though, because like you can't get that guy, and he's just gonna stay in there now for the rest of the game. Uh, what do you find is the most annoying bug to kill? Um, annoying one to kill? Probably the wasp drone is probably the most annoying one to kill because they just keep like screaming and flapping about, and yeah, you gotta you gotta essentially just like keep going after them and targeting them. And especially when there's other wasps with it protecting it, it can be really, really annoying. See, I pro I'd probably say the wasp drone is the most annoying one. Um, and hey, Dubs, how you doing? Dubs, welcome in, dude. Sorry I missed you coming in there. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for popping in, dude. All right, let's go get some dry grass. I need to make a campfire so I can cook these aphids because otherwise I'm going to I'm gonna die of hunger and that's not going to be a good thing. Everyone's like, yes, Max is going to die. Are you, are you excited for Tuesday? Am I excited for Tuesday? It's your birthday, isn't it? I mean, of course I'm excited for Tuesday because I get to spend my birthday with you. But, 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 but that's nothing that you guys need to remember, okay? You don't need, you don't need to remember that at all. Everything's fine. Just forget we said anything. <laughs> so it's the, it's it's not important. It's it's, it's so okay. It, it, it's so nice. It's just, as you would say about your birthday, baby. It's just another day. Hmm. <laughs> you're just like <laughs> you're just you're just like you're just like damn it, you got me. <laughs> No, but it's not going to be another day when I'm with you, because that's the best. And I want to make sure that your birthday is it never is. just another day again. Tuesday, chat. Don't yeah. it. Cover Queen's birthday is not on the Tuesday, it's going to be mine, but Cover Queen's birthday is a uh, little bit later on in the year, and we've definitely got to do something special for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Monday? <laughs> no, Monday I got a bloody video call with Universal Credit. It's like the day before, it's like, yeah, happy birthday. Have... Tell them what I got you for your birthday. <laughs> Am I not going to tell them? I mean I, I mean, I mean, I think I should, shouldn't I? I think I should. But it's, that, sure. it's, it's not going to come for a little while, though, because it's on a pre-order. Um, it, 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 it did cost Cover Queen a lot. I'm going out with more yarn. <laughs> She's going without. I'll buy, <laughs> I'll buy you some more yarn. I like buying you yarn. But yeah, Cover Queen got me. Uh, she, she showed me today what she got me a little bit earlier on, because she was like, well, I could I could just tell you on your birthday, but it's going to take a while to get here because on pre-order. She got me a... Um, she actually got me the collector's uh, box edition for Grounded. And I was like, oh my god! <laughs> because it was, it's one thing I've wanted to... I wanted to have it because it was like, you know, I've been with Grounded like a lot of you guys from the very beginning. Um, and I was just like, yeah, I want to I wanna get it, but I knew that it was like super expensive. So yeah, she and the family actually got it for me. So uh, thank you, baby. <laughs> and yeah, so I've got, I've got it now. But yeah, I'm not actually going to... But yeah, I'm not actually going to open it. I'm going to like... I'm literally just going to have it on display, just boxed up. Um... And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it boxed up and like sealed, so that it will literally just be like a collector's thing, and it'll be. But I said, I said to Coffee Queen though, like the the condition is though, no. that yeah, yeah, the no. con the condition is that it has to be ours, not no. just mine. Yep, it's ours. 
and that's uh, that that's the condition i think that's uh, I, and i think that's uh i, I think that's a good thing Cry's like i knew it <laughs> uh <laughs> slim is like hogwash how you doing slim hey dark elf welcome in as well sorry i miss you guys there and uh cloudy says uh i forgot to infect the fire queen so i'm losing the dimensional anomalies uh the dimensional anomalies gold cards it's all right just do it in the next new game plus and you should be able to do it on uh, that one um let's see and uh Cry says max you're in my calendar oh no <laughs> not the calendar <laughs> not the calendar not the cup drop calendar <laughs> thank you karate uh well, kind says uh kind of says uh, you can't kind of says you can't condition a birthday resin cut it cut it cut it shush cut it yeah <laughs> if, if i wanted to be asked because we because grounded because grounded was how we met and grounded has been with us for the longest time and i think it would be special if we if we both have it no oh, oh wait, there's Mario's right there. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a, see, this is this is why arguing is good. I found my roasting spit. See? <laughs> uh, it'll be a fight on the Xbox forum. Yeah, so she got me uh, a <laughs> guy kind of like, no, I, yes. <laughs> Shevna says, um, yes, we did. We did meet grounded. Um, and Kaz says, you can't condition a birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yes, I can. <laughs> Gogo's like, no. Uh, Dom says, uh, it's his. He can do with it what he wants with it. <laughs> and uh, Kaz is like, shut up, Dom's. <laughs> yes, Dom's, yes. <laughs> no, Dubby. Yes, Dubby. Good boy, Dubby. <laughs> Dubby's like, shut up, Dom's. <laughs> yes, Dubby. Yes, Dubby. Good boy, Dubby. <laughs> That's something I'm supposed um, to deliver. Uh, Yuri says, uh, infused wash drone is my sleep paralysis demon. Oh, yeah, I've, I've never seen an infused wash drone before but yeah I, I don't really want to come across one of those that'd be that'd be horrible that one yeah so i'm, I'm kind of glad i haven't seen one of them yet but yeah luckily i'm not in new game plus yet we're just in a regular just in a regular game for now um uh kai says uh skynet is banned <laughs> says um let's see and uh Clancy, why is it why is your xbox account suspended you got you got it suspended hey fear welcome in welcome in dude how are you doing today thank you so much for popping in how's it going all right, I need to go. Okay, first of all, we're actually going to go through the bottom of the hedge because there is the uh, there's the molar down. I think. Wait, no. Did we get the molar down here? I can't remember if we got the molar down here, so I want to go check that we got it. Actually, I can just look on the map. Did we get the one in the very corner there? No. Okay, we haven't got the molar in the very corner, so I got to go get that first, and then we'll come back. And Fear says, "Not too bad for me today." Excellent, dude. What have you been up to? Um, let's see. And kind of thank you so much for giving the shout outs for Dark Elf as well. Very much appreciated. How you doing, MG? Uh, sorry I missed you coming in there. But yeah, come and got me the collector's thing of Grounded. I mean, okay, so she, so, she, so she says it's just going to be mine. But in my heart, it's going to be mine and hers. Even 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 if maybe the physical thing is just like there and it's, and it, and it's mine, it's, it's, it's going to be us in my heart. And that, that, and that is something she can't chase. So turkey, turkey. <laughs> but thank you, baby. Help, I'm stuck. Uh, keep, keep pushing. Why? why, why? What's going to happen if I do? <laughs> Are you gonna start pushing back? I don't know. We get like pushing so hard that we're ramming into each other, and oh then <laughs> what? Play the goddamn game. I have played the goddamn game. Okay, doesn't mean I can't talk dirty. Yeah, my card is gonna come up with what I should have it. Uh, let's see. Marie says, uh, "PV me when I see the uh, assistant manager and direct inspector. Me." Activate your war crime. <laughs> uh, Fear says, I've accidentally been speed running my playthrough. I just started. Oh, very nice. Okay, so whereabouts are you at the minute? Shevna says, uh, when will we be seeing Coffee Queen back on Grounded with you? Well, Coffee Queen said she wants, she'll come back on Grounded, but in order to do it, she wa she's always wanted a map. Right now because it's not single player. <laughs> I mean, if you want to join in, you can join in. I'll just switch into multiplayer. <laughs> Is it, I'll switch into multiplayer if you want. But, you know, I, I've been trying to convince Coffee Queen to come back to Grounded. But guys, guess what? We can just get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to convince her to come back to Grounded. But um, Coffee Queen said, like, the one thing she really wanted from this update was to be able to make uh, our own version of the Grounded story within the Playgrounds map, right? So we could, like, re-put all the Burgle chips in and everything and make it. That's, like, the one thing that she's really wanted from it. And, that you know, I didn't think they'd add it. And obviously, the the devs were just like, yeah, it was it's too much kind of things to implement at the minute. Um, See, so yeah, I hear you guys. Uh, I, I hear you guys share everything anyway. So, Karate. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what's, what's mine is yours. <laughs> what's mine's mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the thing. With her, the only thing I think Comic Green doesn't share with me is like when she's cooking, she'll be like, I've added a secret ingredient to this to make it taste better. I'm like, what is it? She's like, not telling you. I'm like, but I want to know. She's like, nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's like the, I think that's the only thing she doesn't share with me. Uh, I'm on to get the last chip. Been to the hedge pond and the gas one. Oh, very nice. If you use an effective move, brother, uh, brood mother, dear God. Oh yeah. Uh, it says, uh, "Where's that? Uh, where's that guy screaming and charging at us?" <laughs> no, but that's the thing. Um, Coffee Queen said she'll come back to grounded, but she wants uh she wants a map with a, a story that she can play through that's like different than the main story so i'm working on a playgrounds map with a story to it but she says she doesn't want to see anything about it and she just wants me to make it and then play it right so it's going to take a long time because obviously like making a map like that is going to take a while like could even take me months but you know uh, the secret ingredient is love to segment i mean i mean i know it's one of them but i don't know what the i don't know what the others are but could she have yeah that's, that's 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 the thing i see her like going to the cupboard and i'm just like what's that and i was like aha it's this and she was like no i was i added it while you were looking at that one and i'm like wait fuck <laughs> <laughs> and uh and faith thank you so much for your leg very much appreciate it um uh, welcome in by the way i hope you're doing well today uh, let me see. Uh, so yeah, hundred more, hundred more won't be too bad, right? <laughs> right, sure, sure, won't be too bad. But yeah, if you guys wonder which molar I got, then it's the one right in the corner of the hedge. It's actually a very easy one to miss. So if you guys end game and you miss one molar, there is one right down in this corner. So yeah, just be sure to check that one as well, because that's one that I've known a couple of people to miss, and they've been like, I found everything. I've literally been everywhere, and I've been like, Have you been to the very, 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 very corner of the hedge? So just like. Uh, I think so. I don't know. Let me go check. Wait, shit. <laughs> and then they find it there. And it's like, it was the, and they're like, that was the one. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, that, and uh, just when it says, that was me. Yeah, I've, I've done it as well. <laughs> I've done it as well. I've been like, yeah, I've got, I got, I, I was like, I swear I got everything. And then I'm just like, right, there's, there's one molar left somewhere. And then it's been, it's been down there. Sometimes I do. I, I've I've known about it like the entire time since molds have been a thing. But sometimes I like in a playthrough, I'll just forget to get it, and then I'll be like, right, where is it? But now they show everything on the map. It's a lot easier to see where it is, right? Which is really good. Uh, As I'm says, I'm also currently working on a playgrounds map with story. There'll be multiple playgrounds over the same story, just a different genre. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm only working on one at the minute because yeah, there's only one thing in playgrounds right now that we can't do. Well, there's I mean there's several, but one thing that we can't add right now is you know those little white mushrooms that you get around the toadstools. We can't actually add those to pick up yet. At least I've not seen a way to. So I actually, I actually messaged Moobs earlier. I was like, can we like just have these little mushrooms here? Because like I really want to be able to pick mushrooms so that my character is not going to rely on Weevil RNG for mushrooms. Because <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd be kind of bad. Um, so yeah, we're going to we hopefully maybe get some extra little bits coming into Playgrounds. Because I don't think it really needs that much more. I hope they do add all the new New Game Plus stuff into Playgrounds though. Because they haven't added it all. How you doing, Crusty Queen? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Uh, make sure I'm all caught up here. Um, let's see. Um, we got uh, Wolfpuss says, uh, what New Game Plus do you want? I'm actually at the very beginning beginning of grounded i'm not on any new game plus at the moment oh maybe hmm oh oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh crazy queen by the way thank you very much for the t-shirt it's very much appreciated <laughs> comic queen comic queen showed me um she showed me uh yesterday when she came no the day before when she came back from uh when she came back from yours after the crochet night so thank you very much for that it's very much appreciated <laughs> uh chris queen says thank you for the shout out you're welcome uh but yeah not on any new game plus yet i decided that i was going to start a brand new game because like I know a lot of people are coming in from console and I was like, well, if I start a new game, I can I can like show people like essentially how to get 100% through the new game to prep them as best they can for new game plus. Right. And I guess says, you're welcome, Max. Thank you so much. Though. It's, it's, you know, you didn't have to get me anything you did. So I appreciate it. Uh, Kray says, hey, Queen. Uh, Yuri says, uh, hang on. Calamity says, uh, for new game plus one, I've uh, I've uh, I beg for extra defense. For new game plus two, I beg for extra defense and venom and for new game, uh, for for New Game Plus 3, beg for thou life! <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I was, I was actually watching, uh, who was it, C. Dinky, I think. He was in New Game Plus 4, trying to fight Schmecter. And literally, it was like, he he almost got him down. Then Schmecter was just like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to make the entire room blow up with spicy things. And it just insta-killed him. <laughs> like, he was at full health with, like, all the possible Molar upgrades. And it insta-killed him. And and that, and that wasn't even on woe. That was on medium. <laughs> so it's gonna be crazy. Um, so it's like, I have a I have a shitty challenge for you. Gold new game plus three creature health at two point five times and start brand new every fucking time. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. I think they do need to do a bit of balancing for New Game Plus. I understand that bosses are tough, but I think they need to give us a way. And this is like a trinket that gives you like spicy defense and sour defense and stuff like that. You need something like that. Um, Sigma says, uh, hello, hello, Yoshi. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I just hear Coffee Queen in the background, just like, meow. <laughs> just like, make it. <laughs> Yuri says, uh, my voice director doing God's spicy work. Yeah, he, he, he does that because the room is so small as well. There's sometimes like, there's no way you can run it in the room to avoid it. So yeah, you just die. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's literally just an insta kill. It's nuts. Like how crazy the fight is. Um, but yeah, you, that, that's the thing. You got you essentially when it's new game plus and you you like do a boss fight, you've literally just got to pray to RNG that you get a decent one without like OP abilities. But yeah, I think I think it does need a slight look at. All they need to allow us to upgrade armor like beyond what we can at the minute, because currently we can't upgrade our armor. We can upgrade weapons past level nine, but not armor. So I think if they were to add like a bit of balancing and then an armor upgrade path that we could use, you know, maybe just using more of the infused crystals or whatever, then. You know, I, I think if they just did that, that would probably be enough to cut the difficulty, right? Uh, would you join you for the new game plus? As technically things have moved and it's slightly different to and it's slightly different to the original game. I mean, that's up to Coffee Queen if she wants to join for new game plus. Well, there you go. You had it here first, folks. Coffee Queen would. All right, let's see. I mean, if you want, if you want to join me now, Coffee Queen, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> I mean, I mean, at the minute, but let's, let's face it, that's just for a minute. <laughs> then they're gonna be like, right, we're bored of him now. Get Coffee Queen on. <laughs> He's fucking boring, right? Get the Queen on here. <laughs> yeah. This is... <laughs> Actually, they might have come to see us because, like, you're a very royal and queenly. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, there's a molar up here. I need to get this one. Uh, can I do a jump from here? Yep. Oh, that wire nearly knocked me over. There you go. Got it. There you go. So there's a mole around here that we can easily get with this one. There you go. Show us says, yay! Um, so there's uh, how to get the prod smacker. Um, and the pinch whacker is easy just to go to a rusty and rip his arms off. Is that, is that easy? I wish you could do that, but unfortunately you can't. Like, you know, it's like, yeah, you, you, you can clearly use these things as weapons, but no, you have to go through an entire long process to get the prod smacker. And then, you know, for the pinch whacker, it's just like, you just have to pray that you know about the secret door. And if you don't, then well, then. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, Yuri says, uh, this white specter is still my favorite boss. Also, I think is my favorite. Just because it's the only human boss, except the man. But I don't think that abomination. I don't think abomination counts as human. I mean, technically, he counts as an infected boss, right? Because he's got like fungal growths and stuff on him. Um, and I think the game actually registers him as actually an ant because it works. If you use ant annihilator on him, it actually does more damage. Um, so yeah, I, th I think the game actually just registers him as uh, part of the. I think he's part of the fire ants faction because um, he summons he summons them in in the fight, and the soldiers are not hostile to him. So yeah, I, th I think he's part of the fire ant faction actually which is kind of odd which uh but you know it's it's, it's what it is <laughs> it's quite it's quite it's quite cool though right let's go get some more berries no don't uh, no mind. I'll, I'll go down and get that later <laughs> i'll get it i'll get it later i'm gonna go i'm probably gonna go to the uh Right, here's the, here are the uh, here are the testicle berries. So let's just knock these guys down. <laughs> hey, Coffee Queen, blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, it's blue balls. <laughs> That's all I'm, I'm just saying. The, the berries just look like blue balls, right? <laughs> it's, it's... <laughs> all right, let's, let's go up here. So it says that uh, yesterday I got the mint trinket from one of the Easter eggs. Oh, you did? Wow, okay, I didn't know you could get trinkets from those. I thought it was just like chocolate and like plant fibers and a couple of candies, but yeah, didn't realize you could actually get trinkets from them. Uh, it says, uh, Burgle, where is my burger? <laughs> Sorry, I have tried to change my prime directed list from cooking, flipping, and g -g -g grilling to raw s -s -s science. <laughs> right, there we go, we've got some science up here. All right, and we're actually going to make our way science? back across here because we can. Uh, there's actually a scabby up here as well we can get, so I'm going to go get that now. Because, um, yeah, the hedge actually has a lot of scabbies very close together. So we're going to try and find each and every one of these. Every last one. Uh, oh, have they added, like, a... Have they added, like, a leaf here? I don't think that leaf used to be there. Because, uh, yeah, the next scabby is actually over there. Um, can I jump on that bit? Yep, then onto that bit. There you go. And then we got to, like, land over there. Because there's a scabby, like, in that branch there behind the leaf. Uh, Cry's like, oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, Zom so says, um, actually, it's purple balls. <laughs> if my sister's still there, she needs to get a butt over here and come and do this white ring for me. Because it does my head in. <laughs> Cressy Queen, Coffee Queen needs a white ring done. <laughs> <laughs> what the noise? Uh, uh, 
Oh, it, 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 oh no, no. Okay, it, it, why is it the most annoying part, though? You know the, the white ring that goes around the main red button? Yeah. It's that. It's what? What? That, that's 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 the hardest bit of the pan. No, it's just really annoying. Oh, I'm really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I remember though. I have seen you working with him before. You're like, fuck, fuck. People scare me. It's fake. So like no. <laughs> Don't just let him be like me. Just tackles him to the ground, and then I just KO him. <laughs> For all those that like touching grass, this is from a friend of ours who currently made it. Oh yeah, let me go to just chatting so you can see. Uh, okay. uh, there you go, there you go. Um, right, now you can, now you can currently talk. made it just for all the um, touching grass. <laughs> hey man, how's it going? Everything's... A... <laughs> did, did you notice I'm like made of yarn and like, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's her, man. <laughs> there you go. Is there anything else you want to say while I'm in just chatting? No, it's okay. No? Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> this is okay here. Drug bear? Yeah, exactly, a drug bear. Dubs is like, uh, Dubs is like, I want to take a nap. I want to take a nap. Nap. <laughs> Dubs is naping. Uh, my, and uh, Cressy says, uh, Cressy says, my bestie made that. Yeah, it's, it's good, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah. Got... Do you know what? What? best part about it is, <laughs> it's no sober, it's all done in one. You don't need to sew any parts together. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Teddy, you need a new ass. <laughs> Teddy, he, he needs more than just a new ass. I think he needs a new digestive system. <laughs> it's like, it's like, what are you talking about my ass? It's like, you need a new one. I'm never giving him tuna again. I was going to say, like, you were just like, yeah, I gave Teddy Tudor because it wouldn't be left out. I was thinking, yeah, that might turn around to bite us in the ass. <laughs> and it looks like it has. Yeah, really it, though, oh, yeah, it's oh. good. But yeah, his, his farts are really smelly right now. Uh, Cody says, uh, what's that in his mouth? Like a massive blunt. <laughs> uh, a, a cinnamon stick? Says, Carnage. <laughs> says uh, you know, a BAFTA. <laughs> says, uh, that, that, better, that better have been a thick straw, says Karate. Fergal, <laughs> uh, what the hell did you put him Hang on, let me make sure I'm all caught up here. Uh, so uh, no, a dope, a dope care bear. <laughs> He's like, hey man, did... have you ever, ever noticed how soft I am? And I, I don't, I don't know why, but yeah, I'm, I'm full of, I'm full of stuff, and, and uh, I'm kind of full of drugs too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have mystical sins. How you doing, mystical? Welcome, indeed. How are you today? And uh, thank you so much, kindness, for giving mystical a shout out as well. As uh, so a joint sliff, whatever it's called in your area. <laughs> Why are you talking about my area? <laughs> Got a joint in your area. <laughs> you know you want to do this right, really you know you want to. <laughs> yeah, Chrissy Queen, you know you want to. <laughs> Come over, Chrissy Queen. Come really to the dark good. side. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, I, uh, she's like, nope, I am not doing it, and I refuse to touch anything of a similar nature for the rest of my days. <laughs> she's like, absolutely, absolutely not. I hate it when the game bosses have too many, uh, have too many, uh, one, too many one shot moves. Yeah, I, that's the thing, like, in, in regular gameplay, that's not really a problem, but yeah, in new, you know, especially if you've got the right mutations on, in regular gameplay, like, I don't think, even in woe mode, I don't think any boss can one-shot you as long as you got enough models and mutations. But yeah, when it comes to New Game Plus, yeah, they can they they can they can one-shot you. It's crazy. Uh, Chris is like, I fucking don't. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you love it, Krusty Queen. You really want to come and help Coffee Queen, don't you? Sisterly love, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Queen says that you can feck off. <laughs> so, so I'm not. I'm not doing that. I don't think I'm doing that. You can do it. It's just annoying. <laughs> I know you can do it. I see. I've seen you do it. Oh, there's a chest down here. <laughs> oh no, it's a turtle. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, we got some uh, food here. I will take that. I will take the food, and I may as well just eat that as well. There you go. Yay! We have a meal now. And yeah, at least now that I've invested a bit into hunger and thirst drain, like. Our stats are not going down nearly as quick now. I think I think we've already got it down to like sixty five percent. So already it's just like much more manageable now, which is really really good. Um, and Chris says uh, I'm okay, thank you. Comfort Queen can make it herself. <laughs> Chris is just like fuck no, do it yourself. Bye. <laughs> I'm out. All right. 
wouldn't expect it to. She's got one to do for herself. Yeah, I know she does. Marie says, uh, POV, if Tarantula Smeta stole my pet all for you, Virginia, and me, busted, <laughs> busted the door open, where is he? Then I just, then I just take him. <laughs> It'd be like that uh, video, there's something about Super Mario World, where he just like breaks into Bowser's castle and he's like, WAIT! You have to defeat all the other Koopas first! And he slides out just like... Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
<laughs> yeah, he's uh, yeah, t t Teddy is uh, Teddy is farting a lot right now, isn't he? <laughs> Miska says, uh, 100%. Great idea, Karate. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Miska wants one too. <laughs> I was going to say, if, if, if my voice was used for Google Assistant, it would probably just annoy everyone, wouldn't it? <laughs> if it I mean, it probably would. <laughs> they're, just, they're just like, just like, yeah, no offense, but like, even the AI voice better than yours. And I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like, oh! <laughs> it's like, I'm going to need some fresh defense after that sizzle. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go grab, uh, let's go grab these berries, right? Can I break open? Yeah, there we go. See, look, the berry chunks float. Why do the berries sing and the berry chunks float? Ah, ah, <laughs> that's that's changed in 1.4. It's because they want me to use the knife. That's why they they, they want to make it so that if a berry goes in the water, you have to use the knife now. I think so. There we go. Uh, Marie says, uh, "Me just chilling in my base and eating cooked sciences and a group of uh, a group of rust teas." Uh, me the mother said, "Mother, get them!" And the brood mother comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it, it, would, it would be cool, like if eventually, like in New Game Plus, you could find like a trinket that literally lets you summon a brood mother. <laughs> I mean, it, considering how strong the other enemies are, it wouldn't actually be that much of a. It wouldn't be that like like too OP if you think about it. I think that'd be kind of cool. Like, you know, you find like, you know, you got like the the mom genes mutation for spiderlings. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Then you got the whittling one. But yeah, then then you should have like, or maybe like a, a, a little widow one that lets you summon a black widow. <laughs> that'd be that'd be pretty good. Merrick says, uh, "Did you see my Megadeth video yet?" No, I haven't seen it yet. I've not been. Uh, I've not really been on YouTube too much today, but I will check it out when I can. Um, let's see. Chris says, uh, "Chris says, I'll go back to dial up." <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's like, he's, 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 he's like, oh my god, his voice, his voice is so shit. I'm lowering my, I'm lowering the quality of my internet just to not listen to it. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, why, why are you gonna hurt my heart like that, karate? <laughs> Uh, so, Virgil, where's my raw scientist I wanted to eat? <laughs> wait, wait, you want to eat a raw scientist? <laughs> Wendler's like, no, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, actually, while we're here now, we can actually get these, can't we? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't need these spawn, did they? So we can finally get some feathers. I need these, uh, and we can actually get a lot of these. Because wow, that's. I think that's the most amount of feathers I've ever gotten from around here before. Because I, I don't think, that, for whatever reason, now, I don't think they despawn anymore. Because yeah, the, these were here last time I came um, when I had the game loaded. So I wonder if they just. I wonder if they just don't despawn now. I mean, if they don't, that's good. Or unless they added them as static spawns to the begin at the beginning to help people get some feathers early. But I don't know. That's I mean that's really good though. I'm not I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mara says uh, Google Assistant uh, says uh, <laughs> we are kar we are Karate Mouse dial up is no longer available. Blame Max Fox. <laughs> like the old days of AOL. Welcome to AOL. You have email. <laughs> All right, has uh, all my food gone bad? Yeah, it has. And I really need to find something to drink. Is there a water drop here? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Coffee Queen is in a new voice of AOL. Done. <laughs> She's like, you have one message. <laughs> and I'm just like, I have one erection. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, I mean, it's true. <laughs> what? It's, it's, it's what your voice does, okay? I mean, I'm not gonna lie about it and just be like, oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> Marok says, uh, Marok says, you have sausage. I always have sausage. Craig says, uh, can I give the Ant Queen friendly food and then poison? You have to go to a new game plus to do that. What I would do, Crazy Fish, in this order, do friendly first for all three. In the second one, do the infected one and then in the third and then after that in new game you have to go to new game plus four then do the poison one uh or in new game plus three i think you have to uh, she's hired says granny <laughs> max playing grounded with a bonus <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it's good it's it's, 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 it's coffee queen's fault her, vo her voice is too goddamn sexy okay it's not don't blame me <laughs> don't blame me <laughs> i did no i did not do such a thing uh let's see and this is okay i was wondering yeah you have to uh you can only do one interaction with the every and queen per game so yeah you have to go to new game plus to do the other interactions but yeah i would do the uh i would do yeah the befriend one first because when you get ambassador level three it means that fire ants won't attack you even if you like you know make enemies with them right so yeah if you have that equipped it'll be make your life in the upper yard a lot easier um and then in new game plus you can then just turn that on whenever you don't want the ants to attack 
So yeah, I would probably do that one first. Right, says, um, I blame Max for everything. Hey, Nino, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for popping in. We were talking about, you know, how Coffee Queen's voice's Google Assistant gives me a boner, but, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, a very good time to join. I hope you're doing all right. <laughs> you're not a driver and I don't do your background, isn't it? <laughs> I was going to say, fucking hell. <laughs> you, you, like, turned left. I was like, <laughs> just, like, crashed the car. <laughs> Can I go straight forward? Why is your car going back and forward in a humping kind of motion? <laughs> I well, I mean, I don't know, officer. <laughs> I mean, have you heard my sat nav? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, his, uh, his sausage is cooked now. <laughs> it's it's cooked so much that the juices are running white. Like <laughs> it's like damn. <laughs> sorry, Karen. <laughs> Karen, we're not sorry. <laughs> He's watching enemy now. Um, Zom says, "Do your summon scale with New Game Plus?" I don't know. I don't think so, though. Um, I don't think they summon with New Game Plus. They're just the they're just the same. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Rocket, ro uh, rocket, rocking wheels, egg shape. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that's the. Uh, I'm guessing that's the mayo. Exactly. <laughs> Sausage and mayonnaise. <laughs> Sorry, I will go back to Croatia and I'll stay quiet. No, don't go back to Croatia and stay quiet. We don't want you to stay quiet. We we, we like it when you make noise, <laughs> especially me. <laughs> She's probably there, just like, oh my god. <laughs> You got you, you, you see you see what you guys started? You see what you started, karate? <laughs> karate karate's there in the background and you're just like, mm, you should see what I finished. <laughs> I got the science. Oh my god, I just didn't feel like what you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mystical says that uh, anyone been finding uh, the easter eggs in the idea i've only found one and it was in new game plus but uh, i don't think he actually had to be uh Craig says he's not even playing with the gamepad thumbstick anymore <laughs> 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 I think I think Gobble Queen's coughing now. I think we made her laugh too much. Then <laughs> uh, says, uh, "We know she loves sausages." Been saying, been saying. <laughs> Some says, uh, "I do know that your summons can spawn infused in New Game Plus." Okay, I've never I've never tried summons in New Game Plus, so I'm not too sure actually. Yeah, but I mean, if they can, <laughs> never <laughs> up up. <laughs> Marie says, uh, "PV, me me and Max when we're about to fight the infused mantis." Uh, we get a broodmother out of nowhere. I will now ride you into battle. I mean, I wish, I wish you could have bug mounts in this game, but I can see why they didn't do it because it would, it would break a lot of things, wouldn't it, if they did? All right, there's a scabby. We're gonna scabby, yeah. And let's go grab the marble from here because we need that as well. All right, there we go. So managed to get all that. Um, I'm gonna go grab the uh, spider infestation one here. Here we go. For so Very long, nice. I have felt Haunted by the spiders of the yard. Haunted, he says. Climbing, crawling, skittering with the greatest of ease. The greatest of ease. Oh, and how they delight in violating my workspace. I can't take a single step without getting stuck in their confounded webbing. I'm wasting daylight running, climbing, surviving. Or a day at the park. Doesn't matter the time. Oh, Pete just interrupted the tape. In the dark. <laughs> you can leave your toys home. Except for just one. Because you can leave your fling man. You can't leave your fling man. <laughs> well, <laughs> I love that one. Never leave your fling man. Right, come on, Barry. No, 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 no. Ah, I lost the Barry. <laughs> I lost the Barry. <laughs> I just said, uh, bro, you just murdered my mother's babies. <laughs> and soon I will murder your mother too. <laughs> We're gonna scare me. Yeah. I uh, just ordered my collector's edition for the game for the game room display. So this goes, oh, nice, dude. Coming Queen got me mine for my birthday as well. So uh, she's she's got it on pre-order, but it's not gonna show up for a little while, right? So that's uh, that that's my birthday present for Coming Queen. I'm literally just gonna have it for like a display. And from the and from the the kiddos as well, yeah. So it's it from. No more yarn for the next year or two. Oh, that's bullshit! You're gonna get no, more yarn. No, I'm up. no. Why? no I, I know, but that doesn't mean that I can't buy you some yarn. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Kogu's just coming to know Teddy's farting again. <laughs> well, Coffee Queen, have we learned what happens when we give Teddy tuna? She's like, yes, definitely yes. <laughs> 
Are you going to give it to him again? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> um, right, okay, we got uh, a couple of managers here. All right, we got another cassette here called Zip It. Let's have a look. It's like, yeah, shut up, Max. <laughs> Today, and truly asked, uh, or rather insisted, I take a break from my work for a family day. Right, I can also get someone. The argument that preceded my reluctant agreement was one for the ages. She just doesn't understand how important the work is. But in the end, all was not lost. As fate would have it, our little trip to Storm and Beaches Way Park has given me fresh inspiration. Come here, you. A particular attraction sported a zipline over an undulating pool filled with sun-baked tubers. Basking in the light of the cruel sun that baked them like red, red raisins. <laughs> but I digress. It was the zip line that captured my imagination. Such an elegant solution to my problems in the hedge. When we got home, it was straight back to work. After another argument, of course. Damn, when the Trudy always arguing, man. <laughs> uh, Virgil, I want my I want my fresh raw science to eat. Uh, this is uh, the line is so long and cringe, like Max. Uh, Max and the I'm in a can rap. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm in a can, and it's pretty great. <laughs> uh, I don't know what rhymes with soda. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh no i need to fully biometric scan this there we go right so we're gonna put our hand in and we're now in the hedge lab so yay we finally got here guys we finally got to the hedge lab so there we go <laughs> all right here we go and that should unlock this pc and there we go we just interact with that and we can finally get started also there's actually a water dispenser thingy right here so we can actually fill up our canteen completely while we're in here so let's go get all of those there you go that's filled out and then we just drink till we're full there we go. Crazyfish says, uh, Crazyfish says, I, cr I, I, cr I cross play, I cross play down. You cross, you cross play down? You make cross play go down? You destroy cross play? What are you doing? No, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, there's another set right here. Damage control. Here we go. Early test runs on the zipline system have produced mixed results. Uh, oh, it's being fixed. Prices I see. on steel cable are ridiculous, so I've been forced to proceed with my original idea. spider -Man. I'm using web samples from my unwanted guests. Do clever alterations. Think of what she will show Sarah through yet another toy into the hedge. I swear that the lost city of Atlantis might be found beneath the roots of this blasted toy. I told them both. No baseballs, no fingers, no more throws. Hey, come here. <laughs> I like that. It's like, dinner will be... I would say awkward, I suspect. <laughs> and uh, Coco Queen asks, uh, would you rather be a real-life version of The Walking Dead or Jurassic Park? Hmm. I mean, either way, I'm getting eaten by something. Uh, it just depends if I want to be eaten by a zombie or a dinosaur. Hmm. I guess, like... Honestly, I'd I'd say I'd say Jurassic Park because if you get eaten by a dino, it's over with quickly, isn't it? You know, what I mean, this is it, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you have less chance of surviving by fighting against dinos than you would at zombies, probably. But that's the thing. If you if you if you need to get eaten right, then that's it. And but in, in a zombie apocalypse, say if like say if someone you know and love was to get bitten and you had to watch them turn, and then know that you had to put them out of their misery and kill them, that I I don't know if I could do that. Um. I'd have a better chance to get zombies. That's the thing. You you would have a better chance getting zombies, but like the emotional the emotional trauma that you go through would probably be a lot worse because yeah, when 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 that when like if you or someone you care about turns and then that then you or that person has to like you know end it. You know what I mean? That's that's gonna take. A, I think that would take more of an emotional toll on you, like because knowing that you had to be the one to kill the someone you loved. Do you know what I mean? So I think that would be worse in the end. Uh, so you and uh, get a kid says you yeah. I mean you're dead either way, but it's like what'll be what'll be uh, what'll be worse. Uh, it, it depends if you like. Uh, uh, it, it depends if you like that. Family. It depends if you like that family member. <laughs> would be cool to go out seeing. Uh, would be cool to go out seeing dinos. I mean yeah, that'd be cool. I, I would probably say the uh, Jurassic Park one honestly. Yeah. What about you, Kevin? What would you do? Would would you do Jurassic Park or the Zombie Apocalypse if you had to if you had to like have any of those I like IRL? If you had to live through it, would you live through like The Walking Dead or Jurassic Park? I'm in Jurassic Park. Yeah, I would as well, honestly. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, th I think I think that'd be the best option, honestly. Go through go through Jurassic Park, and then you know, at least at, at least if you get eaten by a dino, it's gonna be over quickly. You know what I mean? It's just, they're just gonna like they're just gonna like bite you and you're dead. That's it. <laughs> Whereas with a zombie, you know, you gotta turn into one of them and shit, and you know, it's, it'll be it'll, it'll be horrible, right? Uh, it says, uh, "Mother, I'm scared. Some weirdo is going around r ripping beetles' asses off and killing my brothers. <laughs> it is I, the ripper of beetle anuses." <laughs> right? Says uh, as long as it's not alien invasions, then we won't. Uh, the, the, as long as it's not like alien invasions, then we won't stand a chance. All right, so this is the first pirate. The, this is the first uh, pirate. No, the first password pirate. Hi, tiny pirate gaming. Hi, Teddy. How you doing, dude? I just read you there. I can handle both, but dinosaur. But dinosaurs were delicious. <laughs> That's the thing. At least if you killed a dino, you could eat it. Whereas if you killed a zombie, you don't really get anything useful out of it, do you? So you know, <laughs> you have less chance of killing one. But even so, <laughs> how you doing, tiny? Uh, you hope you're doing well, dude. All right, piece of torn up paper with a number on it. This one says 58. So that's the first of four password fragments. So yeah, if any of you guys have never done the headstand before. <laughs> And you're wondering what you have to do. You have to find four of these little pieces of paper. The first one is just in the first room. And uh, I'll show you how to get them. But yeah, if you grab that, you'll have another cassette. My torments come together into one ingenious solution. After trying countless materials, I finally found there something we to And we got a resub from Dark Elf. Thank you so much for your resub. And thank you so much, Dust, for gifting it to him. Very much appreciated, dude. successfully fused the web ropes with raw science. Raw science. Once again, it proves to be the key. Oh, hello, Tasty. The new ropes are miraculously soft, but have the tensile strength of forged steel. I've dubbed my new creation Zippy Fiber. Just think of the practical applications. There you go. And thank you so much for the bits, Garnage. Very much appreciated, Only dude. Something without gums would suggest that. N this is not some trifle to pick parsley between trips to the periodontist. All right, there we go. And that's the cassette tape right there. Um, do you need me to turn up the uh, cassette tape uh, voice thing as well? I think I probably do, don't I? Just so, so it's a bit louder. Because I know it's it seems a bit quiet to me on mine. Let me have a look here. Uh, so audio. It's the... Let's see. Ambience volume. Which which one is it for the cassette tape one? Uh, let's see. Voice chat volume, voice chat. See, guys, I don't, I don't get why you can hear me sometimes. Because it's it's never... Is it? It's not music volume, is it? UI... Hang on. Which one is it for the tape? That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Hang on. Uh, do, 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 do. I can't read my chat under there. Is it? Is it effects volume? No, those are 100. Uh, let me let me like turn out one of these other ones. Hang on. Which one? There it says... Uh, uh, is it cinematic volume? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, it says, I can't decide what, uh, where, what, what to play. New Grounded Game or Sea of Thieves, uh, The Golden Glory Weekend. Um, I don't know. I guess The Golden Glory Weekend won't be staying long for long. Shelby, so thank you so much for the bits as well, Shelby. Very much appreciated. Sorry to just miss you there doing that as well. Uh, thank you so much, Shelby. Very much appreciated. So it says, uh, but on the on the other hand, getting eaten by a zombie would be an... Oh, I knew it could happen. <laughs> That's very true. And uh, Doves, thank you so much for the bits, Doves. Very much appreciated, dude. Uh, it says uh, Shelby's, bits, uh, Shelby's bits didn't ping either yeah yours yours did kind of but shelby's didn't for some reason but i do see them now thank you so much shelby and thank you kind of and doves for the best guys very much appreciate it um shelby says uh shelby says guys it's okay <laughs> i'm sorry uh so music ui uh oh maybe it's dialogue volume maybe it's that one let me let me turn this up a little bit to like 90 it might be that i don't think it's cinematic but yeah dialogue is probably what it is um so we'll do that and we'll see if that makes it a bit better because yeah it's a little bit a little bit hard to hear isn't it right now with the with the cassette tapes and that so yeah hopefully if we do that it'll be better all right i'm actually gonna turn this up a little bit as well there you go sorry about that guys um uh, kind of says it's not frenemy yeah exactly if you're gonna send me bits and stuff and actually like you know financially contribute to the stream i want to you know thank you because you know I know, especially for a lot of people now, money is really tight. So, you know, it's it, it, it all helps and we appreciate it. So thank you very much. You know, and it's ne it's never expected, by the way. So, you know, if, if there's ever times where you want to where you've like wanted to donate and you can't, I don't want anyone to like feel bad. Just having you guys here, the most important thing you guys can give is your time. Right. And that's the most important thing. Uh, so uh, look, look on the table. I will in a sec. Yep. We'll get the uh, we'll get a little statue in a minute. I know what we're looking for. Hang on a second. Let me just grab that science. But yeah, um, so yeah, you're thinking of the aphids actually, right? And first of all, let's uh, deal with this guy first. Get rid of you. One dead rusty. And there we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, kind of says uh, that'll, uh, that, that'll, 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 that'll cheer up your bits. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, 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 maybe. 
<laughs> Melrock says, uh, since the US uh, 3.5 inflation hike at the moment, up from last year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like that over here as well. Like, food, like, now costs, like, three times what it did in, like, 2020. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, or 2019. It's crazy now, like, how much it, like, I remember, like, you could get, like, you, we, we could get, like, a month's food shop or whatever, and it would come to, like, probably, like, 200 or so, and now it's, like, you can get like two weeks for that amount or even less than that. It's like at one point you went to the shop the other day, didn't you? And you're like, oh, I spent this much on that. And it was like, it was only like three bags, wasn't there? And I was like, I was like, really? And like, I, I remember when like, I, th I think it was like, it was just on, just under a hundred. I was like, I remember when just under a hundred would get you like an entire boot worth and back seats worth of stuff. And yeah, eggs are almost eight for 12 packs at some places. Oh, really? Eight dollars for 12 eggs? Wow. Um, Shelby says, uh, Max isn't even an allergy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Is it, did, you, did you send me some more, Shelby? Hang on a second. Wait a minute. I've, I've, mi I've missed something here, haven't I? Uh, my, my bits are sad now. <laughs> Shelby, I'm so sorry I'm not acknowledging your bits. I'm sorry. Hang on. Wait, I've, I've, I've missed something here, haven't I? Hold on a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to check. Uh, make sure. Make sure. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, we, we got a hype train. Thank you so much, guys, for the hype oh, train. I Very much appreciated. Oh, I missed. I always missed. Uh, I was like, Cottage. Hang on, Shelby. Let me, let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to like scroll up in chat now and see where it came through because it's uh, <laughs> uh well it, 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 wait wait is it even showing your messages in my toy shirt i don't think it is what is going on uh says uh look what you've done shelby <laughs> and shelby says uh oh oh the uh oh. the got got <laughs> is that is that it there you go <laughs> dub says oopsie fingers lift thank you so much dubs <laughs> very much appreciated dude and uh, for the for that for that as well for, for dark up as well hang on a minute Hang on. Oh, there it goes. Now, now it pinged. Now it pinged. There we go. <laughs> it's like now. There we go. Yeah, and it, and it, and it pinged as well at the same time. As, as I said, gawk, gawk, <laughs> we, we we always want some gawk, gawk. <laughs> why, why did it? Why did it take ages for it to ping it until I said gawk, gawk? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Melrock, for the bits. Oh my god, I swear my my, my bots are just doing whatever they want. <laughs> Fucking Nora, who did Shelby? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I, I can't words anymore. I can't, I can't words anymore. <laughs> they, they may be on words. She, she, she's just smiling and looking away. She's like, <laughs> I want you to say things though. Yeah, <laughs> guys, we we got we got we got Comic Queen to to we need Comic Queen to talk in the background, right? What? What? Maybe the little pin troll, guys. You've got to turk it, to work it, and she give up a time for rest 89. Because if you turk it high enough while you're in the hedge lab, then the eighth bit statue is gonna be mine. Just like this big round butt, and it's gonna make us all say, if you what? Turk it, what to work it, what? And shake that button. I, I lost my I lost my thing because I read coffee song. Shake that coffee song. Shake that coffee song. Okay, okay, okay you gotta sing now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're, they're requesting a coffee song now. Uh, <laughs> gawk gawk for bits, says Karate. He's like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, mm hmm. Mara <laughs> says, uh, we need Coffee Queen. Uh, we need uh, Coffee Queen's twerk song. She can sing. <laughs> we need it as a redeem. <laughs> guy says, uh, guy says, what? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Does says, uh, yeah, hashtag coffee song. But yeah, Coffee Queen, we want you to speak, though. We love hearing your voice. No, please. Please, Coffee Queen, you have to say words. <laughs> now you have to say bird. <laughs> and now you, now you just have to continue saying words and other things, and and talk to us, baby. So, oh, guys, did you hear that? That was a bit, that was a bit of a coffee song, right? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear that, guys? Did you hear that? She 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 was gonna do it as I was saying stuff, and I, I luckily I shut the fuck up while she was doing it. Did you hear that, guys? Did, did you hear? Did you hear that? Uh, it says clip it and, and how you doing Darugs? Welcome to the stream, dude. It says just stop by to say hi. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. How are you doing today? And I hope you're having a I hope you're having a really good day. All right, I don't need this thing. We can just draw that. But yeah, this hedge lab you can get some supplies from. You can get like quartzite and marble stuff from here. So I'm just gonna grab some of these. My inventory is full. Let's just get rid of the stuff I don't want, which is gonna be that one and that one. I'm gonna need to delete those. Yep, and probably just, just eat some foods. Imagine it's a fruit pounder. And yes, just imagine it's a fruit pounder. Imagine you're pounding fruit with it. Yes. <laughs> um, says, let's see. And Meryl's like, clip it! And Shelby says, uh, how is Coffee Queen feeling? How are you feeling, baby? Feeling good, thank you, Shelby. How are you, darling? Um, and Kaya says, uh, Kaya says, barely. Uh, just stick headphones on her and hope she sings along. <laughs> uh, says that uh, she won't uh, she, she, she won't do it again and louder, though. <laughs> says Karai. <laughs> she might do. <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you fancy doing a close-up to the Mike Coffee song, maybe? 
Oh, <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> but your voice is so beautiful. And you do have a really good singing voice. You know you can sing. You just say you can't, but you know you can. All right, let's go through here. All right. Oh, it's finally something. Hello there. Right. Give me this thing. Oh, I'm, I'm lagging a smidge. Hang on a sec. All right. Can I grab that one? Yeah, another pasta fragment. And give me... Nope. I got it. All right, hang on. I think I need to... Oh, no, it, it did come off. Okay. Okay, my piece, my piece is just running a bit hot right now. <laughs> uh, $100 US to get a week's worth of food. Now it's five days at the most. I know, right? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot harder now. Virgil, I want some, I want some raw science for my for, for my mother, Virgil. Who is your mother? The brood mother. Virgil, wait, what? The guy's <laughs> like, damn. Uh, what flavor? Uh, kind of says, what flavor pizza, though? Um, and uh, Shema says, go green. I'm feeling better. Um, I keep saying, I keep saying, hide your, hide your phone in the car and press record. Like that, trust me, that's not gonna work though. Like, I, I, that, that won't work. Cause like, if I, if I go to the car and Carl Green sees me go to the car or whatever, I never go to the car unless she's driving somewhere, right? So she, she, she's gonna see that a mile away. <laughs> she, 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 she will literally see that coming a mile away. It's a good idea, but yeah. It's not, it's not funny. We're trying to scheme here. <laughs> I'm trying to scheme here. <laughs> it ain't working. All right. Let's go down this way, right? I'm going to open these doors. Yeah, so now we've come into this bit. We can open these. So yeah, the se the second pass of fragment, essentially, you go to the very top, you zip line down, but if you drop halfway off, that's how you get into these, like, rooms where the webs are kind of blocking it from the other side. Um, there's no other way to access those two rooms. Right, now the third one is going to be over here. So there's a berry there, so we're going to have to get rid of that first. Uh, so we can use... Uh, you can just throw... You, if you don't have anything to shoot, you can throw something at it, and it'll make it drop. And then we'll come down here. There you go. And there's another junior in here. Hey, junior. <laughs> Guy Green is making amazing things with crochet. All right, hi there. All right now we take this guy out with the insect axe. There you go. Very nice. There you go. He is down. And then if we come out this way, guys, we will find another one of these. Hey, guys, guess what? We're going to scare me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn it. I suck over coffee queen. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <Yeah>. No! <laughs> says, uh, it's not funny. We're trying to scheme here. This is great. I know, right? <laughs> can help with that. Uh, kind of says, I can help with the scheme. Oh, yeah. you you got to help us, guys. We need we need help. Uh, I get 100 per week for food, but 40 is enough for one week at the most. I used to be able to get two weeks worth. I used to be able to get two weeks worth of 40. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, that's the thing. It's like, it's gone up so much, hasn't it? It's nuts. All right. So here's the third password for written. Here we go. A piece of torn up paper with part of a word or something written on it. This one has half an illegible character followed by you are. <laughs> you are? What are you? <laughs> I am. <laughs> you are? I am. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> you are. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> do I ever though? I don't know. Right, so there is a molar here, but we're actually going to do something real quick. We're actually going to jump on the molar and then jump up here. There's a few things we can actually get. So the first one is actually another molar. Just up here. Now, there are, there are, of course, other ways to actually get on top of the hedge lab. You can drop to it from that very first zip line on the way in. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, though, because then it's actually more difficult to get into the lab itself. But there is a molar right on the top here. So we're going to go get that one. Uh, let's see. Matt says that he's he's done that, I think. Uh, Archer, Archer only grounded challenge, maybe. <laughs> oh, man, that would be horrible against the infected broodmother, though. I, I, th I think I could do it apart from the infected broodmother. Yum. That's probably the only one I wouldn't be able to do. Um... Don't even need to boil Just it. because she heals so much. Uh, there we go. And uh, spi spi spicy chicken. <laughs> this is crazy. You, you want some spicy chicken? Right, is there a bee in the hedge? Yeah, it sounds like it. Right, so there's that first molar there, um, which I wanted to get. And is there anything else on top of it? Oh, yeah, there's actually one more scabby out here. And it's actually a really tricky one to find. Essentially, it's on that branch right there. But it's uh, I can't see it from here. So we're going to kind of drop down onto it right here. And then we're just going to kind of make our way along the end. And then there's a very sneaky scabby right here. Hey guys, guess what? Ah, oh, she didn't sing it this time. <laughs> we got a scabby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come in, Queen! <laughs> Stop outsmarting me! <laughs> no! <laughs> Baby boy! <laughs> Stop outsmarting me! <laughs> I'm the baby boy! <laughs> 
guys, she's got to, she's got to stop out smiling. This is not, this is not fucking fair. I, <laughs> everyone's like, Max, why don't you just like shut the fuck up so that she'll sing eventually, and then you know, <laughs> you know we just, we'll just have like a silent stream waiting for her to sing. Like, I, I just won't say anything. <laughs> but, like, she'll sing eventually. <laughs> everyone's like, uh, I'll go to say something, and everyone will be like, be quiet. <laughs> Kaya says, uh, just start singing, Max, and Coffee Queen will sing along. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then, then she'll do it, and I won't shut up in time. Ow. She been... Tasty thingy. Or rusty, whatever you are. Whatever the fuck you are. Got him. Hey, we got him. Oh, look, there's actually a mole right here as well. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's an... E that that mole is, like, the first one that's kind of partly broken. Um, and they, they, that one replaces the one in the sandbox. So yeah, there's one in the sandbox that it replaces as well. And, uh, we got, uh, we got Tin Tin Tin. Welcome to the stream. How's it going, dude? Thank you so much for popping in. How are you today? Says, uh, I can't get Coupe de Graff 2, even with the Red Ant Club. Is there something I'm doing wrong? Uh, use, um, if you can't, uh, get the dice to flip with the Red Ant Club, um, use a, uh, you can either upgrade the club a little bit. Or use a, uh, I think if you use a charged hit, so you just press and hold, and then do a charged hit like that on the corner of the dice, it should make it go. Upgrading the club will help a little bit. Um, so if it's only like a level one club, you'll need to upgrade it a little bit. Um, hey, I'm sorry. Is that just a you thing only? I see. It says uh, she, 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 she called you baby boy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's how, that's how uh, it's, uh, it doesn't move even with a three a combo. Try a charged hit, um, and that might work. Um, if not you'll probably just have to get some kind of tier three weapon um because the tier three i think i think how much the dice moves is based on how much damage your weapon does uh but yeah try the uh try try charge hit first um he says uh take the milk molars but don't hurt my mother <laughs> all right i won't i won't hurt her at, at least not yet <laughs> all right so the last person from in this room a piece of torn up paper with a part of something written on it this one says t19 does he i don't try to get jealous that she's using his nickname for using his nickname for max <laughs> i said i still found it so funny how he came out with it though i was like i was like yeah but cruddy what it was like it was like it was like it was like it was like, it was like, oh, it was like, it was like so it was just just hush baby boy <laughs> and he was like wait why the fuck did i say that <laughs> like he, the best part was he confused himself because he didn't even know why he said it he just it just for, for whatever reason, his soul just said baby boy, and he was like, yeah, yeah, just, just, just he was like, he was like, calm down, baby boy. <laughs> That's like, I don't know why. <laughs> Says, uh, no, not at all. I just, think, I just think it's funny to hear you call him that. Says Karai. <laughs> Says, not funny, Karai. <laughs> Okay, it's kind of funny. <laughs> In the words of Karate, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm so intimidating. All right, so once we got all four passive experiments, we need to come back to this guy. Hey, Chew, welcome to the stream, dude. Adeline Greatsword will flip the dice easily. There you go. So yeah, if it doesn't work, try the Adeline Greatsword. Because that's probably the first tier three one you can get, isn't it? Um, first tier three weapon. Um, it kind of says, uh, you better calm down, baby boy. <laughs> I'm calm, I'm calm. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, be the best stuff is improvised. So yeah, exactly. There we go. How you doing, Chew? I hope you're doing well, dude. Thank you so much for popping in. Merrick says, uh, Hammer also works with dice. I think you need a Black Ox one, but maybe the Insight one will work as well. But let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to press this now and this lets it open the door just over this way and we should find a uh, super chip right over here a super chip there you go i wonder how we'll get burgle's memories off of this so i'll let this uh, audio play out for a second I have to blow on it yeah blow on it like the old cartridges solves the problem <laughs> that or flipping the console upside down Miller says, I've used the Pebble Hammer before. Were you playing on mild or were you playing on a higher difficulty? So the higher the difficulty is the higher weapon you need. Uh, Alright, so now we also got this thing. This is our first duper disc. You'll want this to put into the Super Duper in the Oak Lab. Alright, so this data disc contains firmware for the Super Duper machine in the Oak Lab. Loading discs activates the machine's software and increases the raw science processing limits required for duplicating more complex objects. Very nice. And then we've also got this cassette tape in here. So make sure you grab all the data items, because otherwise you're going to have to come back here a little bit later. Uh, robotic voice is starting up ever so slightly, says Carnage. Alright, hold on a sec. Let me... Uh, actually, let me uh, do this while the cassette thing plays and then I can see if it sorts itself out. It is likely that this will be my last log from the Hedge Lab. Regrettably, the spider infestation is only worsened. Last night, I had a close encounter with a giant brood mother that shook me to my core. Couple that with the strange radio signals I've been receiving, and I no longer think this facility is safe. <laughs> Hi, Reloader. How you doing? 
Right, is my voice better now? Is it is it sounding better now? I realize this, I'm good, you. I'm good as well, really. Hi, I'm glad Initiate you're doing well. Evacuation from Coast yeah, Ford Edge Lab. You. Make sure any remaining biometric scanners and passcodes are encrypted in the mainframe. Yes, in the mainframe. Is that really necessary, sir? All right, is there a bee up here? I hear yes. one. Oh, yes. Absolutely necessary. Uh, oh, hello. We're being watched. We're being watched, he says. But yeah, how's uh, how's college going, really? I hope it's, I hope it's been going well. And uh, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming in and saying hello. I hope, every, I hope you're going to have a good weekend as well. You up to anything good this weekend? Um, Mar 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 Marie says, Mom, I'm scared. A weirdo keeps ripping Beetle's asses off and killing my brothers. And then the song plays and he starts twerking. I know, right? <laughs> really, like, good. Marie says, yeah, better. Okay, I'm glad it's better. Yeah, if, if it keeps doing it, let me know. I don't know if it's my microphone itself or that fucking Mara! <laughs> Come <in>, Queen! <laughs> It's not funny! <laughs> no! Is that is that is that you saying you like a coffee? No, I'm going to make myself a quick one. Um Yeah, I am I'm I'm I'm, I'm sipping my sippers. Mm. Fucking hell, I I I I need something to cool down now. You just like scared this living shit out of me, Jesus. <laughs> That was good for Nike Jump. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Um, so, for you guys wondering what I'm doing now, I'm going to go find the Broodmother notes. You will need this to fight the Broodmother. So, if you guys want to know how to find it, the entrance of the hedge lab when you take a zip line in is just over there, right? So, you're going to come out of the lab. So, essentially, you're going to turn around and walk up the surprise, branch to get to here. And then we're going to follow this down over here. Meryl's a surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Cressy says, My eyes are sweating. <laughs> Uh, Tara says, uh, are your pants okay? Um, well... You pants if you want <laughs> I can't move! I'm wearing the brown pants! <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow this branch along, and then we can either go to the left or to the right here. We're going to actually go to the left. And if you go to the left, what we should find, just up here, we're going to follow this branch along. There is a molar down there, but don't go for the molar. Um... At least not yet. We're actually going to go up first. So you can actually kind of walk and jump up this branch here. And then if you come up to here, you'll see there's actually a little pod just up here. And we're going to go into this little research pod. And when we go into here, you'll find some raw science. You'll find yourself a scabby. So guys, guess what? We get a scabby. Yeah. And then we also got the Broodmother research notes. And you will need this to fight the Broodmother. So anyone who's wondering how you get the Broodmother notes and get the recipe, uh, especially you guys new on console, this is where you find it. On the map, I'll show you where it is. It's right over here. Uh, Crazy Queen says, I fucking jumped as well. I was concentrating. <laughs> Sim says, freedom! Yay! Nice, Slim. All right. So yeah, let's go read this one. Trial 24. Weevil cooked. No interest. Trial 25. Ladybug raw. Some interest, but not enough to lure her from a lair. Trial 26, Bombardier, raw. No interest. Trial 27, Bombardier cooked. The odor is horrific, nearly visible, yet it seemed to appeal to her, perhaps if combined with ladybug meat. Trial 28, Ladybug and Bombardier cooked. Success! Though noxious, the broodmother could not resist the bait. That said, having seen her up close, perhaps I should continue to study her from a distance, at least for the time being. Yeah, yeah, you probably want to say you probably want to study here from a distance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, once you got that, then um, you can then essentially just uh, use a dandelion tuft and sort of drop down here. Oh, I don't actually have a dandelion tuft, so I guess uh, I guess that was a lucky landing. And then there is another molar just underneath here, and this will be the last one we need to get right here. This yeah. up inside the branches of the hedge. There are more molars that we need to get from the hedge still, but this is the last one that's up in like the labs or the branches or anything. Um, there is some more raw science that we need to get as well, so I'm going to go and get that as well. That's also in the hedge lab. Uh, we're going to jump back over here, and then we'll make our way back inside the hedge. There you go. So we can just follow this back through. And this time we're going to go to the right again. Um, we're going to walk down this branch, and this is another way you can get on top of the lab. Um, so yeah, if you did break the mega molar early, then you can get onto the top of the lab this way as well if you need to. And we're going to go essentially up and over. And there's one more thing of raw science around here somewhere, so we're going to go find that. I think we've got to go up on this one, and then... Yeah, it's up there, look. So yeah, if we go across this branch here, and just follow this all the way to the end, there'll be another little bit of raw science that we can grab. And then after that, that's pretty much everything in the hedge. So yeah, you can actually see the, the zip line we came into the hedge lab on right there. Um... So then we're going to go up here and then jump on that leaf and then jump over. And there we go. More raw science right there. 
So another 100 raw science right there. So if you guys uh, need any more raw science, there's another 100. Right over there. Right, so yeah, I don't think I've got any more daddy lines now, do I? Yeah, I think I'm uh, I think I'm now out of daddy lines, which is not good. But that's fine, because we've got everything we need. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll drop back into the lab now. So an easy way to get back in is just essentially walk around to this, egg, this area again. So that's the main room in the hedge lab right there. We're going to walk up here. And we're just going to drop into that room where we had to zipline to, and everything will be fine from there. And Coffee Queen has given a sub to Cresty Queen. Thank you, baby, for giving Cresty Queen a sub. Well, that's very much appreciated, baby. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. So, Cresty Queen, you are now a sub. So, welcome to the Super Fox Millions. So, there's, uh, says, no, there's a new feature in Playgrounds which ruins my skeletons. They added physics to weapons that you place, and most of my skeletons are holding weapons, and now the weapons just fall off. Ah. Man, that sucks. I, I I do remember them saying that as well, that they added like physics to things and, and certain things. I think that like, the dice and stuff can now be moved as well. So yeah, oh, that sucks. Can you not put them on like a... Oh, I tell you what you could do though, that might work. Can you resize an item frame? If you or like one of those uh, one of those uh, to, those, those things you put on the wall, like I don't know what it's called, the, the little item frames where you can put weapons on. Can you resize that and make it really small and then put a weapon onto that? And then just have that attached to the side of your uh, skeleton. Victory screech! You might be able to do that. Victory screech! <laughs> Men style. <laughs> Kai says uh, karate is the playground's master. <laughs> oh yeah, karate, karate's done a lot of playground. God damn it! <laughs> she she was singing again as I was talking. Stop it, coming queen! <laughs> Somehow smiling me, damn it! <laughs> uh, she says, have I missed anything, any new stuff? So far in this playthrough, the only thing is is the red ant queen uh, that we've seen so far. They added, uh, added new ant queens in this uh, in this update, so uh, there's one for each faction. But it's not like a boss fight compared to like what you'd usually see from other like queens and you know boss creatures of factions. Instead, what it is is you will give them uh, one of three things, and depending on what you give them will depend on the outcome. So you can befriend them, you can poison them, or you can infect them. Um, right, hello, spider. Hello, spidey. Right, hello. Oh, we got a crit on that. Nice. Right, come on then. There you go. We can just stun him, and then we just keep hacking our way through. Let's just get rid of this guy here. All right, one dead spider, and then we've got another another bit of raw science here, and there's actually another uh, burgle tape right over here. So let's get, let's get that one and see how we go. Some says you can place them small, but the weapons are really small, and the actual weapon mount itself still shows. <laughs> ah, I see. Uh, so it also scales the weapon with it. Ah, that's a shame. Uh, me, me and the broodmother eating lunch. Then Max comes in. Me and the broodmother just staring at Max. <laughs> need to put a wire. Need to put a wire on her and say. Need to put a wire on her. Uh, see it there. And uh, see it. See it in her collar. Constant singing surveillance. <laughs> No, I, I just I just need to put like one of them tiny little microphones on Coffee Queen somewhere and then just like, like have it recorded and like feed into the stream. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Transcription unit 89.10.5. Order number 20. Order 20. Burgle, did you organize my research notes on the material properties of the hedge berries as I directed? Of course. Well, no. <laughs> Good. Wait. Explain. I have lost 100. Who did that? Who did that? Slade? <laughs> How's it going, Slade? I love that line in this uh, in this thing, though. <laughs> did, did you do, didn't you do this thing on the material properties of the hedge barriers as I directed? Yes. Well, no. <laughs> good. Wait. Explain. <laughs> I love that line. That's such a, that's such a good one. Um, that is that is a that's a good. One. I hope you doing well, Slate. Thank you so much for popping in, dude. How's it going? Help, All right. I'm stuck. Let me. Oh no. Let me break this out of the way. Right. There's another molar over here. So you break out that one. And there you go. There's another one. And then there is one more molar that we can get. But you have to be careful over here because there is a sting bug. Now, uh, do I have my gas mask? I have my Avis slippers. Do I have my gas mask? Yeah, I do. Okay. It's very low durability, but yeah, there is a sting bug that likes to hang out over here. Um, I can actually see his green fart cloud. So where is he? He's over there. Look. Yeah, and the, the molar is kind of close to this area. So yeah, we might have to fight this guy. 
um, and deal with him first. And uh, Slade says, "Hello, peeps. I'm doing all right. How are you? How are you, peeps? I'm doing all right, Slade. How are you? I'm glad to see. You. I was going to say, how are you doing? But uh, you forgot the Mega Ball. Yeah, we're going to go to get the one up there in a minute. Because um, I've got the uh, I got the other ones already. I got the Mega Ball here. So yeah, the only other ones are up here, isn't it? And then that'll be that'll be that. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's the last one in this area, I think. Uh, up on the lab. No, we've we've we got the we got the Mega. Uh, it is right there. Look, we got the Mega on the lab right here. So yeah, we do have that one. All right." Here's the stink bug. Hey, stink bug, look a dog. Right, there we go. Just try and stay out of the gas clouds. There we go. Stay out of that one. Okay, now move this way. Right. Yeah, I think it's got. Oh, I think it got stuck in the ground. Nice. Okay, he's stuck on that leaf there. Hi there. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay, now jump out here. Get some of our arrows back. Right, come on then. You gonna? You gonna? You gonna come fight me? Okay, give him a couple of hits there. Uh, yeah. My gas mask is about to break, but that's fine. We can just now leave. He'll bleed out now. Got him. Oh, I'll take a little shot at the end there. Uh, he says, uh, the robot's take my, the robot's take my broom on the hostage. Me, it goes to uh, full-on Super Saiyan mode with a fully upgraded Prod Smacker. Direct effect. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, chill. <laughs> um, he'll he'll, be like, he'll be like, you might not be able to hurt me, right? But you know you're hurting the broom mother, right? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'll get the bleed off, and then we can use the axe to do some extra damage as well. Hey, David, says Max, long time no see. Hope you and Coffee Queen are doing well. I'm doing well, David. How are you doing? And how are you doing, Coffee Queen? Yeah, unfortunately, Coffee Queen was... Uh... We had we had some uh, you know we had a bit of downtime and there was like time off from school runs and stuff but it's it's just typical that the time we had off Coffee Queen was really ill for those like couple of weeks so instead of actually getting to properly relax she spent most of it just recovering uh, <laughs> so yeah she's not the for, for, the 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 poor Coffee Queen has not got a break um, I mean I try I'm trying I, I was trying to look after her but I don't think I do a very good job. <laughs> Hmm. I try. I try. <laughs> I felt. I felt so bad though, because it was just like you know. She, it was like, yeah, we get we get the two weeks. She finally gets to rest, and then she just felt like crap the whole thing. Uh, the brood mother has level one hundred. Uh, level one hundred. Oh god. <laughs> David says, "I'm good, thanks. I'm glad you're doing well, David." And Mara says, "I max builds another arena. I need to defend my title. I'll be building another one. Don't worry. I'll do some stuff in playgrounds. Um, yeah, don't worry about that. All right, hello, ladybug. Look at the stuck. I do kind of need more of these guys, don't I?" Hi there. How you doing? Right, you're just gonna heal up all that damage, aren't you? You little bastard. Right, now I do you. Thank you. Oh, that's close. Hi there. There you go, block that one as it bleeds out. Nice, and we should be able to get it down. One more. Got it. One dead ladybug like a snug. There you go. And we got to hang on. Do I have any more room to carry these? I do. There you go. So one ladybug down. Let's go get the molar, and then we should be pretty good. Dove says, uh, leave the poor ladybug alone. But doves, I need to wear its shell and be intimidating. <laughs> I need to intimidate everyone in my ladybug armor. Oh, no. no why need you Who is responsible or hiss? Limbeam. The next three minutes, Aching E is Ursa Etters and Hor X3 in it. Oh! Ow, Aking Air Ulim. <laughs> that is aching my eyes. Uch or Ifficult. Han it ease U E. Uppy Queen. L Elim. How are you? <laughs> Thank you, Uppy Queen. <laughs> I don't know what, but I have to tell you. <laughs> L Limbeam U of Aking E is Ursa Etters and Verds. <laughs> An L-Atral Arnage, you are SMRing-y! <laughs> <laughs> oh, IT, IT. Thank you, Limbeam, an Atral Arnage, or her Adim. And ow, it is I, Mu Arvist, her Ega Ilk Ola, because everybody loves a Ega Ilk Ola. 
Um says, oh, I don't have nuss. El Arms actual Arnage as Eskudu. Uh Hos un uh, hose unrose and hey unpidling. Ilza ilon ort itarts. Exactly. Exactly, Ari. Exactly. Them as oh I are. <laughs> I are. <laughs> oh I <laughs> Offy Queen. Ega Ilk Ola, Eri Aisty, and Eri Ul of Itamins and Imbrace, all art of a balanced iron. Offy Queen definitely as a Exia Ois and Iu. Especially an Offy Queen as a Oogle Assistant Ois. Hey, Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn says, Aunt Ear in someone I unch rake. El Evelyn, I owe you wrongly Aunt Ear at his oint. At Ello Evelyn. Welcome Uhatreen, and thank you Eri Arch, or I mean Uhatreen. I oak or oak a is owing Eri Eri Ud. <laughs> and Ubs is uh, thank you Ubs, or I mean Evli, a hout out. I o Eri Arch appreciate that. I'm holding raw science in my hand. It's nature's lollipop. Okay, now I eat you eind her est of her or hyance. Hopefully, I am eind her est of her or hyance. Or hyance? I'll her oak or a science without her s. Because does that uh, as at e nine f a kyans or kyans? Hmm, interesting. Uh, Evely, or only issing axe having a tro <laughs> having a trope again. <laughs> Ubs, how any imes do I have u l u? I'm not having a trope. That is eri. That is eri adding u a. <laughs> and elkem u hatream uggy 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 how u uing ud. Thank you eri arch or aming long. I hope you're having a good A. And Uggy Uggy as eyes, eyes. <laughs> eyes, F eyes, or Ugg A. <laughs> What's up, Uggy Uggy? And uh, Arani says, hey, Evs, that trokey trokey. <laughs> Ubs, it is Ot a trokey trokey. <laughs> or is it her okey okey? <laughs> oh, her okey okey. Okay, <laughs> hey, I eat a rink or I. <laughs> rink or I. Uh, Ellie airs, uh, only oo, uh, only oo, hours f to oo, hen un, un, and re, or ekend. Are you owing oo, uh, oh, I, 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 I
<laughs> Do you like a good stuffing? <laughs> I can I can give you a good stuffing. <laughs> Get one good spider. Yay, we win! Great. Spider's out of here. And oh, I'm dropping uh, I'm dropping spider chunks everywhere. <laughs> I'm dropping bits of his ass on the floor. God damn it. She says, uh, I like lava when they're dead. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Everybody lava the lava. And how you doing, Duck Holiday? No. Says, ooh, new grounded stuffs. Yep, grounded's final update has dropped. Well, final planned update anyway, as so they say. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple of new things for the regular game. So we've got now in the regular game now there are three ant queens, and the door now has also been uh, has been completed. And behind that door we now get new game plus. So essentially, once you've killed the mantis, the broodmother, and the wasp queen, and done the Java matic, you can remix your yard, and you'll come into a new yard where you have to essentially redo the story again. But you'll also find infused creatures and a lot of new weapons and armor and stuff. Well, not really armor, but a lot of new weapons to craft. Um, um, and there's a lot more science shop unlocks, but the expense is like exponentially huge, which is good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bro Bro's ignoring my comments. I'm oh, sorry, Bray. Hang on. Um, says uh, those, um, those. Oh, th no, the one person I see, the one spidling. I, I didn't read that one. I, I just read it with missing first letters. So, yeah, you might not have understood it. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they see one spidling. And they just like build fortifications and they're just like, haha, no spidling is coming to here. It's coming to me. Uh, Huggy says, uh, I asked my frost's flake after throwing it at an ant and harvesting it. Ah. <laughs> oh. Man, that sucks. And I, I, I'm, I'm guessing there's, I'm guessing they're really expensive at all, aren't they? They're not the cheap. I don't think they're the cheapest things to craft. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. There no, is there like no way you can get it? Did they just like despawn? Because they yeah, that that sucks. All uh, right, let's make two more jerky racks if we can. There's one and there's two. There you go. Right, so two more jerky racks, which means now I can start processing berries. And we can get all that started. There we go. So we need to do three on each of these. And there we go. And I can hear the... Uh, I hear the koi fish kind of just, you know, doing what it's doing. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, bitch, I'm a fish. <laughs> I'm a fish, bitch. Right, let's go and uh, spend our milk, our milk dollars as well. We're going to go to the analyzer over here. We'll spend them. As I'm saying, who knows? They might do something like Terraria where they have, uh, where they've said it's the final update, like almost every update. No, I think honestly for Grounded, it's that because they've now released it on consoles and stuff, adding, and they've also said that essentially with the content they've got, they've, re they've reached the memory limit for like all of the consoles that they now support. I think because of that, they're not going to be able to add too much new content. And anything they add now, they also have to make sure it works now on more consoles. So it's going to take longer than ever to get out an update now. Because if you think about it, the more they update the game, the more they've got to you know, work with their the, the studio that's porting it, which means the more money comes out of Obsidian, therefore out of Microsoft. And, you know, Microsoft are going to be like, hey, that's more of a loss for us. We don't want that, right? So I think the only updates they're going to be essentially allowed to do now by Xbox Games used and Microsoft is essentially just quality of life stuff and th things that don't require like a big overhaul or anything like that because yeah honestly i th i do I, d I am a firm believer that microsoft has kind of had something to do with grounded getting sort of cut short a little bit um because yeah when because when 1.0 came out i don't know if you guys remember when 1.0 came out but it kind of felt like it was a little rushed when it when it came out the door um because there was like they had all this content that was going into it and then like half it kind of just like got cut out right at the end so it's almost like microsoft were just like pushing them to get it out so that they would sell more um because you know hey look the game's kind of fully released now and some of that but yeah and then you know i think playgrounds was their way of being like hey we need to you know have more player retention and stuff and they tried it and you know it kind of worked but i don't think it worked as well as i liked and now microsoft are just like okay you need to you know release on consoles to get some more sales and that's it right so i i think at this point it's the, i think that's it at this point i still say microsoft see no more use i i, I still say that uh microsoft sees no more use in grounded yeah that and that that's that's what i think as well and i think like i think because before 1.0 like grounded did really well and like up till like i think up till like say the into the wood update like it was sort of growing in popularity as like more updates rolled out but after that when they were like doing more like polished updates and things like that where there was less content but it was like delivered to us with less bugs and stuff like that well no pun intended but you know what i mean I think at that point, people were like, oh, well, there's not enough new content in this update. Like, Hot and Hazy set the bar too high. And then I think people lost interest a little bit as other updates came out. And then they released the home stretch update with, like, it essentially was just like, oh, yeah, this update just contains, like, quality of life changes. And I think because no known content got added then, like, the interest dropped off. And I think Microsoft probably saw that before 1.0 came out. And they were just like, okay, well, 
just get it out by this date because <laughs> before i remember when they were when they were talking about into the wood um and when they when they'd done that update release and everything they're essentially saying yeah we've got like so much stuff that we want to add like that and like the, all the devs were saying yeah we've we want to add all this stuff I want to add, like, you know, we, we we can see this game going for, like, years to come, right? And technically, it has gone for, like, a couple more years since then, but, like, I think they were talking, like, the long term, like, the next five years, like, from how they were saying it. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, we got the next, we got the home stretch update after the PAX showcase, and they were like, yeah, this is pretty much it, and then 1.0 is coming out, and then, you know, that, and then that, I think that was, like, they planned to have, like, the lizard, the, and the fire ant queen as a boss in that update, and then that, those things never made it in most of the upper yard in the 1.0 update like it was there but it was there do you know what i mean it was there but there was like no like essentially like the story essentially takes you around this area and it takes you down here to the black ant lab then it takes you like over here to the undershed and over here to the javamatic but everything over here like on this side is essentially optional now obviously for new game plus now you kind of have to go a little bit more around here and get you know you're you're now encouraged to go to more of this area now but in 1.0 like you could essentially skip this lot over here everything over here you could just skip um because it didn't really you know unless you're going for 100 you could just skip it um uh, microsoft did call grounded a uh, a franchise so hopefully a sequel will arrive uh, will arrive sometime that's what i'm hoping though honestly um that's what i'm hoping but yeah when it came to, when it came to yeah when it came to like some of the updates and stuff it was just like yeah they i don't think they i don't think they saw the popularity still going up and they were just like right we want to essentially you know we've got a whole team of developers working on this game but if they were to work on another game it might do better and therefore you know from a business standpoint it's like well it's going to do better and generate more sales and more money right so i think initially they tried to pull grounded away after 1.0 came out but because the community got like when 1.0 came out like the community got well back into it and then i think that kind of bought them a bit more time with microsoft they're like okay you can continue doing updates and just like write it out and see how it goes and then you know 1.1 came out and you know that was more of a quality of life thing then 1.2 came out and everyone was like oh my god and then they would then they released 1.3 but the main thing was playgrounds and i don't think everyone i mean i like playgrounds and i know a lot of i know a lot of people who like build like really like playgrounds uh i just took all this stuff out here didn't i but i don't think i I, th I don't think playgrounds went down like the best with a lot of people because they wanted more survival updates and i think that kind of i know what they were trying to do but i think it sort of hurt grounded a little bit in the long run um so yeah and i think after that then microsoft has just been like yeah you know you're you, you're already kind of at memory limit anyway and you know you could probably you know have your resources pulled into developing a different game right so they're they're now just like oh you know because they didn't say anything up until pax about it being the last planned release you know what i mean like that they kind of like just dropped that on us when it was like oh yeah ground is final final planned update you know what i mean and i was like and and in pax it said on, on the pack site it said the final one right so yeah it's a it's a, there's there's thing there's things going on behind the uh there's some things going on behind the scenes i think that is why grounded is no longer really continuing to develop anymore um apart from like obviously quality of life and bug fixes and stuff um prosim says uh me i still never tried the playgrounds Chris says uh crisis uh Christ says, right at the start too <laughs> i know right <laughs> anyway, they, they said it right at the start it was like it was just there wasn't it when they when they announced it they were just like yeah this is uh they're, they're, they're pretty much like yeah this is it and you know that that's that's all you can expect from now and yeah it's it is it is a shame but i mean obsidian like e even if microsoft did pressure obsidian into doing it obsidian are never gonna admit it because if they do essentially they're talking bad about their parent company which is probably like in direct violation of like you know the acquisition of obsidian by xbox and microsoft you know what i mean like that probably directs some kind of contract somewhere so they're, they're, they're never going to come out and admit like oh yeah this is what's going on but just from the way that we've seen the releases happen um ju ju just from the way that we saw like 1.0 and now like 1.4 and this you know ju just kind of by that it kind of it kind of hints at shenanigans going on But yeah, I think I think Playgrounds in a way was like. Uh, oh, we got a resub from Smiles. How you doing, Smiles? Uh, thank you so much for your resub. Very much appreciated. Uh, honestly, Playgrounds wasn't the best in general, in my opinion, at least. See, I liked Playgrounds, and I think I think they could have uh, they could have done a lot more with Playgrounds, but you know, they, and because like they said, they they took a long time to release the Playgrounds. And I, I think that that also was kind of what contributed to like 
a little bit of uh, a little bit of a uh, loss in popularity of grounded a little bit because i mean i know that like i stopped playing grounded a little bit in 1.3 and that's not because playgrounds was bad it's because like i'd made most of a playground but it had like a couple of bugs in that i wanted fixed before they would before i can continue making it so you know i naturally just like tried other games in the time uh just really it's a little too late um yeah playground playgrounds is my favorite see yeah and that's the thing I, d I don't dislike playgrounds i actually really enjoy playgrounds i like making maps and I think what they've done with it is really good because I think as well, Playgrounds was their answer to... Uh, their, I think Playgrounds was also their answer to modders, right? Because, like, a lot of people have said, uh, you know, including me, like, is Grounded ever going to get mod support and things like that? And the Obsidian devs have always been like, nah, we're not really doing mod support. Now that they've released on Switch and PS5 as well, like, obviously, that, now, that, now that we know that they've done that, that was their intention in the long game, right? It was to probably, you know released to other consoles which means you know any kind of mod support on pc would mean there's no compatibility with consoles unless they specifically wrote a modding api for those consoles and every console they wanted to port to they need to write a new api and modders would need to develop in different environments and you know it kind of causes a whole it kind of causes like a whole incompatibility issue and with people not being able to connect and then you know people who've installed mods and they're on a console they're going to be like oh well i can't connect to my friend over here and then you know obsidian and get flooded with support requests and stuff as to like why can't i connect to here you know your, your game's buggy and in the, in the you know in the, in the long term i think it would have caused too much backlash for obsidian because they wanted to release to so many consoles um so i think playgrounds in a way was kind of their answer to like uh hey you know this is uh you can kind of mod like so i'm down for every six months to a year of just new playground uh, blank maps see i like things like new gizmos and stuff like that and yeah a couple of maps and things like that would be good just like build and design and yeah I'd, I'd be down for that because you know that'd be i think that'd be something they could add like or any gizmos that rely on already existing mechanics in the game i think they could you know pretty easily add but like i said now that they've released to now they've released to consoles as well uh now they you know especially like the switch you know and like making sure the updates work in uh in in a switch environment is going to be important as well so like any new content they add now like if they add any more has got to go through pretty much it's got to be like screened and then ported and actually it, they've got to make sure it's going to work with uh with the switch um says i literally just want playground shit moving forward see i i would be happy with playground stuff moving forward like for example there's there's one thing that we actually can't do in playgrounds right now there's one there's one item there's a very a very obvious one that we can't actually place in playgrounds right now and that item is these. We actually can't play. We can place them. We can place them like this. So, like in in playgrounds, you can place them in the inventory version. So you can actually place them like this. Let. So if I was to put this down, you can place those versions, but you can't place these ones. Um, so you make, make, make the game bit in the yard that we designed. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. Like, I, it would be nice if there was a way that we could have. Uh, well, it's out on PS. Wait, it's out on PS5 now. Yes, it is out on PS5 now. PS4, PS5, and Nintendo Switch now have grounded as well. So yeah, it's out on all of those. If you want to get it on console. Um, but yeah, there's a few things in playgrounds like just like design props and stuff that I would love to see added. But like more importantly, like one thing that would be really good is if we could add you know how like when you go around the backyard in the main story and you find like maybe not like cassette logs but like these things like notes and you know files bits of paper um you know th th things like that that you find like all, all these kind of items it'd be nice if they gave us these in playgrounds right because if we had these in playgrounds like especially like these journals and the pit and stuff like that and like pictures that we could take screenshots off we could like we could like use these and write our own notes on them to make our own kind of like story element right because that'd be really good for like things like adventure maps and stuff like that could benefit from having these things in currently we don't have that we've got to use like signs and stuff and a, and a better way to do npc dialogue those two things would be really good um i want to be able to spawn in 90 uh, percent of the stuff in the game yeah exactly like they don't they, they even don't have so, some of the new stuff um from one four in there yet like there we don't have any of the tearful weapons in playgrounds we don't have any of the ant queens we have the stuffed ant queen but not the regular ones like that you can just you know spawn in um and we don't have the infected ants or the infected shield or spear we can't spawn any of that in yet um i want to make custom notes that we can play yeah exactly exactly yeah i want to i want to have stuff like that i suggest that too yeah i actually wrote to move today in discord and i was just like i'm not sure they're still checking their suggestions channel now so i was like i'm just gonna write to moves and just be like yeah um can you uh can, can, can you maybe add some of these things man i'm lagging out really badly uh right what is going on here right burgle where are you hi burgle how you doing 
Can I help you today? Hi, Bagel. I found a super chip. Oh, you made it back in one piece. I did. How unexpected. You are more resourceful than I thought. Rosie just says, uh, me, I'm glad things from playground things came out to survival like the teleporty. Yeah, see, and I think they could have done more with that as well. Like, they could have used, like, the buttons at least and the links so you could, like, you know, automate your doors and things like that or, like, a button to turn on all your lights. You know, things like that could have been really nice as well. I wish they added some more of those. I didn't even know what to write in the suggestions on the Discord. Uh, I got lost and ended up posting it in a random place. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've made a few suggestions in there. But yeah, like, so, something like that would be good. Um, so here we go, Bergle. Alright, sounds good, Bergle. Processing. Processing. This is the head super chip. Forgive me, I forgot to mention the nasty spiders before I sent you up there. I hope they were not too much trouble. Haha. <laughs> I like how he's like, yes, the head is used for arachnid webbing. Oh, sorry, I didn't mention the spiders, guys. <laughs> There's a yes for the uh, for the for the firewall launcher. The switch would be nice. Yeah, exactly. Things like that would be good. Um, and Marie says, bruh, please stop ignoring me. Uh, I'm not. That's the thing. If it, um, I'm, I might miss messages, just bad sight. So if I miss any, I'm sorry. I'm not deliberately ignoring you though. All right. I am feeling much more like myself. Take it from me. There's nothing quite like a reverse lobotomy. Thank you. Bagel, you have feelings? Of course. Dr. Tully has included emotional programming to make me more human-like. Feelings enhance my cooking and grilling features. Every burger flip has a great deal of love put into it. Now, what is it you were wanting to know? Oh, yes. The location of the other super chips. There are four labs throughout the yard, each with a super chip. The hedge lab, the pond lab, the haze lab, and the black ant lab. And you have already made it through the hedge. So now on to the others. Yay! I will mark the locations of the super chips in those labs. Please find them and return to me so we can figure out how to repair the spacer. Alrighty. Oh, before you leave, check out the new recipes in the ASL terminal science shop. That could be helpful for some of the tougher challenges. All right, then, Bogle. I'll see you soon. Please come again soon. I'm All right. extremely lonely. Smile says, uh, did you remix your yard? No, no, I'm playing I'm playing from a regular new game at the minute. Um, I've not done any uh, any yard remixing at the minute. But I will I will after I've done this playthrough, though, for sure. Uh, Frosty says, uh, Max can't see that well, and he's streaming on two different places. It can't be an easy to keep up with both chats. Yeah, honestly, like, it's it's not, like, super terrible, but sometimes, like, things will... I think sometimes also my chat doesn't pick up on everything as well. So, yeah, so, sometimes there might be things I miss. If I do miss stuff, just, like, post it again, and I'll probably see it. Um, Smell says, are you going to 100% and then remix? I don't know that I want to remix my main save. Yeah, I'm going to 100% and remix. You can always, like, duplicate your save, though, Smells, right? You can always make a duplicate of it and just remix that one. Uh, Cray says, uh, you can link it to a trigger box and everything, but it doesn't do anything. It would really help in Playgrounds, for sure. Yeah, it would. Okay, uh, Smells like, how? Just, um, you know how you can, like, just make a manual save? Just make another manual save and just call it, like, you know my yard before remixing and then as long as you have less than 10 manual saves that one will always stay and then you can then just kind of like go around remix your yard and just reload your manual save right now uh, and you can do that and as well as like <laughs> but yeah that's that's something you could probably do um uh, right so now we get some new unlocks so let's see what we get so we get the zip lines we get ladders what else we got we got uh lavanya we've got the sign sets so i think we'll get these two and i will definitely get the cooking recipes because that one is worth it and that's left me with 1900 left and not too much more from there that we can do. So we're good. And how you doing, Jekyll and Hyde? Welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing well? Uh, POV, I'm getting surrounded by robots. Pulls out two glocks and break dances and everyone dies except me. <laughs> I, that, that kind of, you'd be, you'd be like, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> just, like, just like take them all out. <laughs> That'd be funny though. All right, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to main base. So, oh, if I can, can I get out the door, please? Thank you. Oh, wait, is there anything? No, there's nothing to realize. Right. Let's get, let us get out of the door. I don't know if she heard me. Hi, Smiles. Did you get coming, Queen? Uh, Smiles? Okay, she said, she said, hi, Smiles. And she says, uh, thank you for the shout out, Dubs. Thank you, Dubs, for giving a shout out. Very much appreciated, dude. All right, let's go make our way back to base over here. There we go. And let's jump down here. And a jumper down here, and a jumper into there, <laughs> into jumper. All right, let's go to sleep as well, just so we can pass the night. And we got our first dream sequence, guys. Here we go. SR says, "Hi, my queen." 
Boop. I love you. <laughs> and uh, uh, Ice Cream Kirsty, thank you so much for the follow. Very much appreciated. Now, what flavor ice cream? Is it Neapolitan? Is it vanilla? Is it mint choc chip? Which flavor could you be? <laughs> Come on, Queen, flavor ice cream. Ice cream. Me not have you not have you not tried coffee flavor ice cream? Please don't move and look straight ahead. <laughs> that gives me headache too, but I still like it. <laughs> I like vanilla ice cream. And uh, ice cream Kirsty says hi. How you doing, Kirsty? Welcome in. Uh, Kai says mint choc chip is the best. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I like vanilla ice cream the best. Considering I love to play my games modded, I like my ice cream vanilla. I don't like modded ice cream. <laughs> All right. Oh dear. Oh no! He's throwing a laser beam into my groin! Ah! <laughs> Coming away, my ping ping's getting smaller! Shit! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nightmare. A nightmare. A vision. And I remember every bit of it. An ominous logo and a fancy spacer. A spacer that was pointed directly at me. This changes everything. Yep, Comic Queen is doing her crocheting duties in a very queenly way. She's also doing it very cutely too. <laughs> yeah, she did. I, I can I can show it again if you want to see it. I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind showing it. It's fine by me. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we can finally upgrade our armor now. Uh, that fifth kid backstory don't really make sense. Says uh, says Karate. <laughs> what what the fact that they was like, oh yeah, I I I woke up early and then they were like kind of zonked out. But I'm just gonna leave them here. <laughs> they're, they're, they're safe in there. Um, and uh, Smile says she's the best, and most adorable queen. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> but yeah, how you doing, Cassie? Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for popping in. And thank you very much for that follow. Um, are you new to Grounded, or have you played Grounded for a little while? Um, are you coming in on, uh, or are you coming in on, like, console? Uh, Frostman says, and now you know why your peat is so small. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Huggy says, uh, can I tell you where, you're at, where I found one of the molars in my new game plus? Sure, go for it. Um, Cry is like, shut up, Carnage! Cry is like, oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 I like how Cry just comes out with it. Show up, Carnage! Alright, let's go make our Ladybug armor. We should, I think we have enough pieces for it, don't we? Uh, let's have a look. We need to go in here. Right, so how many Ladybug parts have we got? I got 12, I got 12. So I can make that one. I may need to get more flower petals, actually. Um, I got seven there. And then we've got... Oh, no, we got enough here as well. Nice. Okay, we got five and that's four. Nice. Okay, we got a full set of Ladybug and Lagava. Ladybug and Lagava. And then we'll just make another Armored W right there. And then we'll just deposit that lot onto here. There you go. And then I can now wear my ladybug stuff. Yay! I'm a little less squishy now. I'm less squishy now. Hooray! I am now a ladybug. I think. Am I? What? <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Curry says, uh, "Hey, uh, no." Curry's like, "Shut up, Carnage!" Uh, in the mouth of the gnome near the entrance to the top of the island. Really? <laughs> That's uh, so Curry's like, Curry's like, who? Me, 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 me. <laughs> Guys is a guy is practicing his opera. <laughs> All right, I need to actually. Can we make the cookery now? Um, because I think I think we've probably got enough to make that. Because now now we can get the jackyrax. We can start doing meals and stuff, can't we? So we probably want to make one of these to start using meals sooner rather than later. Uh, so where is the cookery? Do, or do we even buy it? I think we did. Uh, there it is, right there. Right. Oh, it's right fucking there, you blind bastard. Uh, right, so there you go. Cookery right there. Right, so we just need nine weed stems. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, now I got the uh, now I got the insect tax as well. We can just chop down these susky weeds, right? So we don't need to worry about finding dandelions anymore. So that's going to be helpful. So we'll go over here. There is a okay. The one that's going to give you the most is this guy right here. This this one here will give me the most out of all of it. So we'll go chop these down. Uh, so you can go there, and then let's go chop this guy down here, and it should be pretty good. Uh, Reese says, if the dream was real to me. But I broke out and everyone got knocked out. <laughs> yeah, you just like you, you just like intercept your dream. You're just like, no, this isn't going to happen to me. I refuse. And you just like break out and just like kill Schmechter. <laughs> Schmechter's like, wait, you're actually hurting me, right? <laughs> yeah, and when, and, when, and, when, and when he dies, all you say is, wah, wah. <laughs> all right. 
Let's go drop these guys in there. And then we need a few more of these. See, I think this can carry like 24 or tw is it 21? I don't even know. It, ca it can't carry many, but it can carry at least a good amount. There you go. Okay, 21. All right, so now I can take all this back. And then we got Wee Stem to make a cookery, and we should be good. Cranny says, in your first stream, it implies that Omnen got the machine to work, meaning the kids, uh, made, uh, uh, he says, uh, set up three trials after that, meaning the kids making that's four, right? So if the kids' net was either planted or something from a different universe, I'm thinking, and that would explain the different bad pets too. I don't know. Maybe this, uh, maybe this pleasy hit a little too much. <laughs> I mean, in a, in a way, it could make sense that like there's a different team that got remixed into this yard. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and, and may, but maybe they lost their memories after getting remixed into this yard. So, you know, that that could be a possibility, honestly. I mean, it could. I don't know. There you go. Hey, we got a cookery now. We win. There you go. And we're cozy. Another 300 more science there as well. Haha. -ha. Uh, let me see. And uh, we've got... Um, hang on. Let's... Um, <laughs> hang on, Mr. Hang on, how, how do I say that, Mr. Ele I, I, I gotta read that more clearly. Hang on a sec. I see, I see you over there on the on the red side there. <laughs> I see, I see you there. Uh, wait a minute. We've got how do I how do I even read that, uh, Mr. Mr. Atachiomis? Uh, says, uh, greetings from Finland. Uh, I've been here lurking time to time. Uh, same time, uh, my, uh, same time I see it's growing for 100 to 7,000. I've played seven days, but now I just do IRL. I, I just do IRL. I finish. I hope I didn't mess up your name. I do apologize if I did. Welcome in, by the way. How are you doing? Uh, Ray says, uh, nice try, but you're not making me small like the other 14s. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be funny, though, if, like, you, like, you, like, woke up in the yard, but you're, like, regular size, and you were just, like, like, eat a remix yard, and there's a, like, huh. Uh, fifth note is dope, but uh, sus AF to be placed in with that sort of a backstory on the last update. The same update, they introduce a machine with different uh, realities. So yeah, that's the thing. It, like, it could be that one of the teens like remix themselves over into this one. Maybe in that, may, or, or may, maybe when we woken up, we've also been remixed ourselves, but we just don't remember it, right? So that that could be a thing as well. Like there, could, there, could, there could be all kinds of uh, all kinds of shenanigans going on. You just you just don't know, right? <laughs> all right, actually, I'm gonna upgrade my ladybug armor as well. I think I might have enough stuff to do it. Let's see, because it's gonna take 15 per piece to get to level five, isn't it? So we need 45 marble. Uh, oh, I have 41. Okay, I need to find a bit more. But you know, we can do we can do most of it. See, so yeah, I do I do most of this to the next level. There we go. Um, uh, says, uh, you nailed it. It's, uh, it's, uh, Mr. Work From Home Man in English. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Work From Home Man? I like that. <laughs> but yeah, how you doing, dude? Thank you so much for popping in. But yeah, I, I used to play a lot of seven days as well. Not really so much anymore. I'm gonna wait till next alpha and see what that update's like. Um, and then, you know, if it's, if it's a good update, then I'll be like, yeah, I'll get back into it then. All right, there we go. So I just need five more to get this level five. But there we go. We've now got Ladybug Armor now. And yeah, we're pretty much uh, we've pretty much got it to a good level, which is good. So yeah, now we should be a lot more tanky than we were before. Uh, says, uh, wait, no, you already got that yesterday. Get some, uh, get get some from the anthill. Yeah, yeah, I already got that yesterday. I'll probably have to go around and find some like in the haze or something. Um, but that's okay. So yeah, let's go talk to Burgle about the dream because you know we had a we had a we had a very weird dream and Burgle must be informed. Um, let's see. And uh, Dove says, tanky, tanky. <laughs> says uh, the note was there to shut up karate. Obviously, didn't work. <laughs> I, I would laugh if the devs are just like, damn, Crowdy coming out with all these theories, you know, conferring with Tiny, and then these guys just like ruining the lore and everything. We got, we, we got to do something, guys. We, we got to shut these, we got to shut these guys up. <laughs> all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just like make it out like this fifth team like got out before, even though that would like totally mean we had to like re-record the voice audio for like the dream sequence. And uh, and yeah, let, we'll, we'll just hope they don't know us. Okay, let, yeah, let's do that. All right, all right, <laughs> motion passed. <laughs> How can I help you today? All right. I had a weird dream, Virgil. I'm Virgle. afraid Dr. Tully did not program me for dream analysis, but I will do my best. Dumpy says, uh, Max, this is a super earth distress signal from the Oshun system. The 93rd Incendiary Squadron led by the SES Flame of Glory and Judge of Judgment are requesting you to join the Helldivers. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I've, I've, I've had a look at Helldivers actually. Um, I don't know if it's, it's a lot of shooting in it. I don't know if I'll be very good at it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'll be very good at Helldivers, honestly. But yeah, what, has anyone else played Helldivers? And do you guys like it? Because I've seen a bit of it, but like, 
I've not really followed it too much, but I just, from what I saw, there's a lot of shooting. <laughs> but how you doing, Dumpy? Welcome in, dude. I hope you're doing well. Um, says, uh, Mr. Atta says, I know, I've been watching your seven days videos and playthroughs years ago and still watching all content a year and, uh, and Ratchet Face. Oh, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. I know I've not posted like a lot on YouTube in a while and I've, I've kind of like shifted, but thank you so much for sticking around as well. Uh, let's see. Hagawe says, I play it, but not regularly. And Zom says, I'm thinking of buying Helldivers. Um, how much, how much is it right now? Cause I don't think it's like, I don't think it's like a cheap game, is it? Um, for Hell Nevers 2, anyway. Um, let's see, when's the last time, uh, Cry says, uh, Carnage, when's the last time you ever won a Wednesday? <laughs> when's the last time you ever won a Wednesdays? <laughs> don't worry, Carnage, I, I don't think I, oh no, I did win on one of the Wednesdays, and they were like, here, have some Game Pass, and they never gave it to me. <laughs> Just like they never sent me my box thing either. They didn't send, they didn't send me the 1.0 box, and now they didn't even give me a month of Game Pass. I've had it worse than all of you. <laughs> Hold on, I'll check the price down. Amri um, says, uh, kick Shrek through the balls. <laughs> you, you kick him and like two nuts and the bolt would fall out. <laughs> uh, Helldivers is, uh, Helldivers is hooking, but needs so much time to grind the gear. Ah, okay. Kind of says, so yeah. Ugh. Actually, I beat Max in a race. That's, that's true. But then again, technically you tried to, you tried to PVP me in a race, Garnage. <laughs> Maybe, maybe forget to set my respawn because you were like hell bent on trying to kill me. <laughs> That's cheating! <laughs> you don't punch each other in a running race, Carnage. <laughs> uh, 35 pounds. Ooh, okay. Not the cheapest. Yeah, as I thought, not the cheapest then. Um, hang on, cry. Okay, so uh, what does Virgo have to say about this anyway? Perhaps about electric beads. I have always wanted to have that dream. Why don't you describe your dream for me? Uh, I was shrunk in an Amazon facility, Virgo. Uh -huh. That confirms it. There are two spacers, just as Dr. Tully surmised. One in the yard and one at Ominen. I pinch? What? <laughs> I pinch? What? I can't have to do it on screen. Here we go. Guys, you got to twerk it. To work it. And take it up for Angelique Commander. Because if you twerk it hard enough when you see that butt, then oh my god, can I stand her? Yes, I can. Because she's got a big butt. And it's going to make us all say, what? Twerk it. What? To work it. What? And sing it, baby. Sing it. Nah. Oh. I tried. I tried, guys. I'm sorry. I tried. Big wave. <laughs> she sat, she sat there smiling now. She was like, <laughs> and uh, Mr. Tess says, uh, "Did you try Valheim?" I love the game. Oh yeah, I love Valheim. Uh, looking forward to the Ashlands. I love Valheim. It's a really good game, uh, especially modern as well. Um, we all finished. A, actually, we all finished a death race. <laughs> yeah, I actually finished it, Karate, in the end. But yeah, it took me a while. Uh, Marie says, "I'm going to twerk every time that happens." <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Everyone needs to twerk away and dance along. That's a good thing, you know. If you hear the beat, you got to twerk along right he had a hunch that they continued his work on the spacer after he stopped working for them uh, suspicious it all computes i do not believe these are just dreams these are surely your memories but perhaps they only return to you as dreams so i'm an shrunk you and now you are here hmm. hmm very sus i am pretty sure you are not an ominent secret agent. I was JKing. No. That was a test. You passed. <laughs> Burgle, Burgle using text abbreviations before, like, texting on phones was a thing. <laughs> I'm JKing. <laughs> and uh, Frost says, uh, Max is awesome in Valheim. Thank you, Frost. <laughs> I do, I, when it comes to, like, the planes and the missiles, though, I die so much. <laughs> it's, it's, it's horrible in those vibes. So especially the missiles. Why would they be shrinking children? Surely I have no idea. Yet another puzzle for us to solve. Yay, more puzzles. I like puzzles. I can logic, I think. On the plus side, your memories must be slowly returning. If you have another dream, please come again. Alrighty. How can I be of assistance? Alright. How can I help you today? Well, Virgil, I'm gonna go. Goodbye, Virgil. Please come again soon. I am extremely lonely. What's that, Uh, Smiles, are you still there? If you are, I can show you the uh, I can show you the the Yoshi if you want to see it. I do see you've chatted recently, but I just want to make sure you're still there. And if you would like to see the Yoshi, I will uh, I will put it up on screen for you just so you can see it. Um, let's see. Um, as, uh, Mr. Tess says I've been playing it for hundreds of hours. Also, stop for for waiting on the Ashlands. I'm 45 years, so I think I'm too I I think I'm too old to continue playing. You are never too old to play video games. You know, if you, if you enjoy it and it makes you happy, do it. You know what I mean. You playing video games of whatever age isn't hurting anybody, right? So go for it. 
Um, let's see. Smile says, uh, yeah, smiles are still there. Smiles are still there. So yeah, we can we can show the Yoshi if you want to. All right, hang on. Let me go to my uh, just chat screen. Here we go. And I will show you guys the uh, Yoshi the Coffee Queen has made. Here we go. All right. Let me know when you're ready. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, let me go to uh, my main screen. Here. Right, so this is a crocheted Yoshi. It is completely handmade, made by Coffee Queen. And as you can see, it literally, it literally just, it looks so much like the actual thing. It is crazy how accurate this thing is and how well made this is. Uh, so I was like, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, yeah. And, and, the, and the cool part is as well, the legs actually move on this as well. So you can actually move the legs so you can like make it out like he's like walking along and stuff. So yeah, you can actually move the legs freely. The arms are like, they're kind of like sewn down, but the legs are like freely moving. And yeah, so, so I was just like, <laughs> and uh, let's see, Huggy Wuggy says, uh, my dad is almost 60 and he's playing and playing the next Exactly, right? Says, uh, I got all fish and got the uh, fish hat and the biggest and hardest fish, and I quit, and so I quit there. Oh, okay, yeah, doing all the fishing and stuff. It's gonna be hard to get all the fish in Ashlands now, isn't it? When uh, when that comes up. But yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is, uh, this is Yoshi. But yeah, Comic Queen did him with like green boots rather than yellow ones, so like it would kind of like match his color scheme. And I think it actually looks better. Um, uh, the, the like the, the like the actual Yoshi art, so it's good. Uh, levels five, uh, deep water fish. I don't remember the name of the fish that was huge and hard to catch. <laughs> cry is like, cry is like, doop. <laughs> yeah, cry, cry likes it. Yeah, they, there we go. So that is the uh, that's the that's the Yoshi. Um, and yeah, is is really good. <laughs> and, and, all, and all we have to say is, dun, 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 Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me switch back to uh, switch back to me. Uh, where do you want me to put that one? Minute? Thank you, baby. There you go, Smiles. Yep, that's uh, so. And Comic Queen is actually making uh, a lot of different Yoshi's as well. She's making like loads of different colored ones. So, uh, what 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 one are you working on now? Uh, what uh, color what color one are you doing now? A baby blue one. She's doing now. I've done a teal green one. I've done a red one. Um, yeah, I've got one more to do says she should do some Max Fox merch. <laughs> she has actually crocheted some foxes, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, she just crocheted a couple of those. Um, and um, Marie says, be right back. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go strangle Schmecta. All right. <laughs> Enjoy the strangulation of Schmecta. I wish you luck. Not that you need it, because I think you got this. But, you know, just in case. Just in case things decide to go very, very badly. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> right. Come here, Aphid. Aphid! Right. Go on. <laughs> Give me that. Right. So let's go grab this Aphid. I need some food. So let's go try and find a few more as well. And hopefully I will find enough, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, Sal says, uh, I love her so much. She's so talented. I know, right? Thank you. See, guys, I got I, I got so lucky with Coffee Queen. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, I'm literally like the luckiest guy alive. Not that good. Yes, you are. What? Yes, you are. Well, this is better than I am. No. Really is. is she really not? Really is. Really not. <laughs> But you you would say anyone's better than you though, because that's just like how you are. Trust me, both both of you guys are absolutely amazing. But Coffee Queen has the advantage of also being super cute. She's got an amazing voice. She can sing, even though she says she can't. <laughs> and honestly, just the way she makes me feel every day, like I wouldn't trade that for anything. Smile says, uh, Max is amazing too. So, you guys are both lucky. Oh, thank you, Smiles. <laughs> Cry says, Yes, Queen, yes! <laughs> says, I got it, says, uh, says, I got, got in with these. Nice. All right, let's go grab those and put these on as well so we can cook. Um, <laughs> uh, Shepard says, Yeah, she should do some, uh, should do some Max Fox merch. See, I, 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 I would like if you could have like a merch store that you could put like your own stuff on it for them to sell. I know you can do it with Etsy, but they take like a huge cut of it, don't they? So, and it makes it hard, like, where we're, like, on low-income benefits and things like that. Like, if we make money that way, then we're, it, it, we'll eventually get classed as a business as well. So it, it makes it really hard for us to even do anything like that. But it, it would be nice. Because I enjoy making yeah. it. Yeah. says, um, uh, have a nice evening. Uh, I'll go to my family and then get in some sleep. All right, then, dude. Well, thank you so much for popping along. And honestly, thank you so much for the support and also just, you know, tuning into all the videos and stuff and taking part in all the community stuff as well. I do appreciate that, dude. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you around very soon.
Uh, Bureau of like, I will twerk on his dead body. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like, hey, you got two twerk here, and twerk here, and shake that, but on Schmecter. <laughs> All right, let's go grab these, and there we go. Right, so next up is... Right, what do we do next? Let's see where we want to go. So we could do the Pond Lab now if we wanted to go and get that started. Um, or, let me see, what else is there really to do at this point? So we've got Pond Lab, and we've got, like, the stuff over there or we could go do the haze lab i think the pong lab first because that will allow us to find like that allows us to find more resources when it before we do anything so yeah i'll probably get started on the pond i was got the spear and everything ready either that or we could go and uh we could we could do that or i mean we could do some of the haze but you know that'll open up some areas around this area like if we wanted to like clean up around this side of the yard we need to do some of the haze to you know get some fungal growth i mean i could go get some fungal growth real quick actually actually yeah, i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get some fungal growth real quick and make a few bombs um and then we will actually clear up everything around this side of the yard like and we can go get the pinch whacker and everything like that as well um and we'll do that first and then we'll move to the pond and i think we're gonna need some more ladybug parts though, to keep my armor in good shape so let's go and uh Deal with this guy. Right. Hi there. <laughs> hey guys, why do you long faces? <laughs> it's gonna be a bumpy ride. There you go. Alright, come on in you. Aha, you missed. There you go. Goodbye, ladybugger lugger, snugger dugger bug. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, Marie says, done. <laughs> you have twerked on his corpse, and now he feels ashamed of himself. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I need to get some dry grass. So what we're going to need to do is get some dry grass um, and get some fungal growth. And then we're going to have to probably try and find a load of ant eggs in the ant hill as well. So let's go start with the dry grass first. Because that's the easiest thing to do for now. And then we can grab like these little bits here as well. Cause yeah, any any that's on the floor here we can just pick up. And we'll also get a little bit just from chopping down the grass as well. There yeah, we'll get a little bit of this because every bomb requires four, right? Uh let's see. I've been watching that movie today on my break. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's a, is is a good one, right? I don't know. Wait, okay, guys. For anyone who's watched all the Harry Potter films, which one is your favorite and which one is your least favorite? Oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-oh-
Um, especially when Harry was like, you know, he thought he was turning evil because like Voldemort and him had like the connection and they could like see into each other's minds and stuff like that. And he thought he was becoming like him, you know, you know, Sir Sirius actually consoled him and cared about him. Whereas in the book, Sirius is like, eh, you know, just, just chin up, bruh. Just deal with it. <laughs> it's fine. You know, you're fine. <laughs> Whereas in the film, it did so much better. Um, but yeah, I'd say my least favorite is Goblet of Fire because like, the fact that they missed out like the the like all the creatures in the maze and the fact that Hagrid was like you know making them take her like blast ender scroots and stuff like that from the book like they missed out on all that kind of stuff and you know i think that was uh honestly the, what what they did with the maze part was just like you know i would say unforgivable but it was just like they it just felt very lazy um says and uh, kind of says uh kind of says book is gob <laughs> uh, kill, uh let's see kill uh kind of says uh, kill, kill me off half sentence <laughs> says uh do the beat uh but yeah Christ says i shouldn't have got that movie from the two dollar spicy bin <laughs> the two dollar spicy bin uh let's see and uh how you doing green veins says uh uh half a prince is my favorite uh the first one is the least just because harry never uses his wand to do magic a single time <laughs> uh harry potter and the uh harry potter and the glock glock is so fire <laughs> <laughs> harry potter in the order of glock glock <laughs> Oh man, that it's like, it's like it's, I might, he's like Harry. You do know you're not supposed to do that with your wand. <laughs> Harry's just like got got her. Christ, like why are you so animated when you do that? Because I know it makes you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> why because it's a because it, it's 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 self promo for my only fans <laughs> you know you can catch more of me there guys <laughs> no, just, yeah, come to onlyfoxes.com <laughs> uh let's see but i had to wait till the uh till the next book was published uh just had to turn deathly serious just had to turn deathly serious at the end uh he's gonna uh kind of says uh max he's gonna edit you into a gif go ahead do it Make make a, make a gif out of me. Go for it. I don't care if you want, if you want, if you want to turn me into a gif. I would be uh, I would be honoured. Go for it. Uh, right. I need to go get some more smoothies as well. So let's get some of these on me. Right there we go. So yeah, I need to just get a few of these. Uh, Cry is like uh, only foxes done. Guys <laughs> uh, <is> like done. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Do you guys want if you, if you guys want to make a gif, you know. Hey, I saw an ape take a shit. Yes! <laughs> now I see why Taddy got so hyped about it. This is awesome! <laughs> Come on, I watched an ape do a shit and it was good! <laughs> and it was yellow. Did you see how yellow it was? <laughs> like, uh, no, I'm too busy crushing my blue Yoshi. <laughs> There's no yellow here. <laughs> uh, Kai's like, oh dear, Max. <laughs> what? Sometimes you have to take the pleasure out of the small things in life. L literally. <laughs> Like, you know, you see what I did there? Because I'm like tiny and then just. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hello, lava. Hello, lava. We lava the lava. Right, so. <laughs> take you back to the nut house. <laughs> the, the only question is does that technically make you more nuts because you let me out the nut house? <laughs> Maybe I'm going to take you back there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have you <laughs> in any way you want. <laughs> Better than starving. <laughs> Cry in the background, just like yeah, second in. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that. Do what? <laughs> no water filtration tablets needed. <laughs> Cry's laughing his ass off now. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> uh right. Marie says me doing the boogie down the assistant down to the assistant manager and and uh and smack him. <laughs> Kai says uh Kai says that he's laughing at his new gifts. <laughs> Kai, 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 Kai's like, pick me up on the way back, Queen. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> um, yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> right, hello. Oh. Right, let's get out of here. Right, okay, so we got some infected creatures to deal with now, and we can actually go up here. And oh, hello. Oh. 
<laughs> like that. Shut up. Hi. Hi there. Right, stay away from that ladybug over there. Nice try. Deal with this guy. I've also got my uh, mint trinket as well, so that's going to help me too with these guys. There we go. First infected lava down. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right, get out of there. <laughs> oh, that was close. Alright. Okay, oh, we got a uh, mite as well. Right, actually, let me deal with the mites first. Uh, there you go, we'll deal with these guys first. Because if these guys hit you with their projectiles, it actually makes you weaker to explosive damage for a while. And in woke mode, that's like a death sentence, right? So, there you go. Hey, 500 raw cents, very nice. Right, hell yeah. Alright, what do you want? Right, got him. Right, now we'll deal with the ladybug. Okay, oh. I got it. Oh, shit. Ow, that one, that one got me good. Owie. Owie. Luckily, I had spicy safety on, so that's definitely been... That's definitely going to help as well. Yeah, if, if I hadn't had spicy safety on, that would have nearly one-shot me. Okay, ow. Okay. You little bastard. You little bastard! <laughs> okay, get out of there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, just lay that bomb right... Talk, talk about, like, laying a bomb right on my feet. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. Hey, we got him. Yeah, I need some more animated emotes myself as well. I need some. Uh, Max need Max needs some new emotes. Rumor has it, so this guy is. Yeah, I do need some new ones. Uh, Spectre, who am I? Me, a disappointment. <laughs> the burn. <laughs> All right, let's go grab the scabby. We got the scabby. Yeah, and then grab some science. There you go. Yay! All right, so there's our science and that's our free scabby. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make our way into the haze a little bit. And we're going to go over this way first, because I think we'll actually find some gnats over here that we can peep, because I haven't peeped all the creatures yet. So we've got to make sure we get all the... uh got to make sure we get all the creature cards, too. Do you remember how in my card luck I got the infected gnat as my first... Uh, on, on the first try for the creature card? I couldn't believe that when that happened as well. I was just like... Because I was, I was thinking, yeah, we're going to have to like go through like a ton of meeting gnats to get the creature card. And I ended up getting that on the first one. I was just like, oh, okay. Don't worry about that then. Yay! <laughs> Interesting. The fungus is making the insects hostile. Yeah. I like how Pete's like, hey, it looks like these insects are hostile. I was like, yeah, you think? <laughs> Did you not see the ladybird and lava that were trying to blow you up a minute ago? Like, did you just not notice? <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, so that was lucky. <laughs> okay. Okay, right, send it. Right, is it weak in the legs? I can't I'm not even sure if it's weak there. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh. <laughs> Owie! I thought I was gonna do an explosive move. But no, it didn't. It, it, it like fucking head charged me. Get away! Woohoo! That was close. Hello. Right, nope, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Ah, uh, Pete, where are you at? Seven up! No, no, it's time to be at Seven up! <laughs> okay, there we go. Probably good. Right. Uh. Okay. Hey! <laughs> we win! Oh, man. Okay, there we go. We can, uh, we can beat that guy now as well. There we go. Says, uh, and Marie says, I want to become a grub. <laughs> and then someday I will turn into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> I still remember in Bugs Life, it's like, Look, I'm a beautiful butterfly! And it's just still, like the same fat cat fella with like little wings on him. <laughs> uh, Craig says, uh, I remember Yevli saying, um, you made you made one of hers, I think. I thought uh, I thought you draw, don't you? No, 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 I don't draw. What I do is I take screenshots and then I like draw around.
screenshots and then i call that art <laughs> and it's totally not fucking art at all so yeah nah nah i i don't art like all i've done like for, I, did, I did some for shelby but that was like she sent me like pictures of her pets and i literally just like cropped them out and like did a bit of an outline on it and then you know made the contrast a bit more but yeah that's that that's not art that's just like image editing there's there was like no artistic design involved at all so yeah, I I don't, I don't art. <laughs> I'm I, I I cannot art. I'm I'm bad at art. So yeah, <laughs> don't 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 ask me to draw anything because I will fail. Uh, what's the best setting to have this game on? I uh, building made easier. Bit uh, building made easier. Fighting enemies. Are you looking to? Are you just looking at on the on the easier setting, uh, Crested? Because um, if you are, I can show you the I can show you the ones you want to use. Um, and it also depends. Do you want achievements on? Um, are you want are you wanting to get achievements? Uh, Chrissy says, uh, Co 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 Queen knows how I like to play the game, if you need further info. Alright, Co Queen, how does Chrissy Queen like to play the game? Um, honestly, it sounds like a lot to a lot of people would have to just easy way, you know, a little bit of a chicken. But, with her memory, and their hands are one for another, the easiest possible. Okay, um... So, yeah, um... <laughs> She's like, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Her memory is shocking. All right. So, the easiest way possible for her to handle it in the beginning is you start it from scratch. Okay. Does she care about achievements? Um... Honestly, I'm not sure if she wants achievements or not. Okay. Um, she usually, yeah, she usually does play on medium, and she loves the building. Okay. Um, but it I, needs to be as easy as possible until she gets used to it and starts remembering all right. where things are. Okay. Uh, so you should play on medium, and, uh, so let's, see, and let's see. I'm uh, meowing to respect us, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay. So what I would do then is, if you're like looking to get back into it, just start on mild, and then you can change to medium, like in your game settings. Um, so, in, especially if you want achievements as well. Uh, let me have a look here. So yeah, in your game settings, you um, you when you go into your game after you selected your game mode, as uh, okay. Says, are you wanting the achievements? Because if you do not want achievements, then you're not bothered. Turn raids off. Yeah, you can turn raids off. Um, let's so see. That will drive you nuts. Chrissy says uh, mini, mini strokes don't help. Uh, says, uh, get, get, uh, get, get, get mod, Schmecter. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't care about achievements, you can use a custom game. And then you can ch you can then just change any of these game settings if you want to. But essentially, if you want to just play like a play through a regular game, then mild, medium, or woe are your three options. So if you're not bothered about achievements, then yeah. So you turn, so you, what you'll do is you'll select custom game. And then when you come down into this one, you want to turn uh, to make building easier, turn handy net on, because um, then you'll be able to literally have a little gnat to fly around for you and you can like collect resources with it and build with it. Um, and then you don't have to worry about like having to parkour up on high buildings. Um, you can also have it so that if you want to, you uh, if you want to like have your creatures have lower health, you can turn the health down a bit. Um, so you can do that as well. And then if you're just if you're kind of wanting to build and do a bit of fighting, but you don't care about the survival stuff as well, you can turn off your hunger and thirst as well. Um, and then you just have you don't have to worry about that. And then you can also turn up resource respawn if you want to have the stuff respawn faster, so you don't have to like venture everywhere to get everything. So that will help as well. And then you can also do yeah, faction reactivity is base raids. So if you don't want that, turn that off. Um, so yeah, th those would be good. And then on uh, backpack items on death, just change to spawn to respawn with you. So then if you do die, you don't have to like go back and get everything. Um, those are your best settings, honestly. And then just have the have the main mode set to mild, and then the the bugs will do the least damage. And then you can use you can use that then for like more of a kind of a more casual building experience with less survival, but still a bit of fighting involved. So yeah, that'll probably be your best. That'll probably be your best set to go with, especially if you don't care about achievements. If you do want achievements, play in mild. And then when you feel a bit more confident, put it up to medium. Because you can get the same achievements in mild as you can in medium and woe anyway. So technically you don't need to complete the game in woe to get all achievements. You can just do it in mild if you just want to like go for the achievements and not have to worry about the bug health and stuff. Okay, oh, that was close. Hi there. Oh, 
Okay. Go watch out for these guys. Hi there. Okay, okay, run, run, run. Okay, use one of these. I'm a what? I'm a like, what else? Okay, that was that was close. I nearly got caught in the explosions then. Oh. Okay, that that was that was lucky. I can't believe I didn't die then. That was like literally on one health then. Okay, did I kill all three of them? I actually killed all three though. Yeah, that was a bad idea fighting all three. Um, so here you go, have this. <laughs> Mr. Claire said, medium is your normal mode. Uh, best to play that for your best to play that for your first time. Then you can really tweak to your playstyle as you go. Um, Chris says, uh, thanks, mate. You're welcome. Yeah, welcome, Chris. Uh, says, uh, do you know if all of the new recipes count towards the hundred percent? Um, I'm not sure if anything in New Game Plus counts towards it, but I know there is achievements for doing stuff. You will at least to get hundred percent though without New Game Plus, you will at least have to open that door to the remixer room because there is a data item and a scabby in there. Um, but I'm not sure if New Game Plus is required for hundred percent. I don't think it is, but they may have changed that. They, they weren't very clear on the requirements, honestly. All right, so we need some of these. All right. All right, there we go. Come, come here, you. Uh... All right, back a bit. Uh, back a bit, back a bit, back a bit. There we go. Lead him, lead him in again. Try and get a load of damage on this guy. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's nice. Alright, come on then. There you go, right, we got him. Nice. Why I'm fighting a, a, a lava with like a tier one weapon, I don't know, but. You know, that, that 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 probably helped if I was, you know, using a better weapon. But you know, I'm stupid, so it's fine. <laughs> I must be one of those stupid people. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh says and uh and uh Cat Preston says, a YouTube live stream? Indeed. How you doing? Uh, how you doing, Cat? Welcome in. How are you doing today? <laughs> Miska says, uh, yeah, I saw that. Uh me and my buddy gotta play uh me and my buddy gotta play uh to see. Uh our save is at 95%. I mean what I could do. If you want me to test it for you guys right now, I could. Because I do have a card lock world that's not in New Game Plus, but I think I 100%ed it. Um, Sorry. Yay! He found his weapon. Yay! I found my frost flake. I found my frost, fr 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 frost flake weapon. Can, can you say frost flake like five times fast? Frost flake, frost flake, frost flake, sorry, frost, frost freak. What? Fuck! <laughs> uh, guys, uh, thank you so much for giving a uh, kind of shout out as well. Very much appreciated, dude. Uh, it says, uh, not, stu not, not stupid, just enjoy the challenge. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Uh, and uh, Cardi says, karate stinks. <laughs> I, 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 like that he's, I like that he says it out of view as well. That's that's the best part. Right. Oh, drink or die. Right, there we go. Grab this one. Hi there. Aha, I don't think so. <laughs> right, there we go. Actually, I wonder if the dag will do better on this guy. Well, dagger be better on this guy. Oh yeah, dagger and the uh, okay, dagger and spiky sprig are a better combo for these, aren't they? Yeah, because the, these lava hate like swords and daggers and stuff. So yeah, the dagger's probably a better, better idea here. Uh, Dub says, uh, Dub says, is that a caterpillar on your lip? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's a, it's my mustache. I'll have you know, <laughs> not a caterpillar, thank you. <laughs> no, there are that's that's my eyebrows. <laughs> All right, so there should be a there's a mega mole down here somewhere, isn't there? Or some kind of milk mole? It's very hard to see right now, but yeah, there I know there's a mole down here somewhere, so we'll go find that while we're here. All right, uh, I need this thing. There it is. There's one mole right here. Let's go and grab this guy. Uh, guys, that ABT! Chrissy Queen wins! <laughs> You're like, no! 
<laughs> Alright, now I come to the... I think that's feathers here as well, isn't there? Stingray parts, I'll take those. Uh... Oh yeah, there's more uh, marble here. Grab that. Yeah, because then we can upgrade our armor fully to tier 5, can't we? Once we're done with that, and then we should be good. And there's feathers. There we go. And then there's more marble here. Let's grab that as well. Alright, got it. And right, is that it? Yeah, I think we got it all from there. Right, so did we pick up all of the feathers and stuff? I believe we did. So yeah, there's one Mega Mola down in this first trench. And there is another one of those. Get rid of those. Yeah, these things you need an axe to destroy. So yeah, just use your axe on them. Um, to do and then that white bit and then that's another one made mm. together. right says uh anyone you think that is just too op for the reader do you like all the new weapons in the game um i don't know for the for the new arena i'd say honestly i would say the battle axes are probably too op for arenas because they can just just because they've got like an insane damage and stun output compared to other weapons like they're, they're faster than clubs but they have more stun than clubs as well so i'd say that though that like the any any kind of the especially like the newer battle axes are probably the tougher ones like i don't know if they work too well in arena just because they probably one shot <laughs> i know right there's lava in this game <laughs> right, hi there. <laughs> no it's good that's what we like, Cover Green. You gotta do, we, got, we need more of that. Did you know there's a pond in this game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's dew in this game? There's grass in the game? There you go. Nice. Yeah, Spider Fang Dagger does you really well in this area too. I always I always forget that how useful it actually is down here. But yeah, it's very, 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 very foggy down here. Here we go. Uh, Kray says, all, all, all of them? This is the game? <laughs> Marie says, uh, Schmecter, please have mercy. Me says, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, guy, guy's like, Ubi too. But yeah, anyway, but yeah, I, th I think most battle axes are, like, like even the sour battle axe now, like, at least in 1.3, like, the meta for PvP was the sour battle axe. Because that was just de facto the best weapon. It's, it's fast, it does huge damage, and you can, like, if you get like two hits on it on someone with it in a row, you're you're pretty much guaranteed to get the third hit because of stun. I got him. Nice. Die lava. We lava the lava. But now you're dead. The lava dead. Oh, yeah. Back up from that. Hello there. Right. Now you get that one. Now you get that one. And we also get some. Free quartzite over here. There we go. Loads of quartzite there. And a free free fungal growth over here as well. So we'll go pick that up too. Alright, there we go. So fungal growth. And look, we actually got a bit more uh, quartzite here too for more weapon upgrades. Uh, all I need now is the last achievement, which is grow big again and score 100%. Nice, dude! <laughs> Yeah, that one that was that was the toughest one. But yeah, I've I, I've uh, I've managed it. And now you don't need gold cards anymore for that, so that's uh it does make it a little bit easier now. So yeah, it's not as bad anymore. Uh let's see, and uh versus, versus bro, stop killing my cat. Meow. <laughs> and uh, Frost says uh, grounded is such a buggy game. I know, right? It's full of bugs. <laughs> there are bugs in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that nearly, that nearly uh, did me in. Okay, let me <laughs> let me let me heal. Shit. <laughs> right, how much fungal growth did I get from that little uh, ex expedition? Um, pretty good amount actually. Okay, that'll be enough to make the bombs I need. Right, so we need to. Well, I need to go back first and drop all this stuff off because like I'm not gonna be able to carry any of the antics at the minute. So we're gonna head back and then we will drop everything off. And then we'll come back to the anthill, we'll try and grab some ant eggs, and then make some bombs and stuff, uh, which should be pretty good. Uh, Frost says, I wish Grounded had a pond, though. I know, right? <laughs> that's, that's the one thing that's missing from Grounded, it's the pond. And, you know, like, the pond could have, like, lily pads in it, and there could be, like, a koi fish that swims around in it. Like, that'd be cool. And you know how there's, like, a kind of spider that can swim called a diving bell spider? Like, people think they're safe in the pond, but, like, the devs could, like, put a diving bell spider in the pond, and, like, that could be, like, the main threat down there. And, and, and then the, they could have, like, a whole underwater lab and everything that's, like, completely submerged and you have to like get your way into it by activating like breakers that are underwater but there'll be like all these jet streams under the water that like push you around and stuff like that but that'd be so good if that was in the game it's a shame it's not <laughs> does this pond where there isn't one doves <laughs> oh, we're just talking about how good it would be if there was a pond in the game <laughs> 
I can't, I can't talk about it and keep a straight face. I can't keep it up. <laughs> uh, right. All hail the sleepy spider that's sliding across the ground. <laughs> sliding on the ground. The sleepy spider, he slidey, slidey, slidey on the ground. The sleepy, sleepy spider. And where's he gonna go? We're not gonna follow him because we're going to base the sleepy spider on the ground. <laughs> All right. I, lo I, lo I love the fact that sometimes, like, the bugs will literally slide across the ground while they're asleep. <laughs> I don't get why they do that either. It's like they always like don't load their AI in, in properly, and they're just like, yeah, we're just asleep. No one knows. <laughs> Chris says uh, they should have they should have added deeper puddles, at least for playgrounds, so we could make mini ponds at least. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, maybe they'll have like more of a water theme map at some point. I mean, yeah, wait, wait, mini what? <laughs> and uh, let's see. Uh, Frost says, uh, I, w I wish Grand had a pond, though. Marie says, uh, infected lava and my cats. Oh, they are. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, they, they have they have to die. They're, 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 they're the bane of everyone else's existence, so, you know, I have to do the, wo I have to do the world of service. Cat, I've just got EDM, and it's not gonna is it, to, is it to be singing again? <laughs> how, how did I know it was gonna be more to do with singing? Oh, I know, because you've got an amazing singing voice. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is this aphid edible? That aphid is edible. Right, so I've got to analyze some stuff as well. So let's go see. I've got to analyze berry leather too, haven't I? Uh, yes, yeah, so let me get one of these to analyze. Uh, feathers we already did. Right, let me go analyze some stuff. And then we'll come back and try and make some bombs after we get some some stuff. <laughs> Christ, like a mini what? <laughs> well, I don't know. As long as the mini thing is not between my legs, then that's fine, you know. That that that, that that's gonna be maxi. <laughs> and uh Marie says, uh Marie says, um uh, ca cam camel a broken juicy? Camel a broken juicy, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you talking about a juicy mutation? Because that's a good mutation. And yeah, that is kind of broken, if you're talking about that. <laughs> but and, uh, honestly, I'm just going to admit it right. I have no idea what, uh, what you're on about. <laughs> no, why would I? Okay, moving on. Karate <laughs> says, oh lord. What do you mean, karate? <laughs> all right, let's go get all these. Again, that'll allow me to make the bombs now. And we got the bear leather analyzed as well. And now we got that done. We can go make our way back over to our lily pad. And we should be pretty good. Um, and Cry's like, give the people what they want! Yeah, Coffee Queen, give the people what they want. <laughs> you sound so cute when you say it like that. You're like, no! <laughs> uh, my Frost's Fake is level 10, by the way. Oh, very nice. I think the highest you can get is level 15, isn't it? I think is the highest uh, the highest weapon score now you can get. Right, that Ape can go on there to be kooked. He is rather kooky. Uh, right, so yeah, now we need to make some kind of torch. Uh, we need to go steal an eggs, essentially. So let's see. We need a one torch, which is going to be that one. There you go. We only need one. And then let's go and drop the fungal growth into... Yeah, fungal growth can go in here. Drop that in there with the rest. There you go. And we can keep that there for now. Oh, I didn't want to drop that in there. There you go. Right, so you come with me and you, you go there. Right, okay. Safer. Let's go get ourselves. Well, I'll try and get myself some ant eggs. Like usually, when I go to get ant eggs, there's like none when I want them, and then when I don't want them, they're just like everywhere. Although there might be some in the ant queen chamber, so we can go go check that out as well. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go. I'll probably go do that. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys do want me to load a, a world that I previously hundred percented to test if the if we still need like, you know, I'll get the t I'll get the new game plus stuff. Um, like the the new folder and the scabby because I think that's the and and the note because those are the only two things I think were added. But if you guys want me to test whether you actually need to go into new game plus to hundred percent, let me know and then we'll run it on stream. Um, if not, if you're not bothered, you want to find out yourselves anyway. That's fine as well. Just let me know because I don't mind if you guys want me to have a look. There's only three things I got to get anyway. Two of them are in the same location, and the other one is the uh, the other one is the deuces sign. Uh, I need to get that or the the note for the deuces sign. And after that, I think that's the only new things they really added around the yard, so... I think we're good after that. Right, anyway, let's go to the anthill, though. Let's go grab what we need to. Uh, I'll probably equip my sweater fang dagger here, because that's going to melt through the ants pretty easily. Nose. Nose. Uh, let's see. Uh, Comic Queen asks, Would you rather be the funniest person in every room, or the most intelligent person in every room? Probably the funniest, because, you know, being able to make people smile and stuff is 
what I enjoy. So yeah, I'd probably be the funniest person in the room. I mean, right now I'm the funny, I'm the funniest looking person in the room. But you know, that's okay. That that, that still counts, right? <laughs> that still counts, right? <laughs> Don't tell me that doesn't count for anything. <laughs> All right, uh, Frost says, uh, doesn't the Mithridates work against the infused bugs? Um, if they do regular poison, then it will. But if they do venom, then no. Mithridates, because, uh, um, yeah, inf infused bugs, like, some do poison, but not all of them. Some do poison, some do venom. Um, the fungal charm, though, does work against the explosives that they do, like the, the science explosives. Not the spicy or the sour ones, though. You need, uh, but I do believe fresh defense works against the spicy ones. But some of the some of the bugs literally just like spawn like ten million projectiles on you that just blow you up anyway. Right, there any annex here? Of course they're on. Hello. Right, let's go make way down here. Let's see if we can find any annex. Uh, there's lots of uh, lots of food down here, but hi. Right, so let's see. Okay. Oh, I missed a quartz right there. Hello. Take that. I'll take that quartz Right, so the ant queen is around here, isn't she? So let me see if there's any new... Let's see if there's any eggs down here. Sometimes there's ones down here. Uh, or in this little area. Doesn't look like it. Let's see if there's any up here. Let's see if there's any ant eggs in this new chamber here. If there are, then we'll get them. If not, then we'll see. Uh, let's see. Is that anything we can grab? Yeah, that's one. That's two. Right, we've got two, two ant eggs so far. Uh, the juice drop. Is there any more down here? Let's have a look. Yeah, we might need to go on a mass uh, a mass murdering ant spree to get more of them. Because, yeah, these uh, these ones we can't take, so we can't take those ones. Um, there is a room behind her, but we can't get to that room right now because, you know, she's kind of there and blocking the way to it. But, yeah, no nothing appears in there until you kill her, so... Oh, wait, no, we can't get here. But, yeah, no nothing really appears here until you actually kill the ant queen, so... There's nothing really much we can get from this room. Okay. But yeah, we can't feed or kill the Ant Queen yet, so we have to unlock that recipe still. Uh, can we chop this out of the way? No, we can't. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're going to have to just make do with two eggs and probably murder the Ant Hill for a bit. Uh, Mystical says, uh, what did the fish say when it hit the wall? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I get Christ laughing now. Uh, it'd be way more entertaining telling jokes and making people laugh than just sitting there spitting out facts and shit. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, Frost says, uh, yeah, yeah, the mystery. Yeah, that unfortunately doesn't work on everything in New Game Plus. It can work on poison stuff, but yeah, not Venom. I think most of the things hey, in New Game Plus just do Venom anyway. <laughs> like, I, I think someone had a... I think it was Paralyzer I was watching. He had a Mantis that had a Venom scream. Like, every time it screamed, it would just Venom you. <laughs> and so, you, like, you couldn't even block it. Right, is there eggs here still? Okay, there's the third one. Right, there's another one. Right, so we got, we got three eggs. I mean, that'll be... I think that'll be enough for what we need for now. Yes, I'm stealing your eggs. No, I don't care. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Let's go through here. Can we go up a bit? Boing! Right, I'm just gonna run away with all these eggs. Here we go, and then we can. I'll probably have to come back and murder the ants to make too many more bombs. Because yeah, I think the ant population is too high, so no more. Okay, we're just gonna run past you guys. Ha ha! There you go. We win. There we go. Now I can make some bombs, and then we can clear out the uh, we can clear out the other areas in the lower yard that we need to get the data for. And yeah, anything. Essentially, there's there's a few areas that require bombs, so we can clear them out. And then we can go probably do the pond after that. That would be pretty good. And Karate says, be right back. Phone call. No worries, Karate. See you soon, dude. All right, let's go to the... Uh, let's, what we're going to do then is we'll go to the... Go to the main base. We'll craft the bomb that we need. Hopefully these spiders don't wake up. Uh, okay, go this way. Oh. That one <laughs> okay, get out of there. <laughs> okay, just, just run this way. We're fine. Everything's fine. Just pretend like the spider's not behind me and giving chase right now. We're okay. There you go. I'm not really worried about dealing with them. Just going to run past them. Okay, the, the spiders don't actually do that much damage now that I got Ladybug Armor on. Like, it's, def it's definitely it's definitely not doing like anything now, which is really good. So yeah, I can definitely tank a lot more damage, which is a good thing. Right here we go. Um, let's see. Mystical says, uh, just pulled the the random fact uh, intelligence over on my wife the other day. Uh, she didn't know that people with blue eyes actually don't have color in the iris. I'll be honest, I didn't know I didn't know that either. That's that's one thing I didn't know. So yeah, I learned something new too. Nice. <laughs> 
See, I would have assumed it would be people with, be, it would be people with gray eyes that didn't have color in the iris, but that's, that's actually kind of interesting that it's people with blue. Uh, let's see. And Ree says, uh, Ree says, juicy. <laughs> Very juicy. Oh, my. All right. Let's try down here. And we'll make our way back now. And once we're back, we can go ahead and make ourselves the bombs. Hopefully none of the eggs hatch while we're going this way. Yeah, 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 I made it. Oh, I actually made it to that leaf. Nice. Okay. I wonder if I can make it to that lily pad without falling in the water. Ah, oh, I'm not going to make it over this though, am I? Uh, nope. Ah. Well, there we go. I, I, I probably would have made it if I didn't say anything, but yeah. I, I, I had to open my big fat mouth, didn't I, and say stuff. Oh well, it's not as bad as me opening my mouth and you guys not hearing Coffee Queen singing. Like that's, it's not as bad as that. So you know, that's that's. Uh, I I have I have a redeeming quality in that. You know, at least it's beef jerky. at least Coffee Queen didn't give us a beautiful song while I was talking over it because that's that 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 that's, that doesn't make for a good time. Because we want to hear the beautiful coffee songs, but you know, <laughs> my me and my big mouth, right? Uh, right. Let's go to here and we can make the three brat bursts. Is what we want to do. So, yeah, there they are. Three of those, and I think I got everything we need. Yep, there you go. Three breakfasts. Excellent. Right, now we can go and open up some of the areas where we should find... There should be two more Mega Milk Molars we can find. And then we can use the third bomb to... What do I want to use the third bomb to do? Probably topple over the shovel with the third one, um, and that will be good enough for now. So, yeah, the first one is actually in the oak tree. We might have to fight the spiders to get to get through here. Let's see. Do we have to fight through wolf spiders to, to get through? Uh, yeah, we do. Spider. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, probably best to use my bow to attract one of them. There you go. Hi there. There you go. Right, we stunned him. Nice. Now I can switch to the dagger. Okay, why have I got my uh, light on? I don't know. But yeah, I do want to try and get the assassin mutation though, because that'd be really useful. There you go, we just chug through his health with this thing now. There you go, one spider down. Now I just go take care of the other one. Hello, Spidey. Ah, oh, look, he was just going to sleep and all. Okay, you start attacking me for some reason. Aha! You missed! Don't know how you missed, but you did. There you go, now you can take him out. Got him. Hey! Alright, now for the bombs. Here we go. So you get one of these, and then we're just gonna put this down here. Run the fuck away! <laughs> okay, got it. There you go. And then inside here, we should find ourselves one Mega Milk Molar. So one of these rocks clear out of the way. Should find one just hidden in this little spot over here. Uh, Chris Queen says, uh, Cover Queen, ice them. And Dove says, uh, okay, karate is on the phone, Coffee Queen. Give us a song. <laughs> um, and let's see. Um... See, okay, I'm, I'm all caught up on chat. Okay, we're all caught up on chat. Yay! Right, okay. Let's go find the next molar. Actually, am I going to need two bombs to do this? I might need two bombs, actually, to do this. So I might need, I might still need to go back and get some more Annex for, for some more. Uh, Kai says, what an amazing song, Coffee Queen. I know, right? <laughs> Kai says, uh, shame, uh, sh shame it was only once. <laughs> Dove says, uh, ten more, uh, ten more skull and si skull of siren song locks unleft, uh, uh, unlocks left, <laughs> locks unleft. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can, I can, I can words. Nice. So, are you, are you uh, who are you playing Sea of Thieves with? Does you play with MG? Miss Carnage with you as well. You're, uh, you're doing some uh, wreck crew business. Some wrecked crew business. Uh, Duff says MG. Fair enough. I'm working on the tail, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Smash. <laughs> I should probably get my, uh... I should probably get my dagger skill up there so I can get assassin. Because that's one mutation I really like. Plus it'd be really useful for the underwater bit as well. Right, hi. Right, come on then. Let's see. Uh, working, uh, working on the queen's guild? Nice. 
Yeah, I think I think I think Coffee Queen and I, my guild are both level eight, aren't they? At this point, unless you've got it up to level nine now. I haven't been on mine in a while, so mine's probably still level eight. But yeah, once we, once we get our guilds to a certain level, we can do emissary quests for our own guild, which means we can hand in like everything that we hand into sovereigns gets the gets the bonus. Ow. Ah, stop it, you. Hi there. What do you want? I got him. Nice. All right, there we go. We win. There we go. And the sky is off in ten. Wait, whoa, whoa. Ten subs? Holy shit. Hang on a second. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a bit. Um, says uh, your your nine has is eight. Oh, thank you guys, because I was at eight last time I was on. So thank you guys for helping level it up. Oh, OK, we got ten, again, ten gift subs. Let's go see who these were for. So ten gift subs we have. Wait a minute. Let me uh, check on the uh, check on the old uh, the old Twitch side. See who we got. So ten subs to who got these uh, subs. We got one for Gain Porum, uh, Hank Barube. We've got uh, it's D it's Dudeston. Uh, we've got uh, Law Cuts. We've got uh, Fallen Prophet, Jody Mermaid. We've got uh, Kai Kai, uh, Orange uh, Orange V Dub, uh, Black Nebula, and we've got the Scarra. Thank you so much for those gift subs, dude. Very much appreciated. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and uh, Kai says, uh, Kai, thank you so much for giving Sky a shout out as well. Very much appreciated. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> thank you so much, dude. Wow. Ten gift subs. Damn. <laughs> And they're still rolling. Here we go. I can. I. I. I love the little chaos emerald theme though. When we get them, I thought, honestly, like the reason I have the chaos emerald thing is because like I was like as a kid, I fucking love Sonic, right? So I was. I, was, I like. I like all the Sonic games as a kid. So yeah, it just made it made the most sense to be like, yeah, I'm gonna have the chaos emerald thing for it. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. So uh, Nurse Guy says you're welcome. Thank you so much, dude. I very much appreciate it. All right, let's see. So yeah, we need to go to uh, Travel Gulch, don't we? Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Fight him with a shovel! Wow, that does no damage, look. Look how much damage the shovel does. It's, it's, I stunned it already, but look. That's how much damage the shovel does. <laughs> that is terrible. That's worse than the tier 1 weapon. Wow, okay. Back in it. Oh. I that guy. I was, I was trying to read my chat then, Spider. Spider, I'm trying to read, okay? Can you, like, just calm down a minute? Right. Two mines there. Yeah, got him. Right, one spider down. Right. I had a junior around here somewhere, but I think we can leave it. I should, actually, while I'm around here, I should probably start harvesting toast as well, because later on we are actually going to need them, so... I'm going to start harvesting these. Because, yeah, late, once we get the oven, I can start making mushroom bricks, right? There you go. Let's get rid of. Uh, try and get rid of you as well. Come on then. Come on then. Yeah, this spider fight just like chunks through the hell. That's so good. There you go. All right, he's down. But yeah, I need to start collecting like mushroom and toastal chunks as well. Because yeah, when we get to building later, and for fungus macho meals as well, we're gonna need a lot of these. So definitely worth picking these things up now. Like, I know we can get a load more in the upper yard, and this is like, you know, that's like the easiest place to get them. But yeah, we do want to get a lot of these mushroom bricks anyway, so we should be pretty good. Uh, even he says, I love the daggers. Yeah, the daggers are very good as well. Uh, so that J J Jim Carrey helped the Sonic movies greatly. He played uh, Robotnik, didn't he, in them? But yeah, which is, kind of, which is kind of surprising as well, because like, he's not a guy that likes to do sequels. So it's kind of cool that he, you know, did the next one as well. All right, so let me get the mushrooms down here too. May as well pick all these up. Because yeah, each one of these gives you 10, um, each one of these mushrooms gives you 10 of the slurry. So two, or, so two of these mushroom chunks turns into five uh, build pieces of mushroom bricks, so they're very efficient to build with. Hi there. Right, do you mind? I'm trying to harvest mushrooms here. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Right, get rid of this guy. Get out of here. 
That guy's so rude. Oh my god, that spiderling is like so fucking rude. I just want to like harvest my fucking mushrooms and like not deal with these eight-legged monstrosities. Thank you. <laughs> uh let's see uh it says uh, one, one of my goals on steam is to become uh, is to become the best screenshotter ah okay well if you're part of my discord or anything you can always share any screenshots you take with us as well so we can so we can all have a look because i know not everyone is on the steam side of things but you know if you want a place to share your screenshots then uh, join my discord if you're not on my discord already um i can give you a link to it i'm not sure if my uh old discord command works you can type an exclamation mark discord into the chat and see if it pulls it up um but if not i will copy the uh i'll copy the link over for you um over on the uh over on the youtube so i'm not sure if it's got my current one because i know like at one point the old link i had just decided to expire but yeah if you do want to join the discord then you're more than welcome to and you can share any screenshots in there as well if you want to all right, let's go grab some of these. Cause yeah, it's always it's always good to see cool screenshots. All right, let me see. Can I harvest anything else around here? Is there any more mushrooms here? There is not. Okay, so no more mushrooms over here. We need to go back and uh, yeah, murder a load of ants, and then we'll go to the picnic table. We'll get rid of the. Oh no no, we're gonna have to go to the lava cave after that, aren't we? Unless there's any more ant eggs down there now. If I do, if I do find some more ant eggs, I'll head back to the picnic table and lower the shovel. If not, then we will go back to lava cave and just kind of like bust up all the stuff in there, and that should be pretty good. All right, okay, so we'll make our way over here. So yeah, we got to go back to the anthill one more time. So let's get my torch ready, and let's just go across this way. Hello, Aphid. Don't worry, Aphid. I know I'm chasing you, but I'm not actually going to kill you this time. I will kill another one of your kind somewhere, but not here. <laughs> All right. So I may have to fight through these ants to get through, but that's fine. It's kind of just like Leroy Jenkins it in there. All right. All right. Hi there. Yeah, just, uh, I like how the soldier ants not not even aware of me until I get like right there. Then he's like, hey, wait a minute. Hi there. Right. There any more ant eggs down here? Oh, hello. These guys are holding a lot of food down here. I thought they fixed the. I thought they fixed the whole food hoarding thing. Doesn't seem like they did. Um, so, oh, that's the area behind the ant queen there, isn't it? Right there, you go. right. You need to stay out of here. Thank you. Right, so let's go back to the ant queen's chamber and see if any new eggs have been put in there. If they haven't, we can just you know mass murder the ants to force more eggs to spawn. All right, let's have a look over here. So we're gonna jump up here, then we'll go to the queen's chamber just over here. Let's see. Did we have any that got placed? right in this little area if we didn't then uh yep they've not respawned okay so uh murder time <laughs> all right uh this is uh, not sure it says uh did, did it for his uh, did it for his granddaughter not sure and uh kind of says uh not sure if that works uh hang on kind of let me just uh, let me just check and see um i'll check on the uh, other side and see what happens here uh, doo -doo -doo. uh let me just do it over here too is that my new Discord link? Let me see. Does it still do it? Ah, okay. Maybe uh, maybe my Nightbot's been disconnected on this side of things. So, uh, okay. What I'll do then is I'll just copy and paste my... Uh, I'll copy and paste the Discord link over for you, uh, Marie, if you wanted to join anyway. Uh, just in case. Yeah, I've got to check out my... Uh, I've probably got to reconnect my Nightbot to uh, YouTube anyway. There you go. There's there's Discord if you if you want it there. There you go. Uh, guys, I tried. It's right, guys. Don't worry, dude. Yeah, I know... Uh, I know sometimes it doesn't always it doesn't always post so yeah i might need to just like redo my bot and everything i'll probably just move it to stream elements though because it'll be i'll probably like move nightbot to stream elements apart from a very few things because then it'll be a lot easier to be like hey it's just gonna it's just gonna work right uh plus there's probably a load of commands that i don't even use anymore so yeah i probably need to i probably need to do a lot of maneuvering of stuff right okay so let's try down here and uh yeah it's time to murder some ants guys Three, two, one, go! There you go, right. There you go. I'm, as I'm actually gonna like collect all these food items down here as well, because like these things are really, really causing my game to lag. Um I know they said they like optimize low stuff, but yeah, we're just gonna collect all this and trash it, and then then you know, that'll help a bit. Um, it's a shame you can't just like use this stuff for like smoothies now, because that'll be like, because like the smoothie maker now requires soothing syrup. But yeah, I can I can feel my game running smoother already. 
just just from picking this stuff up here like my game is already running smoother uh which is really good there you go so yeah as you can see my inventory is like full of full of stuff already so yeah we're just gonna like trash all these um because none of this stuff is fresh and you can't use it in human food smoothies so it's just better consigned to the trash heap so there you go so we'll get rid of all those yeah because none, none of these the, the nectar i will keep that's actually useful but everything else we can just get rid of there we go that's better uh is there anything else i don't really need uh yeah there's billy hogs there nice get rid of them all right there you go all right now we can continue on our murder spree hey stop bringing more food down yeah we just had to pick up food and go from here hi there The best part is I can just tank these guys now, which is really good. All right, come on then. Yeah, these, these guys with this dagger are just very easy to kill. They're, they're not, like, weak to the dagger. They're actually resistant to it. But the poison kind of just does the work as well. Hi there. There you go. All right, next one. Yeah, we will murder an entire anthill here. And everything will be fine. There you go, another 200 raw science. Thank you. There you go. And uh, looks like we got another achievement as well. Thank you. But yeah, this will also get my assassin mutation up, and that's the one I want to use in a minute. I'm getting hit a little bit too much now. Right, if we block that guy, hopefully I can proc the Scarlet Embrace on it. Right, where are you going? Got him. Nice. Yeah, the uh, the the dagger is actually very good for for the black hands as well. Hi there. I got him. Nice. There you go, got him as well. Yeah, the Scarlet Embrace has helped me heal up. There we go, now i got level 1 Assassin. So now I can just turn this on, and now we're going to start bleeding them as well, which is really, really good. There we go. All right, so yeah, now with Assassin, right? This is uh, this is going to be good, right? Let's go down and collect any of the ant parts that are left down here. There you go, we'll just grab all these. <laughs> we're going to have a ton of ant parts by the time we're done, but that's good because, like, they are using a lot of stuff. Um, hi there. Yeah, now, yeah now, now I can four-shot them, essentially, which will make things a lot quicker. Um, because, yeah, the bleed damage stacks up very, very nicely with poison. And the bleed damage also sp uh, stacks with spiky spring bleed as well. There you go. And now I can start. Yeah, this is also the easiest way. Like, going into the anthill is the easiest way to level up any of your weapon mutations. Oh, you just came out of the wall? Okay. Alright, come on then. Come on then, you. There you go. Is it? Yep. There's another. Hey, don't you be going down there. Your ant queen needs to work overtime to make up for your lost colony numbers. So therefore, all of your lives must be sacrificed for the greater good. Alright. I sound like Grimblebold now. <laughs> for the greater good. Oh, there's an egg right there. Gimme, gimme. Hey. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay, uh... That's fine, that's fine. Grab these. Hello. Alright, now you just gotta break away through these guys. There we go. Spread the poison around a bit. There we go. Nice, there's those ones. Yep, so we do have another ant egg down here. There you go. There you go. We're at ant nine out of three. Nice. <laughs> I missed it. All right. Right, so we got some. There you go. Let's back up a little bit. Uh, Metalrock says, uh, says uh, watching you from uh, the doctor's office and muted. Thank you so much, Metalrock. I know you can't hear what I said, but thank you, Metalrock. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm muted right now. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, you must be muted. You're being too noisy. All right, let's go get rid of those. Go get rid of those. Go get rid of those. 
Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot of ant parts now. Look at that. <laughs> okay, where's that ant egg go? Uh, there it is. Got it. Tiny Pete needs drink. Uh oh. Uh. Alright, get that one. Hello. I got him. Nice. Take out that guy. Oh, my inventory's full again. Right, get rid of that. There we go. And get rid of that. There we go. Keep the acid glands. We need them. But yeah, they'll, they'll, it'll start producing more eggs now if we, like, murder a lot of these things. So that will uh, that will definitely help. And then we can go... Well, I don't was carrying an egg out of one of these chambers, so I don't know if that means there's now more of them. Hi there. Wait, how did I stun these guys? Oh, I must have been blocking them. Right. Nice. Then we'll just keep collecting parts. There we go. Uh, let's see. Kaya says, uh, Kaya says, yeah, man, voice like an angel. <laughs> did she sing? Did I miss it? Yep. Voice like an angel. <laughs> you missed it, Karate. And Ka Ka Karate's like, no! And I was like, clip it, clip it! <laughs> Better than starving. Right, let's eat one of those. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have eaten that. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I do have one of those. Don't even need to boil it. There you go, give me that. Thank you. There you go. And Kai says, uh, Kai, Kai, uh, Kai says, uh, I'm deleting my Twitch account now. <laughs> because, because, you, because you missed a coffee song. <laughs> he's, he's just like, no, no, why? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to eat all this. There we go. Uh, eat all that lot, and then we can trash this lot. At least you never go hungry in the anthill anymore. <laughs> like, there, there is, there, like, they are stockpiling so much food in here, though. All right, let's make our way up here. Actually, have I even collected slime moles yet? I don't know. But yeah, let me come down here. Did they did she lay any more? Ah, here we go. There you go. All right, I can only get three. Right, what else can I get rid of that I don't really need? Um, all right. Uh, I do need to get rid of some stuff. Okay, acid glands, not as important. Spider webs, we can get them anywhere. Not as important. Um, so then I can get two more. There you go. Yeah, okay, so so the so now that we killed all those ants, the eggs actually repopulate a lot faster now. That's actually really good to know now. So yeah, the eggs populate faster now after you kill the ants. That's good. Um, so Mero says, uh, Carnage wins this karate. Don't let it win. <laughs> Ant spotted. All right, there you go. Now I can get out of it. Oh, well, apart from, uh, apart from you, because, you know, I can make you bleed out. But yeah, the dagger is also very useful against bees as well. Like, once you've got Assassin on there, uh, the dagger is a very good weapon to take over up to, onto the picnic table. Alright, here we go. Let's make our way out of here. And now I can go make some more bombs. Thank you so much for your luck, guys. Very much appreciated, dude. Alright. Now I'm just gonna make it out of here alive. Then we're fine. Alright, hi. Hi there. Howie. Okay, oh, okay, we're getting uh, we're getting beat up a little bit. Okay, oh, stop it! Ow, ow, ow! Okay, back up. Okay, oh, corner, corner. That's not good. Okay, no okay, gas bad. I can't wait through these ones. Yeah, the soldier ants cause me the most problems. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> right, use the bandage. Right. Right, spear time. There you go. Right, okay. Let, let that guy run. It's fine. Right, yeah. We'll let, we'll let that one run. We're gonna die, so just let it run. There you go. Hey, I got the red worker at gold card. Very nice. Uh oh. Right, just block the spear right there. Okay, let's get out of here. Hi there. Aha. Hi again. Alright, there you go. Got it. All right, go, 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 leave, leave. Okay, right, we're good, we're good. Woo. There you go, right, we got it. Right, we got out. And jump a bit. Oh, there you go, and jump a bit. Right, we made it. We made our escape, guys. We've made our escape. We're out of here. Yes. I got plenty of bombs to use now. That aphid is a pet. Oh, that's better. Okay, managed to get out of there. <laughs> that was a close call. Yeah, my dagger, my dagger broke. Oh, hello. Ready? Okay, out of the uh, out of the frying pan into the fire looks like. Okay. Okay, probably this one will be better. Alright, come on then. Oh shit! Don't get flung by the grass. There you go. Hi there. 
Yeah, this grass is flinging very dangerously right now. Alright, that's three spiders. Oh. There's one. Alright, now this guy. No, he's got the most health. Get this guy fast. Right, there you go, he's down. Now you. Okay, there. Oh, okay, watch out for that grass is flinging wildly. We gotta chop down some of this grass. Yeah, I can't believe my torch makes moment Drew's too cool. This grass is gonna like fling me at one in a minute. Alright, I gotta get rid of that one. Alright, stop using the grass shenanigans. Very surprised I've not been flung and killed already. There you got it. Nice. Yeah, that's our second. I think our second gold card now. The last round one, ladies and gentlemen. Three old viewers. What did I do? What did I just click into? I know, right? Hey, Nick says. Oh my God, just still at it. Good evening, guys. How you doing, Nick? Welcome to the stream, dude. <laughs> Hope I, yeah, I'm, I'm still at it. We got Ladybug Armor now, so that's a good thing. Managed to do a bit of an upgrade. Uh, Huggy says a master at work. <laughs> had a bit of a close shave with those ones, but that was uh, that one. Oh, okay, I'm just glad I had Ladybug Armor on because otherwise that would have been uh, that would have been a bit worse. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad if I only had an armor on because uh, yeah, I would have probably died in, in one of them attacks. Water filtration tablets needed. But luckily we'd already upgraded, so we don't have to worry. Yeah, I, I can be a bit more. I can be a bit more like carefree now around this area because we don't have to worry about too much. Just. <laughs> Killing us in two or three hits now, which is good. But even so, it's still it's still rough, so we've got to be careful. <laughs> we've still got to be careful, but it's okay. Right, okay, let's drop down here. All right, so yeah, we're going to make our way back. And then we can finally make these other bombs. Then we can go through Lava Cave, deal with all that. And then we can probably just open up the other areas. And then we can sell the pond, which is going to be a good which is gonna be a good thing, I think. So yeah, we'll go do that. So first of all, we're going to make our way down here. So jump it over here. And jump it over there. Going over here and a bit then over there. And jump it up and down. <laughs> <laughs> on the lily padder, going on the sticker. Yes. And I kind of think uh, of a more reminds her, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> coffee, coffee, cleaner. All uh, right, jump up here. There you go. Right, so now we can make more bombs, right? So hopefully I can now make a load of these. So, yeah, looks like I can make a pretty good amount of them. There they go. Nice. And, oh, apparently they gave me 650 raw science. Okay, this is like, yes, make things that kill things. <laughs> and uh, Cressy Queen says, coffee queen, messenger. Okay. <laughs> and uh, how you doing, Dougie? Says, uh, says, uh, th yeah, three old weavers. What I can do. <laughs> welcome to the stream, Dougie. Sorry, sorry, I didn't probably welcome you in then. Hope you're doing well. I was, I, I, I just read like, I just, I thought it was Huggy that said that. My bad. But how you doing, Dougie? And we got Huggy and Dougie. <laughs> Huggy, Muggy, <monkey>, Dougie. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Welcome in. Uh, but yeah, three, three old weavers just in that, in that first starting area. Then, um, yeah, <laughs> my bad. It says, uh, yeah. Uh, Oh, is that all the parts done and ready That's to go? All parts oh, very yeah. nice. Yo, you're 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 almost there as well now. Yeah, I've just got that white circle. Just the white there, circle bit left, it. and then that's, that's it. it. Nice. And I, I can't finish it properly because why not? I haven't got any colored eyes like that. I've only got plain black. It doesn't matter. You actually can still just have black eyes, can't you? Yeah, I think you can. Uh, says, uh, no problem. Hope you're uh, doing well. Hope you're doing good too. I'm doing pretty good today. Yeah, we've, uh, we've done the hedge lab now. Uh, we got Ladybug Armor, which is really good. And why don't you just test one? Nothing, nothing wrong with just like getting one out and having a look, right? Because you could just, you could just test to see if it's going to be the right, the right thing you need. Uh, right. Let's drop those off. Hang on. Can I condense my loot anymore? Uh, I need to, I need to do some condensing. Why are we condensing? There we go. And I need to, I do need to analyze my mushroom chunks as well, but that can wait for a little bit until, you know, we actually get to an analyzer for now. Uh, right. So everything there is sorted out as it needs to be, which is good. Let me do that to sort my other loot out. Oh yeah. Nectar needs to go in the food box. So that can go into there. There you go. That can go in with the other food stuff. And then let me see what else we got here. The right, am I really using the slippers at this point? I'm not really using them. I'm gonna keep them, but I'm not really using them right now. So yeah, that can go in there. Don't need that on me. That'll save me a slot, so I can carry more stuff. I need to repair my dagger. Just saw that. And uh, done. There you go. Yeah, luckily, luckily it only takes one spider venom, so you see, you will have to kill more spiders to repair it, but it's not that difficult to repair now. Um, because yeah, we've we've taken on plenty of all spiders, so we have got you know lots of venom left over. All right, so that's pretty much everything done there. Right, so now we can go and use the bombs on the other areas, like in Lava Cave, right? We can go do that now. 
So yeah, so at this point I'm ready to do the pond, uh, but yeah, I'm going to clear up everything else in the in the yard first on this side. So essentially what I want to do is I want to have 100% of everything done on like this little half of the yard here. So like everything likes down in this area before we go to the pond. I just want to finish up, right? So there's a couple of, uh, couple of little areas we've got to go to. Uh, we do actually need to find the textbook scabby as well. We haven't found that yet, but, uh, oh, and I, speaking of which, I do need to repair my axe as well. I just saw that that was almost out of durability as well. So let me go repair that real quick. Uh, Haggis says, uh, I want to sleep, but instead I got raided, I got, I got raided by all weavers. <laughs> yeah, that, that does, that does happen sometimes. You're just like, yeah, I'm just going to come back to base. And the next day you just said, it's like, yeah, you just know the, you know, the spiders are coming. And you hear that you hear that weird instrument over the top where it's like, <laughs> like going over the top. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Look at all the creatures. Now we're getting raided, but I just want to sleep silly bloody creatures always raiding my base. <laughs> crazy, crazy creatures. Why don't you leave me just <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we need to go find the textbook, Scabby. That's the first one we need to go to. Ah, back in uh, the karate! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks, karate. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, hey, bro, you're welcome. <laughs> Alright, let's go down here. We'll grab... Actually, I'll grab some flower petals on the way as well, because we're going to need more of them later to make uh, the grinders. So we do need a few of these. I remember when grinders had... Uh, I remember when one of the ingredients in the grinders was the crow feathers. And they were, like, really difficult to make. Um, and they kind of made it a bit easier after that. Uh, I just got a science screen call that only does plus black widow damage. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they have one for each type of creature, don't they? Uh, and I think there's I think there is actually one that does uh, plus boss damage as well, which is pretty good. So, yeah, there's there's lots of, like, decent ones. Nice and clean. That's kind of cool. You found one that literally just does black widow damage, though. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so, essentially, that's, like, a free... Uh, Essentially, like like a free um, wall mount, essentially, but on your character at all times. Uh, see through says, "What's up, Max? Hey, see through. How you been, dude? Oh shit, hello, Spider. I'm trying to welcome see through to the stream. How bloody rude! <laughs> God. Okay, yeah, I'll per I'll perfect block you now. There you go. Okay, when, I'm, when, when I'm not actually reading my messages for a minute. There you go. Oh, and now another one. Okay, hello. One, two, uh, but yeah, we're starting. A, I started a brand new woe save. Um, this is now the third stream of it, and we've just done the hedge lab and got into some tier two gear. About to do the pond lab, but I took a bit of a detour to the haze to get everything we needed for like bombs and stuff first, because I was like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna like make all the stuff to you know get everything in this part of the yard before we move on. So I figured, yeah, may as well, may as well do that. Right. So discover the squirt gun. Oh, here comes mosquitoes. There you go. There you go. Now bleed, mosquito. There you go. Oh, I got a crit. And now he'll just bleed out, I think. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, look at that. He flew right to me as well. That's, that mosquito was so kind. Like, he died right in front of me so I could just pick him up. That's awesome. That's a considerate mosquito there. Come on, then. That one down. There you go, get some bleeds on you. Hey, you didn't like that, did you? Come on, then. There you go, now I can just deal with this guy. There you go. Nice. Yeah, the, da the dagger just rips through these things. It's such a good weapon. Um, yeah, how you been, see through? How's your uh, How's your return to grounded been? Because I know you like, I know like for you, grounded wasn't doing so well for a little while there, um, and you were like thinking of moving on to other games. But I did see I've been following your Twitter posts and everything, and you were like, yeah, I'm gonna come back to it. How's it all been going? And how are you liking the update so far? I hope you're I hope you've been enjoying it. All right, let's go deal with this one. There you go. All right, so let's go take down this lot of stuff. There we go. Because I do need to get all these mushroom chunks for walls later as well. Uh, oh, we need food. Speaking of food, there's actually some right there, so I'm just go do that. Oh, hi, Bombardier. <laughs> hi, random Bombardier. How you doing? Let's try and kill this guy before the other one comes over. Oh, shit. Okay, didn't block that one in time. Okay. Get that one, and then we'll go to this other one. Right, where are you, Bombardier? There you are deal with this guy so I don't get, like, butt juices thrown at me. Hi there. Okay, owie. 
How rude. You fired your dirty green bottom juices at me. That wasn't nice. As he says, not bad, man. I've been sick, but it's going well. But I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I'm sorry to hear you've been unwell. But hopefully you're feeling all better now. What's your favorite part about the update so far? Is it the new game plus? Is it the Ant Queens? Um, is it like the slight changes to like, or is it like the, the new bosses, like the infusions to the bosses and stuff? Uh, is it the infection ants? Is it the new weapons? Like, there's there's lots of stuff that came with this update. Right, I'm actually going to go and get the pinch whacker while we're here, because we, now that we got enough bombs, we can actually do that. So we're going to go get the pinch whacker. Usually I don't use the pinch whacker in any playthrough, but this time, you know what, I think I might. I think I, think I might do it this time, because why not? I, let, let, let's do something I don't usually do. Because, yeah, mo most of the time I'm just like, you know, the pinch whacker is good, but... You know, I find it I find it a little underwhelming at some po at some points, but I think they've improved it now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go try it out. Uh, let's see. It says uh, loving the challenge of progressing in New Game Plus. What? Uh, how many iterations of New Game Plus have you gone through so far? Are you still on New Game Plus one, um, or have you got a bit further? Hi there. Hi there. All right, come on. You missed. All right, there's one. Now you. I just want my weed stems, okay? Okay, I'm getting hungry again. That's fine. We can deal with that in a minute. Aha, you missed. Give me that one. Good job. Good job. We win. Uh, taking my time. Uh, I'm almost done with two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've only I've only seen the first level of New Game Plus. I've I've watched a few people do like New Game. I think I think I, I, it was C Dink. He was on like New Game Plus Four, and like literally he was like doing Schmecter, and yeah, he was literally going into like do the Schmecter fight and getting like there were there were at some point there where Schmecter's just like you know what I'm just gonna blow up the entire fucking room and you can't block it and then he just like got one shot. <laughs> it was actually quite funny. <laughs> All right, so we got to find the hidden door up here, haven't we? I'm not sure exactly which brick it is in. I think it's that one there. Yeah, it's that one there. Okay, so yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, um, for anyone who's like new to Grounded, there is a secret weapon that you can get, and there's a there's a little sure hole in the wall just up here. Now, when you're running past it, glasses. it's very easy to miss. But yeah, you can find it. I'll show you where it is on the map as well. You can find it just down here on the map. So here's the molar at the end of the pond. So essentially, just go through the little uh, the little gap between the fence and the wall, and it's kind of like right here where I'm looking at right now. And we're gonna go up into that gap into the wall. Uh, so it's can't miss any doing it. Molar's doing it. For sure, he's doing oh whoa, which I think is crazy. Oh yeah, I think I think he actually went down to medium after a while though, because he was getting like the, the the bugs were just like that insane that he was like, yeah, I'm gonna move to medium. I think at one point he like tried mild and still got one shot. So I think a little bit of balancing is needed. I think what will make it better though is if they um if they allow us to upgrade our armor as well. Um, because I don't think there's because I know like we got like tier four weapons and stuff, but I think we need the armor to level fifteen and tier four armor so we can actually progress you know further through it. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll make ourselves a set of stairways up here. And we're just going to essentially make a little stairway there. And then we'll go get some grass and fill that in. And then we can make our way up to the pinch whacker. And we should still be pretty good after that. Hey, Cosmic Slade, how you been, dude? Welcome in. Haven't seen you in a while, dude. I hope you've been keeping well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everything going to do? Uh, yeah, our rock will be super good. Yeah, I think they need it, honestly. And, like, the tier 4 infused armor as well uh, would be very nice. Because I've done it with the weapons, but I really think, like, given how either that or they need to seriously nerf the, the unblockable type of damage that gets applied. Because, like, you can't block any explosive damage. Like, the only thing you can do with explosive damage is mitigate it, right? But you can't actually block it completely. So... That applies to that, the fresh damage, the spicy damage. They need to reduce that if they're not going to give us more armor to tank it. Because, yeah, right right now, like, you know, no matter what skill level you are, you're getting one shot. That's definitely an indication of game balance needed. Not that New Game Plus is a bad thing. I think it's a, I think it's an awesome idea. But I think it's kind of... They, the, pro the problem is they didn't test it. You know, they didn't, they didn't put it into a public test branch for the community to test it before they released it. And I think they should have done for that. I, I get why, because they wanted to have it like release on consoles together with the PC and everything. But I really think they should have had a bit like how they did with Playgrounds, like giving a few people just like early access and be like, right, we need you guys to test this and let us know, you know, get like get like Paralyzer, C-Dinky and, you know, a couple, a couple of like really skilled players in 
who have like done like all kinds of insane challenges like you know get me in there carnage coffee queen karate like pe people yeah, that, yeah you you've done challenges no, yeah you have a challenge that you've done yeah defended your base from an, an entire horde of wasps and come out alive no that's not a challenge that, that yes it is i i find that a challenge <laughs> i'm not included in that don't listen to him Jack. guys listen to me coffee queen is amazing and she does. She 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 deserves to get a, like a, like super super sneaky early access to things to help test, because she would. She, and 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 that's that's one thing you're good at as well is like just get, just telling it like it is and giving honest feedback. You know what I mean? Like if you don't like something, you won't sugarcoat it. Well, clearly not because I did get picked. Hmm. I know for the one point three. I was I I was I was I was so upset when that happened though. So it was just like it was like we, we, we that, it, the hardest part of that was you know we were, we were, we were together like in the same house but I literally had to like separate myself from her to like explore the new stuff and make content on it but I couldn't tell her what I was doing you know I mean I was like I couldn't I couldn't mention it because of NDA and it sucked <laughs> so but yeah I think I think they should get like a load of a load of people in just to test stuff like that before you know because that means not everyone gets it um says how does the update introduce any uh, how does the update introduce any more bugs um okay so what you have now is that this update has uh ant queens now and you also have infected ants but they are only in new game plus so ant queens you can find uh, ant queens you can find like everywhere um in every ant hill there is now an ant queen for every faction so you can choose to like befriend them or you can poison them um and then you can like make new armor sets out of their drops or or you can infect them and now if you infect them in the next new game plus that ant hill will then have infected ants and an infected ant queen um and then if you feed the infected ant queen a hoagie you can then befriend that infected ant queen um they also made uh, all the bugs now have infusions as well in New Game Plus. So you'll fight you'll fight bugs that are essentially infused with raw science that can do like they, essentially they have mutations like the player does. So like some bugs might have a mutation like Truffle Tussle where when they attack sometimes it'll deal explosive damage. Uh, others can use like spicy, sour, and fresh damage on you. So like they'll 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 cause like a spicy staff projectile to spawn in front of them when they attack. Uh, some of them have higher defense. Some of them have faster attack speed. So yeah, es essentially it's like, yeah, essentially the bugs also get access to mutations. But you can go through iterations of New Game Plus, and the more you go through, the more random mutations they have, and the more bugs that are, uh, the more bugs My are there as well. I believe so, yeah. I think the only limiting factor right now is the fact that, you know, you're going to get to a point where the bugs can just one shot you with every attack they do so you're it's going to be like there's going to be a point uh befriending the fire ants would be so damn helpful same with the black ants that's the thing you got an you've got a buff now called ambassador so every ant queen you befriend will level up ambassador by one each so if you befriend all three ant queens in the first in the first uh playthrough before you go into new game plus you will then get uh essentially you can then while that mutation is on fire ants will ignore you and not and not attack you um which is really really handy for when you you know just trying to get around the upper yard so guys this is the uh this is the secret lab and this is where you can find the pinch whacker essentially you go to this little bin here and the pinch whacker is going to be right in that little bin right there if you come over in here as well you will also find some upgrade stuff you'll find uh some steady wet zones and super Supreme Weststones, as well as Steady Plating and Supreme Plating. So you can use that to upgrade your armor past level 5, but before you do that, if you come to this part of the game early, don't upgrade anything past level 5, because you'll need repair glue in order to repair any of it. Now if you come into this room, you'll also find the Rotten Berry Charm as well, which essentially means if you use Rotten Weapons, there's a chance that those Rotten Weapons will give out a Poison Cloud that will poison anything around it, which is really handy. Um, honestly, like, the Rotten Weapons aren't really useful later on, but like, if you found this early, it might help you using some Rotten Weapons, but the usefulness does fall off quite quickly um but yeah that's how you get the pinch whacker um and the pinch whacker is pretty good because this thing uh it's actually a level three weapon right so yeah this I, unless they've changed it no it's still level three weapon and you can see it's uh it's got a little bit of damage and a little bit of stun pretty good speed uh compared to the insect axe for example it does a little bit more damage than the insect axe so that's pretty good has a, about the same stun as the insect axe uh the red ant club is that much for comparison so yeah as you can see it's like the strongest one-handed weapon that we'll have access to at this point um but if we use this 
essentially what it will do is every third hit that you get in a combo it will actually zap the enemies around you which is kind of cool uh we should be able to ride the fire ants i mean i would like to ride the bugs and stuff but then again we got small land for stuff like that haven't we so you know there, there are other games where you can do stuff like that uh but yeah it would be nice if there were some kind of pets but yeah if you befriend the ants as well you actually get a pet from that function as well so you, you'll get like a, a baby worker ant as a pet and all pets in all game modes are now invincible as well so you can take that pet with you wherever you want to go which is very nice but yeah the pin tracker i'll be able to i'll be able to show you that in a sec i need to eat though uh do i have any food on me uh, no i don't okay but here we go so if i use this on this guy you can see the third hit gave me uh the third hit of that combo gave me like a, a zappy attack so yeah you can uh you can use that as well to get extra stun and it also works in an area of effect it also works with the barbarian mutation as well so if you're using uh if you're a fan of barbarian but you don't like the fact that you can't perfect block you can now use this with a shield right and that will uh that will essentially allow you to tank some uh to tank some extra damage and not really have as much of the drawback Right, hello. Okay, that that might is on top of me there. But yeah, essentially we've got like a little arm of a tasty here. There you go. Look at that. So yeah, for, for little enemies, like the little annoying enemies like Law Mites, it's, it's pretty damn good, right? So these, these annoying little buggers, it's actually working pretty good. Right, I need to, I need to go uh, eat some food though because I am literally running low on food. So yeah, we're going to try and run out of here, find some mushrooms or something, or maybe a juice drop over here. That'll probably give me some stuff as well. But yeah, in New Game Plus is where you'll find infected ants. But you'll only find infected ants if you've infected a previous anthill uh, in a previous game. But yeah, with the new infected ants, you can also craft some new weapons as well. There's a new weapon and a new shield you can make with them. All right, so yeah, I know I said I wanted to go like do some other stuff with the bombs, but yeah, we really need to get some food on the go before I can really do anything. So we're going to come back over here. But yeah, as you can see now, we've got ourselves the pinch racker, which is going to be a pretty useful weapon going forward. Like, I wouldn't use it in all situations. Like, I would I would more so capitalize on the bug's weaknesses rather than just rely on the pinch racker. But it's good for like, say if you've like not got something that a bug is weak to, and you're just looking for like a general weapon that is going to do a good amount of damage, the pinch racker will see you through for a bit. It's good until like, I, I say that the pinch racker is good till after the assistant manager, and then its usefulness kind of falls off just a bit after that. Like you can upgrade it more if you want to, but it kind of just falls off in usefulness after a while. Because once you get to, uh, once you get to like, you know, using tier three weapons, you'll find that most of the tier three weapons do actually outclass it. But yeah, for a, for a very early game tier three weapon, it's very good. Now, the only other thing you have to bear in mind is the pinch whacker cannot be repaired by normal means. So if I want to repair this, right, you'll see that if I go to repair this guy, it needs repair glue. Now, at this point in the game, you cannot get repair glue, right? If you've not killed the assistant manager, you cannot get repair glue. So the way you repair this is essentially you use it as much as you can until the durability runs out. And once you've done that, if you upgrade it on the smithing station by one level, it will give you the extra level and it will also do a full repair, which bypasses the repair glue requirement, at least for a time. You can do it up to... So essentially, you get five, you get like five free repairs before you then need to actually use the repair glue on it. So yeah, if you haven't got repair glue yet, then don't upgrade it to level six and um well actually I guess, I guess you could technically upgrade that one to level six um i don't think you'll be able to anyway because of like the mighty stuff it's more so for armor like don't upgrade the armor to level six till you get the repair stuff because otherwise like when your armor runs out of durability you won't be able to repair it although saying that you can use the super duper as well speaking of which i need to put the disc in the duper you can actually use the super duper to get a fully repaired version of something out of it as well so say if i had like a level six piece of ladybug armor that i broke if I put that into the super duper, I'll get the broken one back, but then I'll also get a brand new one. It will cost you some raw acid, but and I wouldn't recommend it. I just keep it at level five. But if you're really wanting that sleek bonus for like ladybug armor, which you know can be worth it, then it does offer you another way to you know get the get the repairs going. But yeah, as you can see right now, I can't clone the pinch whacker because yeah, as you can see, this thing uh, it requires a raw science limit increase, and the deepest firmware uh, and the deepest firmware update is needed. So we've only got one disc so far. So in order to uh, to upgrade some of this, like for example the rotten berry charm, I can't I can't duplicate either. So yeah, lots of these items we can't dupe yet because we've only got a cap of I think a thousand raw science to to upgrade things with. So we're going to have to wait and come back a little bit later for that. But now I can get some more quests. Uh, so let's go get those. So now i got uh, Raise the Banner at the West Wall. Uh, we need to make Plant Slurry. 
and let's see what, what else we got here. See, as you can see, we've done quite a lot of quests, though. Um, so we've also got to do... So stick in the mud. Yeah, will it grind? So we've got to build a grinder and make plant slurry after that. And then once we've done that, then we should be able to move on a bit. So let's go do that. Uh, we've also got some molars to spend now. So let's go upgrade... Let's take a little upgrade uh, resource stacks again. There you go. And then we got one more mold to spend here, but I can't really do anything with that yet. So gonna have to gonna have to wait on that one for now. Um, but yeah, let's go and uh, so we've put the disc into the duper, so we don't have to worry about that now. That part of the uh, that part of the run is done. There are two. There are three duper discs you can find. They are in the first three labs: the hedge, the pond, and the haze lab. And I'll show you where the other two are when we get to them. Um, right, I hear a weevil over here. You will be food. <laughs> <laughs> Electric fried weevil, anyone? <laughs> yes, please. All right. So, yeah, we're going to go back over here. We're going to make another weevils for a little bit later. So, we have at least a bit more food to kind of get us going with. And then we should be good, I guess. So, we'll go cook this guy on here. There you go. And, you know, I'll actually sleep for the night so we can, you know, come into the come into morning. And that means it'll be easier for you guys to see. Because I know it's a little bit difficult to see at night. So, we'll sleep through the night. There we go. All right. There we go. And we're good. And Coffee Queen asks, would you rather your partner had a job that was life-threatening or one that took up a lot of their time? I would say probably a lot of the time because at least that way I wouldn't have to worry about whether they're going to be alive at the end of the day. You know, I would I, I, I would hate Coffee... I, for example, I'd hate Coffee Queen to put herself in perilous situations like every day of her life chewy, and then you know worry like is she gonna come home you know i mean I'd, I'd i'd hate that i'd be i'd be constantly living in, in worry nice and clean i mean i'll worry about her enough as it is <laughs> so you know i would i wouldn't like anymore i'd be driving me crazy once i take it down the wasps i'm going to go into new game plus two nice dude yeah cause you don't need the uh you don't need the infected brood mother for new game plus do you it's just the it's just the first three but yeah, the infected room that is not uh, not required. All right. Eventually, I will be. Yeah. Once once I get access to like mushroom bricks, and then we're gonna go find a place to do it. But yeah, it's gonna. At this point, I'm just gonna like stick around the pond because it's just like central to everything, and it? it's like the easiest place to get going. But yeah, I'll build a base eventually. It's 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 funny because sometimes I build a base early, but then other times I don't. It's just like. I know it's, it's it's just it's just interesting the way I do do things differently every time. Like sometimes I was like, yeah, we'll just build a base early, and then sometimes I was like, nah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> then we'll just do it later when we got. Because I guess the thing is, building a base later is sometimes more preferable because like you've then got access to all the building materials like that you want to use from the get go. Whereas if you build one like super early, you, you gotta be like, right, well I gotta build it out of grass first, but then I'm gonna want to upgrade this to mushrooms. So then you like lose out on the grass investment, and then you know you kind of like do twice the work. But, I don't know, it, it, it depends sometimes. Sometimes I enjoy doing it, and other times it's just like, yeah, I'll just wait till I can build, like, a mansion or something, and then I'll build it. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it literally depends on, like... It, it depends on, like, how I feel during the playthrough. Right, here we go. Right, so we got the... Uh, yeah, so we'll use the... Pinch Wacker on this guy. Hello. There you go. Got him. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, the pin tracker does a pretty good job. Uh, it'll be very good for the assistant manager as well. The pin tracker will be really good in the assistant manager fight because that does. Uh, it's one. It's like a generic weapon, so it'll make the fight a bit easier. But as you can see, there they go, instant stun. Didn't even get a chance to attack me. So yeah, makes makes the early game a lot easier to deal with. All right, hello. All right, hi there. Do you mind? Oh, stupid mate. Get out of here. All right, well, may as well deal with these mites before we go and do anything. All right, so yeah, when you come down here, like, we get, we came down here in the first stream to raise the banner of Burgle down here, but if we go over here, there's actually two acorns. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these two acorns open. And once we do, we can collect all the drops and stuff, because may as well. You'll actually see there's a rock with uh, with some cracks in it here. So this rock is one that requires a bomb. We saw one of them in the oak tree a bit earlier. Um, but if we go and uh, get our bomb now, just going to drop it down there, and then we're just going to get the hell out of here. The dreaded circle bit. Yeah. You can do it, baby. I believe in you. You got this. You're just like, please, just kill me. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> All right. So now you can go down here, and as you can see, we got ourselves a little bit of uh, a little bit of course here. So you know, weapon upgrade materials right there. 
And then we're going to make our way down here. And then, as you can see, there is another rock right here to blow up as well. So, yeah, this cave has, like, I think three. You need three bombs to fully get through it. Um, and unfortunately, there's no other way to, like... There is a back way through the cave, but if you want everything from here, you will need three bombs. All right. So, go blow that rock up as well. There we go. And now we'll come down into this little area down here. So now that we're in here, you'll actually find there is a bit of raw science here. And look, here is the mysterious uh, the mysterious field station that's down here. Like, this field station you can't access for, like, ages, but it's, like, it always, like, it'll always bug your radar till you find it. There you go. So you get that one. And, oh, yeah, I got some raw science to spend, haven't I? So what do I want to get for science? I think we'll get the scabby scanner for... I guess we'll get the scabby scanner for science, because that'll probably be the best one for now. There you go. So that'll also... Uh, so the scabby scanner for science essentially will, like... Just like when you get to a field station, it will detect when you're near raw science and guide you to it, which is super useful. Uh, right, is there anything else we need to analyze? Oh, yeah, I can analyze this now. That'll give me uh, mushroom slurry. Very good. And here we go. Is there anything else we can do? And then we can activate the analyzer as well. There we are. There's one more field station over here that I haven't discovered, so I do need to discover that as well, but we'll get there eventually. All right. There's also a bit of sturdy quartz right here. So go get that one. And there we go. Right, now before we go ahead, if we turn around, there's a bit of marble. So go get that. And then there's actually a bit in the water here. Now, you, if you have a tier 2 dagger, there's actually a mega mole you can get down here. There's a scabby down here that you can get anyway. But by this point, if you have a tier 2 dagger, like a spider dagger or a bone dagger, you'll see that there is actually a mega milk mole right here. So the scabby is right there. So guys, guess what? We got a scabby. Yeah. Are we out of here before we drown? Seven seconds. Five, four. Okay, there we go. Whew, that was lucky. There we go. So we managed to get out of there. All right. So once you got the scabby and the molar down there, then we can move forward. There's actually another piece of quartz right here. Look at that. Go grab that one. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Hagaway says, uh, once I'm taken down, yeah, I'm also, uh, Karen says, their time for sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. And there's also some uh, sturdy metal here. Nice. Go grab that one. And I think that's everything. Yep, now we'll head up this way. And if we come up here, we will find the last explodable rock that we need to get through. So let's go make our way through that one. So again, we're going to need a bomb. There you go. Just going to kind of come to the corner here, drop it in there, and then run away. There you go. And then up here is where we will find... We have kind of been in here already. But yeah, you can find a little lava, lava in here. here. I guess there's a few lava just like up here. So if you're looking to hunt some lava, then there's loads here. Look. Do you mind, good sir? Right, okay. There you go. That's why the pinch rack can be useful in a group situation like that. There you go. Hi there. There you go. These guys will run away. There you go. And deal with you. Nice. Yes, there's a few lava in here. Oh, we actually have never picked up a slime mold yet, so I guess I'll get a load of these. Actually, we're going to need a load of these to make slime lanterns for the pond, so actually getting this is a good thing. So yeah, I will go and pick up a load of these. There we go. And that's pretty much two more things we need to find. We need to find the uh, the textbook scabby. So we got to get that one. And... Let's get rid of this guy as well. Uh, actually, no, there's, there's technically three scabbies in this area, but two of them we can't get yet. Well, technically well, technically we can, but we're going to need to build uh, if we want to get them. And it's easier to build when we get Light mushroom bricks, so I'm going to wait for a bit. You know what they say, the foolish consistency is there you the go, got it. Of little mites. Right, got him. Right, got him. Right, he's down. Okay, let's keep moving on. Right, so I'm going to go to... Where am I going to go? Right, more mites to do with. Hi there. Hi there. How's it going? Right. Yeah, we need to go to the uh, the flooded zone. Because over in the flooded zone, there is the textbook scabby. Plus, I'm sure there's a couple of points of interest that I've not discovered yet. So there is a field station over here, but it's surrounded by stink bugs. So we could go and, and clear that one out now. But it's actually easier if you wait. Because eventually, those stink bugs are no longer going to be there after you've done a certain thing in the backyard. So for now, we're just going to kind of avoid them. But yeah, once we've done a certain thing in the backyard, we can actually come back to that area and the stink bugs will no longer be there. So we can do it then. 
Hi there, Ladybug. Depends I'll just take this thing out as well. So you can see the Pin Tracker does a fairly good job on the Ladybug as well. Not as much as the Red Ant Club does, but it's still pretty good. There we go. And then we can just take you out. And we are done. Aha! And we got a new sub on the uh, on the YouTube side. We've got uh, uh, Necron Tier 9. Thank you so much for the sub. Very much appreciated. And welcome in. Hope you're doing well. If you sub from the stream anyway, unless you're unless you're watching like a Moddy tutorial video or something like that, then maybe you've uh, sub from that. But either way, it's appreciated. So thank you very much. All right. So yeah, textbook scabby. We have to go over this way, right? So we need to find the textbook one. And the textbook scabby is actually under the water here. So we have to swim through this area. And what we're looking for, essentially, is the lowest... Uh, the Tetris Scabby is found in the lowest point of this uh, this lake. So we got to swim until we kind of start sinking down. No ladybug over there, but I'll leave that one. So yeah, it's just over here by the can, right? So we're going to come down here, and you'll see that it kind of goes down lower and lower. And eventually, we'll be able to swim down here. And it's somewhere in this little area. I can't remember exactly where it is, but I know it's somewhere down here. So let's see if we can swim around till we can find it. I may have swum past it already. Uh, but yeah, it, it is down in this little area somewhere, so we'll keep going until we find the thing. Uh, all this grass annoyed us now. Oh, is that it there? Uh, nope, that's not it. There is also water fleas down here, so we had to be a little careful. Because it goes a little bit deeper down than you, than you might think it does. Um, but yeah, we can just use our spider dagger on these if we need to. Okay, let's just uh, get that one. There you go. Okay, and we actually got some new water flea meat. Now, another tip for you guys. Water flea meat can actually be eaten raw and it won't poison you. It will actually give you a little bit of hunger and a little bit of hydration. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for... If you're both hungry and thirsty, you can eat the water flea meat. Right, I can't actually find it. Oh, is it down here? Actually, it might be down here. It's probably easier to see this at night, honestly. But yeah, it is... I think it's down against this rock somewhere, isn't it? If I remember right. Uh, there's some quartzite down there. Okay, we need to swim up because I'm running out of oxygen. I'm running out of O2! <laughs> there you <we> go. <laughs> but yeah, it's down here somewhere. So we'll see if we can find it down here. If you have the scabby scanner for... Finding other scabbies, it will make it a bit easier. Let's see if we can have it. There it is, right there. There it is, guys. One textbook scabby. We got a scabby. Yeah. And there we go. So you kill this guy as well. So yeah, we can analyze the water flea meat as well. All right. And while we're here, there's one thing that we haven't gotten yet, which is actually required for 100%, and it's an item in the hedge. And then once we've done that, that'll be the last item we need to get in there until, obviously, we need to come back and fight the broodmother. But... That's not going to be for a while. We need to do a few... We, like, in, in order to even do that, we need to do a few things first. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to wait quite a long time to do that. Because, yeah, to fight the broodmother, you need the oven to make the recipe. And to get the oven, you need to have done the haze lab. But then to also craft the oven, you need charcoal, which essentially means you need something to resist the heat around the charcoal, which means that you have to have completed some more stuff before you even get there. You, you unlock the oven a lot earlier than you actually get to use it, so... Is a little bit of a, a little bit tricky. Right, give me that. Thank you. Right, so you got some sleepy spiders over here. That's that one's a wakey spider. Right, hi there. Right, well, looks like we're fighting these guys then. On six fighters. Okay. Okay, right, okay, back a bit. Okay, oh, that one got me in the back. Ow. Another one. All right, we're getting, we're chunking through him slowly. Right, there's one. Okay, oh, smiling too. There we go. 
got little ones out of the way now. Okay, oh, that one hit me still. Okay. Alright, let's uh, use advantage there. There we go. I got it. I got it. There we go. Now, we're, now we're down to see a bit easier. There you go, got him. And last one. Nice. And now I got like spider bits and bobs everywhere. We win! <laughs> there you go. Uh, are we doing a full playthrough of how to 100% this game? Yes, we are! And then we'll be going into New Game Plus after that as well. So, uh, how you doing, Shadow Hunter? Welcome in, by the way. Thank you so much for popping in. But yeah, doing a doing a full hundred percent guide. So uh, yeah, if any if there's anyone who's like new to ground and has any questions and stuff, then you know feel free to ask because we're always uh, we're always all about helping people here. So if you like, because uh, you know I've been playing ground in a while. So if there's anything that you guys want to know or like anything in particular that you're trying to find, then you know let us know. Right, let's go grab all these uh, all these loot drops. So get get rid of all these webs as well. Yeah, there's a, there a lot of angry spiders around here. All right, now I need something to drink as well, so let's sell ourselves out here. And of course, we're doing a Womo because Womo is a good one. Uh, is this going to be on, is this going to be on YouTube? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, I'm actually uh, actually on both right now. So yeah, if you uh, if you do want to go over there as well and just see it from that side, hang on. Uh, let me see. Did I set up a box mod for this? I may have done. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. Did I do? Did I do this? Let me see if that works. Uh, yep, there you go. If you want to, if you want to see it over that side as well, then you can. I know, I know. Technically, this is against Twitch TOS, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> I'm a small streamer; they're not going to notice. <laughs> all right, there you go. So let's go and uh, grab some mushrooms because I need to eat some food. So there you go. Get all that sorted. Very nice. There you go. Oh, I picked one up as well. Uh, I guess I'll just eat it. All right. So yeah, we're going to go get something from the hedge that we haven't gotten yet. So let's go grab that. But yeah, all, all of it's going to be in a playlist as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to go from there, then it's, it's all good. So this is uh, so that uh, so uh, so uh, last word of every small streamer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that's it's, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We, 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 just, don't, we just don't talk about it. <laughs> we, we don't talk about that. It's fine. All right. Um, let's go over this way. And if we come into this little cave here, we have kind of come around this area before but not fully been inside it there's a couple of things we can find here first of all we get an ant totem recipe recipe found next to a dead body in a cave full of ant heads the other thing we get right here is the recon journal for the intern now these recon journals and the recipes are required for 100 percent so you will need to find this all right recon journal for intern Expedition member, V. Staver, Department Intern, date November 25th, 1989. This Thanksgiving, I spend with my new friends. They truly understand me. I can see it in their eyes. They don't make me carry things or take notes or yell at me or talk down to me. We carry our own weight. We make a feast together, me and the ants. We along just fine. If I never see the rest of those other jerks again, it'll be too soon. Except maybe the military guy. He could join us. Like a soldier ant. Get it? <laughs> Now to find a wishbone. <laughs> All right, let's go grab some other stuff here. There you go. So we got marble, and we also get the rotten red ant club down here as well. Now, uh, if you've already got like, if you already got the regular red ant club, there's you know the rotten red ant club doesn't really have any advantage. It has less durability and it does less damage. All rotten weapons and armor are essentially like lesser variants of their full counterparts. So yeah, since we've already got the full red ant club, there's no real use for it. But you can analyze rotten gear. So like we did with the bee armor earlier and how we did with the um, the lava blade, you can analyze the rotten red ant club to... The only thing it will unlock is the regular red ant club, which you've probably already unlocked at this point anyway, if you've already, you know, played a bit of grounded anyway. But it's another way that you can get a little bit of extra raw science and it will give you a bit more brain power as well. So, you know, if you're still trying to grind out the brain power to get extra recipes, you can just do that as well for the brain power. So, yeah, it will uh, it does still have a little bit of a use. But after that, you know, you don't really need to worry about it. You can also dupe it in the uh, in the super duper if you happen to like the rotten weapons. Or if you're just like some kind of crazy person like uh, Paralyzer doing rotten weapons only challenge, you know, then you might want to dupe it. But other than that, you probably don't need to. <laughs> But yeah, just like other weapons that you can upgrade it if you want to, but your resources are better spent on upgrading the best weapons you have rather than more rotten variants. So I wouldn't advise it unless you're, you know, like I said, doing a challenge that specifically involves using that weapon. All right, here we go. So let's go over here. We can now analyze some stuff. So I've got a question. Did what deter raids? No, they do not deter raids. Uh, the raid, you have, essentially you have like two kind of things working together. So your raid meter builds for each faction kind of like independently. And then the WAF thing is like you summon a raid at will, 
but I don't think it will then make it so that those creatures are angry with you no longer. So you might summon a Waftimeter raid of red ants, but then straight after it, get a regular raid of red ants, like straight after it. So yeah, it won't lower that faction reactivity. So you can't use it for like, you know, deterring wasps and wasp drones, for example. It would be nice, but yeah, I think they've, uh, I think they kind of worked around that. <laughs> So yeah, I tend I tend to not use the Loft Emitter unless I'm grinding gold cards though. Um, but now you can use it for science, so I'll probably end up using it a bit more. Because yeah, you, you, it now rewards you raw science for every rage you complete with the Loft Emitter. So that's also pretty good. And then I think they actually increase the amount of raw science you get from mixers as well. Because I think it used to be 2,500, then 4,000. But I think they've added 500 and 1,000 to each one respectively. So yeah, now you get 2,500 or 5,000 raw science. So you get a little bit more for doing them. Speaking of which, doing every mixer is also a requirement to 100% the game, so you will have to do all eight of them. And the last one is a bitch. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, right, hang on. Wait, did I did I build a campfire here already? The swan I did. Uh, oh yeah, it's over here. Okay. Okay, we so we'll just go cook these guys up as well. Because yeah, I need I need some food anyway, so I'll cook it up and I can get rid of this weevil nose because I don't need that. There you go. Goodbye, weevil nose. It was nice. <laughs> it was nice to nose you. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you are now scarred for life. Dang. I'm gonna have to fortify my tree base then to make it not easily breakable. I really don't want to have to rebuild 264 grass floors. Oh yeah. Um you'll probably want to grind out bare floors. Um so yeah, once you get access to bear floors, they're like the best ones you can have. The other thing you can do is also like to prevent it from like getting broken down so easily and you like falling out the bottom of your base, make a second layer of floor. If you built it up in the tree, make a second layer of floor like half uh, like half a thing under your first one and it will help to kind of like bolster the floor a little bit. Just pretend it's beef jerky. That's what I would, uh, that's what I would do, honestly. Um, I recommend that for like any kind of like sort of airborne base is like double balls to the floor and then for any ground base i would recommend to double balls to the roofs because yeah flying rays just absolutely decimate roofs so yeah and then for lower base for like higher up bases i'll probably decimate some of the floors as well so yeah you'll definitely want to have some kind of layering as well mushroom bricks is like a, a around around the edge like a skirting as well can also help deter them a bit but yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how you got it as well. So, uh, how you, how you got it from the floor? Like, have you got it so that the the anchor point is like halfway up the tree, or is your anchor point of your base like on the floor with like some stairs? Because if that if that's the case, then yeah, you'll also need to defend your stairs so that you know it doesn't like if they destroy the stairs, it won't just make your whole base collapse. So yeah, you'll need to add some extra points of uh, so e extra support struts and points that connect to the ground to give like more support points if you're using the ground as your initial support <laughs> layer. But then again, you might not be. You might have just built it like halfway up in the tree and it just like gets the support. It, it, it might just get the support from the oak tree itself, which might not be so bad. Oh, hello, wolf spider. Uh, do I have enough to collect resources from you? Yeah, I do. Why not? <laughs> I'm going to poke you in the butt. Yeah. Hi there. How you doing? Hi, wolf spider. What are you, what are you, what are you doing now? Are you gonna, is it, he's, it, he's like, I'm going to bite you, bitch. We should be able to get him now. Got a crit. Aha! You may be able to, you may have the plow the power to the plower? You may have the power to glitch through leaves, but I have the power to attack through leaves. So it's fine. It's balanced. <laughs> uh, my anchor is on top of the lamppost where all the gnats are. Oh, okay. So yeah, that'll be that'll pretty much be safe from ground rays then. Um so you don't have to worry really about that. So yeah, I would just have like, I what I would do though is like have a couple of, so you know like how the light has like two lips and if you're on the top lip, there's like the lower lip. I try and get some support going down to that lower lip just in case like for whatever reason they break a piece of floor on the top thing that's anchoring most of the base. Especially if the flying ray gets through the roof, you know what I mean? So I probably do that to keep it a bit safer. All right, come on then. Come on then. Aha. All right, now I just take this guy out. Oh, watch out for the, watch out for the grass sending me flying. Ah, you missed again. You missed again. And I got a critical hit. There you go, and you're stunned, and now you're dead. 
Thank you for the free spider venom, and I guess I can just use that to repair. Hey, there you go. <laughs> free venom. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I got the pendant, but it had um, Hago says uh, I did it, and I did it with the well the penu. I got the pendant, but it had extra spicy damage. Oh, very nice. So it's just like, hey, you do, you did it with the spicy thing. Now you get extra spicy. <laughs> now you get twice the spice, because twice the spice is very nice. And so much hotter than the sheet of ice. <laughs> and if you're hungry, eat some rice. And if you're going to think about it once, then you may as well think twice. <laughs> How many words can I rhyme with nice? Can I rhyme them once or can I rhyme them twice? Maybe thrice. <laughs> it's a good thing that in Grounded, we don't have lice. <laughs> I guess mites might kind of count as that, as that, though. But yeah. Okay. Hello, little mate. Just like li little smash right there. Like li li little sh little swing. <laughs> right, let's see. Where do I want to go now? Right, so I'm gonna go. Hi there. May as well collect the mite fuzz as well. There you go. Very nice. Right, let's keep going. Uh, I might also build a wall and a roof all the way up to protect it a little bit better to to, to make sure nothing breaks it. Merit says, uh, "Ramen, ramen, ramen. Can you smell my ramen, Max? No rice for the right price, but you might as well be nice. My ramen. <laughs> that's fine. You can keep your ramen. I have coffee cuisine, and that's better. <laughs> nothing. Nothing beats coffee cuisine, guys. Nothing." Not even the power of Gordon Ramsay and his F-word. Alright, there's another ladybug over here. I may as well take you out as well. Hello, ladybug. Eh. Hi there. You missed. How does that make you feel? Ladybug's like, uh, I don't really because, you know, I'm a bug, so therefore I don't really have emotions. But now I'm kind of pissed that you're whacking me with the club. <laughs> it's like, so you do have emotions, so you lie. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Ladybug to therapy. It all started when he got out of the Red Ant Club. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Right, I did grab everything from that guy, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Right, so we got another thing on that one. Um... <laughs> he's, like, he's like, mine! Well, fuck. <laughs> Wait, the fact that I'm not taking it from you, though, you should be celebrating. You should be like, yay, he's actually not trying to steal my Robin. Yay, yay. But, wait, and then, but now you're just like, fuck. I wanted to try to steal my Robin. Now he doesn't want to steal my ramen. My life has no purpose. Uh, what am I going to do? All right. I don't need... Right. Acid glands, I'm not really in need of right now. So we're going to get rid of those. There you go. And I'll collect these mushroom chunks here. Because I do want to get a load of these. For later. All right. Let's go get these. Okay. Here we go. And uh, let's see. So I wish I had this. Uh, I wish uh, I wish I had this energy at 5 p.m. I mean, some days I do. And then some days I don't, honestly. It, just, it honestly depends on the day. Like... 5 p.m. yesterday, I was asleep. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it literally depends on the day. I mean, what time What time is it for us right now? It's like, it's getting on a bit, isn't it now? Uh, yeah, it's like, like half nine for us over here. <laughs> but yeah, yeah yes, yesterday at 5 p.m., I was just like... <laughs> All right, so let's go back down. I'm going the right way, aren't I? Am I going the right way? Yeah, I can turn, turn left a bit. <laughs> turn left. <laughs> Come on, Queen, you can be my sat -nav. Can we like turn left? Oh, she's she's concentrating on the ring. She's concentrating on the on the uh, on the Yoshi ring. I must I must not disturb the queen in her mode of concentration. Otherwise, I will ruin everything. And if I ruin everything, then that means she'll have to pull it out and start again. And she doesn't want to do that. So she'll go. She and if I ruin if I ruin everything, she'll be pissed. And then I might not get coffee cuisine tomorrow. So yeah, I got I gotta not ruin anything. <laughs> I gotta I gotta be safe. Uh, Vera says uh, if you weren't right, you must right. But left us find out left because nothing runs with left. Yes, it does. Cleft. <laughs> Cleft rhymes with left. Just like just like light rhymes with right. <laughs> Vera like he's like that doesn't count. It's like, if he uses the entire word, it's not a rhyme. Uh, <laughs> like cleft lips, yeah. Yeah, cleft rhymes with left, so yeah. So yeah, so duh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that rhymes, God. Uh, right, so let's drop the Rotten Very Charming Now. I don't need that. And Rotten Red and Club can go in there as well. All right, let's go put everything else away. Thank you. All right, is that everything where it needs to be? Let me go into inventory. Why is that on my map? I want my inventory, please. Uh, oh yeah, slime molds need to go in this one. Uh, wait, where did they go? Where did they go? Slime mold. Oh, slime mold. Where are you? Uh, 
We don't, I'll do it down there. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Can't see it under my chat sometimes. Right, there we go. So that can go in there. Yeah, so we've actually got a, a pretty good amount of resources going in now. Uh, these berry leathers are done, so... I guess one more one more batch of berry leather will be enough, I think. Um, at least for now. I honestly don't think we need it too much after that. We, we're going to need it for, like, the Black Ant Shield and the Black Ant Sword. But other than that, I don't think we're going to need it too much. Because it's not needed in Antline Armor. And it's not needed in any of the Tier 3 armors. So, yeah, I think that'll be enough to use for now. And then drop off those. Right, is that everything dropped? Yes, it is. All right, we dropped off everything. Good stuff. Um, it says, I love this full immunity charm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I found, I found that one. I found that one when I was trying New Game Plus the other day. That That is a good one. Right, let's go produce out some more of these. So more crude rope is going to be needed because, yeah, that'll be useful for building later as well. There you go. Right, so do all that stuff. And then we need to just drop everything off. So we don't need... There you go. Nice. Right, so everything now is dropped off. Everything's good. So, yeah, I think we're ready to... Uh, now we've done, like, most of the stuff that we need to over here and around the yard. The only locate... The, there's only two things I need to do in this area now. There's uh, the field station down here that I need to discover, but, you know, there's Stingworks there, so I'm not really going around there yet. And there's one scabby on top of this laser right here. So I, f I found a scabby over here already. Uh, this one over here on top of this laser. But there's one more on top of this one. But this one, you actually have to build to it, right? So, and there's, uh, there is technically another where the light is um over i think it's like over here there is another scabby on top of the light as well but we can't get that one again without building so i'm gonna wait to get those ones but yeah i think we're good to go and maybe do some of the pond now so the first thing we need to do is we need to try and get a few basic things like lily pad wax and if we're lucky uh oh i need to drink or die drink or die uh Let's go and refill my canteen then. So luckily, luckily I'm back at base. We can refill the canteens. And then, you know, hopefully we will drink but and not die. Because that'd be good. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> there you go. And then just drink those ones. There you go. Right. So yeah, we need to find lily pad wax as the first thing. And then there is some right there. And we also need eel grass. And we're going to need boatman fins as well. So that means we're going to have to try and find some water boatman somewhere around here. Right. I see the fish over there. Who's looking very fishy. Who's looking fishy, fishy, fishy. But let's see. I might also need some diamond bell spider chunks for later, but for now we should be pretty good. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Um, Hagoe says, new game plus two. Here we go. Uh, pushes up nerdy glasses. Says, well, technically, the first thing to do is not get eaten by churning. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that, that, that is definitely the first thing that you want to do is not get eaten. <laughs> All right. But yeah, we're going to go grab... Bit of lily pad wax six. We'll need this to make slime lanterns as well, which is like the underwater type light source. Uh, may as well get some tadpoles as well. Um, come here, tadpole. Ah, interesting. Tadpoles can't bleed out. There you go. Give me the tadpole meat. Thank you. Um, right, there's there's a the boatman over there. Hello, water boatman. How are you doing? I need to kill you if you don't mind. You have something something very valuable to me, and that is. Like, I, I need your arms, okay? So, thank you. Give me that. There you go. And we got ourselves a water boatman fin. Very nice. Now we need four, we need four water boatman fins in total. So, let's keep collecting some other stuff as well. Uh, there's a water flea over there, so. I guess I can just take this guy out. There's one. Hello, water flea. I will uh, take your meats, because, you know, your meats is a good thing. And let's see if we can find... Okay, we need eel grass, right? I think there's some over there, but it looks things. Right, let's come up here again. Right, is there any feathers over here? Sometimes there's like feathers behind this uh, behind this pagoda. But nope, there's no feathers right here, so we're fine. Uh, trying to decide whether I want to start an XCOM 2 War of the uh, War of the Chosen series on my channel for YouTube or, or on my second channel. It's up to you. If you if you feel like it'll be if you feel you're gonna have fun with it, then I don't see why not. All right, so yeah, here's some eelgrass over here. So yeah, we need eelgrass because this is gonna allow us to craft most of the water recipes. So let's go and harvest load of this. There you go. And then sometimes we'll get a little bit of loose seal grass here. All right, hello, diving bell spider. How you doing? All right, let's go up here. There you go. Hey, and I actually got a grass mask now. All right, swim up here. Swim, you fool! Oh, oh, there we go. That was lucky. All right, hi there. Oh, okay, now we got two of them on me. Alright. Alright, do you mind? Right. Hi there. 
So I guess I can get some uh, extra stuff out of you as well. Yeah, that was close. Hey, there we go. Did I scan diving bell spiders already? I did. There we go. So we got some diving bell spider chunks. There we go. I remember when Diving Bell Spider Silk used to be a separate item in the first uh, pond update. And then they kind of reverted it after the public test because they, they took out the leeches and the striders and that. Which is a shame. Right. Kill a tadpole. I will make tadpaluka pudding out of you. <laughs> eventually. No, but not, not, not right now, but eventually. All right. Let's see if we can find any... Right, there's more eelgrass down here. There you go. Now we'll just make our way back up. Oh, there's a uh, a bubble thingy over here, so we'll just go to this thingy. And this will give us a little bit of O2 when it decides to prop. There you go. Got it. Nice. Yeah, these uh, these little plants can refill your O2, especially the ones near the eelgrass are super useful when you don't have the when you don't have the fin flops or anything. That's su super, super useful for now. All right. Go on, Tiny Pete. We need our stamina. Otherwise, we're going to drown. You don't want to drown, do you, Tiny Pete? Tiny Pete's like, yes! I don't want to be subjected to this stupid lifestyle any longer. Got him. All right, okay, need to swim up. All right, swim, Pete, swim! Run, bitch, run! <laughs> oh, we might actually not make this. I may have gone too deep. I may have gone too deep. Uh, no, I think we're okay. I think we just made it. Ooh, there we go. That's close. Yeah, cut, cutting it really fine there. So uh, the other thing is what I'm dreading. Um, let's see. And uh, so it says, uh, d didn't the kids also used to have uh, have uh, have passive back on in the early version of Grounded? What, what do you mean? What do you mean by passive? What like passive healing or? I think they. I think they did. Yes. Um, back in the really early version. Um, says uh, there's, uh, there's, there's never too deep. <laughs> hey, Marie, welcome back. <laughs> I, 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 is there, there's no such thing as too deep. Uh, oh, no passive abilities. Um, I don't think they did. Not in the very early versions. Unless, like, it was in the very first playtest that I never... I never played the very, very first one. Um, I got, like... Because I know they had, like, a demo of Grounded at one point, like, before it actually came onto, like, Steam and everything. But I never played that one. So they may have done in that demo. But... Since it's been out on Steam, at least, I don't think they've had, like... I don't think they've had, like, passive abilities or anything. Would have been kind of cool if they did, like, like each team had, like, their own kind of passive ability. Like, you know, Pete would get, like, more raw science um, for, for, like, pickups. Because, you know, he's, like... Essentially, he's, like, the nerd of the group, right? So, like, anything, like, to do with science, he would get more use out of and, you know, stuff like that. So I can, I can see that being a thing. Right. I need to go analyze some stuff, though, because... Once we do that, we can then unlock the recipes that we do. I think I think we technically already have them unlocked, but we still need to analyze these for brain power, right? Uh, oh, hello. There's a wolf spider over here. Hi there. How you doing? Okay, come on. Then. One, two. <laughs> it's a little a little rhythm with these guys. All right, here we go. Ah. Watch out for the clover, otherwise it'll all be over. Oh, shit, now it's chilling. Oh, what? What? A pinch? What? Maybe a little pinch all, guys. You've got to twerk it, to work it, and take it up for Metal Rock Gaming. Because if you twerk it hard enough when you're fighting two spiders, it's going to be the talk of your fame. And now I'm famous because I'm still alive. And it's going to make us all say, ee, ee, what? Twerk it, what? To work it, what? And shake that Metal Rock butt. <laughs> oh, he nearly screwed me over there. Hi there. I actually can't believe I'm still alive here. No. Hey! Nice. Uh, Mero says, had to do it. <laughs> His uh, show is like, oh shit. Yeah, we got, we got two on us that time. That that second one just came out of nowhere, didn't it? It's like, well, hello. Well, hello there. <laughs> How you? Hello there. How you doing? Fancy seeing you here. I'm just on my way to Burgle. How about you? <laughs> How's the weather in the oak tree there? <laughs> Those guys like, shut up. I just want to, uh, just, just want to like, bang your eyes out. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> All right. Let's go into here, and we can analyze some stuff. Here we go. So we do eelgrass. I got to give me the buoyant marker and some plant fiber. We do boatman fins. There you go. And then I guess we'll do the tadpole meat for now. Uh, yeah, because that's going to go off the soonest. There you go. That gives us the tadpole meat. It covers all the good stuff. There you go. Nice. 
Um, says, um, and Rhea says, uh, Rhea says, how long left uh, of the stream? Uh, what time is it right now? Uh, it's like 10 p.m., so probably like an hour, maybe. Probably like an hour. I don't want to, I don't want to like stream like super, super late. So yeah, probably an hour. And then that'll, that'll probably be enough to get some of the pond stuff done. Probably not all of it, but some of it, right? So now I just need to go to the other field station, which is over here. Uh, and then we can analyze it as well. The only problem with living on the pond is like the field stations are a bit of a pain to get to, but it's not terrible. Yeah, you know, it's, it's doable. But yeah, we'll go to the other one over here. Oh, going on. If I can, <laughs> if I can like, you know, land not in the water, that'd be good too. <laughs> Even though I'm about to go swimming anyway, but yeah. If I can land over here, there you go, we should be good. And there it's like leafy. <laughs> Oh, leafy, leafy. <laughs> Why, hello. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. We'll go grab the... Uh, we'll go analyze the other stuff that we needed to. And then we can go back to main base and then craft everything we need to, you know, start exploring the pond a bit. And then, essentially, we're going to do the moles at the top of the pond, and we're going to find all the pond locations at the top so we get more team, which would be really useful before going down to properly anyway to the pond depths. So, oh, if I can, you know, not miss my jump, that would also be good too, right? <laughs> Everyone's like, ha, you noob, miss your jump. Noob. <laughs> Alright. So one more trip to this analyzer. Then that should be pretty much most of the resources that we need to analyze, at least for now. Uh so we're gonna do that. And that'll give me the bone die, the bone trident, and we also get the diving bell spider mount and everything. And then this one here. Analyze that. That'll also give me the uh the green machine smoothie. Yeah, they actually made the green machine smoothie tough to craft now. Because you used to be able to get like plant fibers, clover, and algae like really easily. But then they changed the algae to lily pad wax for whatever reason. I don't I don't know why they decided that they were just wanted to make it more difficult, but yeah, they were just like, yeah, let's just make it harder. <laughs> so yeah. But I, I remember I remember that you used to be able to craft green machine from like it was like algae and uh oh no, it wasn't even algae, it was like plant fibers, sprigs, and clover. It was like the easiest smoothie to make. Uh Craig says, uh, I'll be back if you still on. I gotta make some errands before I get the girls. Alright then, Karate. Well I hope you get I hope you get all your errands and stuff done. And uh, if I don't see you, thank you so much for popping along, dude, and hanging out with us. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Alright, let's go get some more crude rope. Oh my god, this rope is so fucking crude. Like, seriously. Like, coffee coin. Have you, have you seen how crude this rope is? Like, oh my god. Alright, and uh, we go grab these. Okay, so we can drop all this stuff away and let's sort out the other pond materials. Okay, so you guys can go in there. You guys can go in there. And then we can cook up this other stuff. Here we go, so... Tap hole and water flea stuff can just get cooked up there. Very nice. And yeah, then we got... Lilypad wax can go here, and then boatman fins can go in the bug box. There you go. And then kind of quick stack everything. There you go. Everything is good. Nice. There you go. Uh, Mara says, uh, coffee thinking, uh, yes, I want that. I want that. <laughs> Rhea says, uh, Rhea says, uh, I, I feel lonely in this chat. Yeah, it's uh, that's the thing. I've not streamed over there for a little while. So, yeah, it's going to it's going to take time for things to, like, build up over there a little bit. But, you know, if you want to find where if you if you want to find where else I am, um, if you want to come to if you want to come to another location, then you can also come to uh, here if you fancy watching uh if you fancy watching over here um then you can go to this one hang on let me just put the link in for you uh if you want to play if you want to find me over there then there you go you can find me you can find me over there as well because yeah the uh that's the thing like when it comes to the uh when it comes to the team red side of things most people from that know me for seven days today but you know i've kind of shifted to other games now and probably a lot of people are just like yeah we just want to watch other stuff so you know but yeah if you want to find me over there then you can over there if you want to as well um uh so it says uh it was my end resetting the stream fix it oh was it um was it like broken a bit uh i had i had static for some reason oh okay uh yeah if there's if there's any other issues then let me know um okay here we go so how are we going here is this all cooked now uh what flea roast yeah they're they're all ready to go all right okay so now we can go craft the stuff we need right so we need the fin flops and the what else is it fin flops and the other thingy thingy the uh gill tube that's it I, I, I remember what it is. I know what it is. Go on. Uh, Guild Tube. Where is that? Let's see if we can find that first. So Guild Tube is one of those. So we need one of these guys. And then we just need the Fin Flops, which is going to be one of these, I think. Uh, there it is. Right. What we should have Fin Flops. Oh, yeah. We still need the uh, we still need the Water Boatman stuff, don't we? So a little less squishy now. we'll go put this on first and let's go find some more Water Boatman. But yeah, at least now we can hold our breath underwater for a little bit longer. So don't need to worry about running out of air as, as quickly now. We're still not swimming very quickly, but 
that will be uh, that'll be changed pretty soon. Um, I literally built the uh, it says uh, built the guild tube just uh, the, the guild tube just so I can make the bow of it. Honestly, me too. Yeah, that's that's it. yeah, because it gives you just about long enough to get the bones from the depths, doesn't it? And then you just build the bubble helmet, and then yeah, <laughs> after that, it's like you don't need the guild tube anymore. See, this this is why I was I was of the impression that they needed a, a later game pond area. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like without the when it when it comes to like the the bubble helmet and stuff, it's like you know you kind of use it once and that's it. But they need or they or they need to make the bubble helmet available a bit later on. Um, so like maybe you need like I don't know I know it's a tier three thing, but say like maybe you need like pupil leather to craft it or something like that, so that you won't get the bubble helmet just like super early. Because yeah, that's literally that's literally what I do as well. I'm just like yeah, guild tube, then bubble helmet, and that that's pretty much exactly what I do. And I think a lot of players do that honestly. There's no real, there's no real progression. Um, but yeah, a later game water area, and then the reason to like get the you know wait to get the bubble helmet or something like that. Make the guild tube be a little bit harder, or maybe make it like I don't know, may, maybe make it something from like the black ant lab or something, so you can grind it out early if you want to. Um, I use bubble helmet to go into the haze uh, backwards to get the key, and then swim in the pond for a while to get the to get the stuff. Yeah, same. I I do all the pond stuff uh, with the bubble helmet too. Okay, oh, that guy's probably gonna die to poison, isn't he? Anyway, so there you go. Ha ha. Thank you. I'll take you. Right, there should be. We need two more water bowmen, I think. And currently, I'm not seeing any. Uh, so we need to try and find a couple more. Uh, where could they be? Usually, usually they kind of hang around the here, but we're not having very much luck today. Not having very much luck with these water boatmen at all, are we? Uh, you also really don't need it to do the pond. You may die once or twice, but you can do it without. Yeah, I, I have done it without. It's just, a, it's it, especially if you've got the Mertin mutation as well, it's a bit easier as well. All right. Hmm. Where are these water boatmen? Like, they, 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 it's like, it's like they're just like, yeah, we're just gonna like not be here so that you can't progress in the game. <laughs> I just, I, I just need two more for these fin flops, and then we're good to like go underwater. Uh, says, so yep, it's just more spooky to get all the switches. Yeah, it is. And uh, Marie says, I got a base idea. All right, what is your base idea? Need something to drink. All right, need something to drink. Okay, that's fine. We can just don't even need to boil it. Yes, no boiling necessary. Uh, all right, let's go down again. All right, let's see. Is there anybody? Is there anybody over here? Any other water bowman? Is that one up there? Uh, that looks like one. Yeah, there is one over there. Right. Come here, water bowman. Oh, you're right. You're right in the fish as well. Oh, that water bowman is doing the smart thing. It's going by the fish. Okay. Oh, oh there's no... Okay, there's two. We go for this one first. Okay. Yeah, the, the fish has kind of got stuck in this little area, which is good. So I'm just going to try and, like, not bother it. Yeah, sometimes the fish will actually get stuck in those uh, those reeds there, and then it will just stay there for a while, and which is really good because it kind of gives you free reign in the pond. Right, come on, a moment. I need I need I need you back here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, we just need to get this last one. Right, got it. Nice. All right, there we go. That should be enough now to make the fin flops, and then we can start doing the upper pond, and then we'll go to the lower bit after that. Um, so yeah, what is your uh, what is your base idea, Emery? Where are you planning on building? Or potentially having me build? <laughs> Alright. Because you never know. I might uh, I might use your base editor. You never know. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's go this way. Over here. Over here. Over here. Right, there we go. Now we can craft the other stuff we need. So, fin flops is what we need now. And then we can finally start swimming around a little bit quicker. And then we can work on getting the the uh, the Mertine mutation after that. There you go. So that's good. Store up everything else we don't need, and there we go. Right, good. We now have everything we need there. Uh, let's go eat some food, because we kind of need some. And then leave off this tadpole meat over there. There you go. And, oh, I've actually still got one uh, one boatman fin left. Okay, I actually, had one, I actually had one spare. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? I think the other thing as well that they need to change is the fact that the things like the boatman fin soup and stuff are unlocked after you've done the pond. And it's like... But by that point, it's like, well, I've done the pond, so I don't need to make them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the same with, like, you know, this, like, like at, le at least have the spaghetti fleet and, like, the at least have the tier one recipes, like the spaghetti fleet, unlock in the oven first. And then after you've done the pond lab, then have tapaloka pudding for, you know, just in case you want to swim around a ton. But, yeah, it, it kind of seems a bit backwards. Like, the uh, the unlock order seems a bit backwards, because it's like, okay, well, you've got the spaghetti fleet and the tapaloka pudding, but, like, at this point, it's like, well, I don't need it now. 
because I've, I've already I've already I've already done the pond and everything, so you know it's not needed anymore. Right, go away, diving best weather. Right, I will take your drops. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swim down here, and if we swim down this bit right here, so we're gonna wait for this uh, wait for this bubble to come through. Very important that we wait for the bubble here. And I missed it. God damn it. Good thing I have plenty of time remaining. Yeah, sometimes the bubble doesn't come out of this thing for ages, so I'm just gonna kinda like hover above it until one comes out. There you go. Right, so then when we swim down here, we should discover the sunken T-Rex. Now there's another rotten weapon you can find here. If you kind of go along here, it's a bit difficult to see. Um, but somewhere in this guy's mouth there is actually a rotten spear, unless they removed it now. Um they used to, they used to be one here. Is it still here? Hmm. Did they remove it? Wait a minute. Uh, it's kind of got light there. Did they remove the rotten stinger spear? I think they did. Huh? It's not there anymore. Uh, so that they 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 have it dropped. Oh, is it is it down here now? Oh, it's down there now. Okay, it used to be in the mouth of the T Rex. Okay, so it's down here. So you can find a rotten stinger spear. Thanks, Randy. Uh, yeah, I, I, that that's weird. Why the, why the hell did they just why the hell did they remove it? That's a bit weird. They should have just left it there. Uh, I guess it. I, I guess it might have been a change to playgrounds um, that did that. But yeah, it used to be in the mouth. But yeah, now it's down there then. Okay. But yeah, rotten stinger speed. You can now get down there. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swim over here a little bit. And what we sh what we should find down here is we'll start to find sunken bones. We want to try and get five of these. So there's also koi scales as well, which you know I'll probably get some as well. We will actually need five of these to complete the game, so we do need five Koi Scales at least. There's clay down here as well, but I'm not too much in too much need of that. But yeah, it'll be easier if we get a light to come down here and have a look. But yeah, this this area here is uh, is where you're going to find bones and clay and Koi Scales. So we'll see how we go. Uh, Karate says, uh, I think the physics thing fucked it up. Yeah, it might have done. And he's like, all right, I'm out of here. All right then, Karate, see you soon, dude. <laughs> Hope the rest of your day goes well. Alright, so we're going to swim back up here. Right, so we found all that stuff, but we've still got other locations and uh, a few moles to find in the pond. But before we do that, let me go grab a couple of bits of lily pad wax. Right, so I'm going to make a slime lantern, um, because that's going to allow us to see underwater when we need to. Because the regular torch, unfortunately, does not work underwater, so we need to make something else, right? But fortunately, there is the slime lantern that we can use, which is in the underwater section, right? So we need to make one of these, and as you can see, they're not too difficult to make. They just take a you know bit of lily pad wax and a couple of other things, and this will illuminate our way underwater. So at least now I'll be able to see a little bit better. So there's a few things we've got to find. So what we're going to do is we want to find all the molars and all the secrets in the pond, right? Now, the way you do this to to, to make it uh, to make your lives easier to find all the hidden stuff in the pond, essentially, it's most of the stuff in the pond is hidden in the cracks of the walls, right? So in the in the walls under the water there is where the secrets are. Now, the way you find them is you look for the brown leaves at the edge of the pond, and that kind of marks up where you'll find it. So you can see the first brown leaf is right there. So that's where we want to go first. And this leaf will essentially guide you to where one of the secrets is. So what we'll do is we swim to the leaf. We're just going to kind of come to this leaf. And then we're going to swim down until we see a gap in the wall. And uh, Shadow says, Lurk, I'm going to watch the VOD tomorrow. No worries, dude. Thank you so much for lurking, dude. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you soon. All right. So we're going to come down here. And then we are going to essentially keep going down until we find a gap. And as you can see... Go down here. There's a little gap in the wall right here. Now, this is where we're going to need the slime lantern. So we are going to make sure that, that thing is equipped. And we're going to swim up here. And we should find something down at the end of this little cave. As you can see, right at the end of this cave, there is a milk molar. So we are going to take our tier... You will need a tier 2 dagger for this. So the spider fang dagger or the bone dagger will work for this. And there we go. We've got ourselves a milk molar. That's where you can find one of them in the upper pond. There are... I think there are four molars in the upper pond. Two of them are like in the pond bit and then two are like under the oak tree. But we're going to wait to get the bubble helmet before we go for some of them. All right. So that's the first one. All right. Now you want to make sure we put our light away. So we don't lose out on uh, So we don't lose out on that. So we get out my regular torch again. Uh, I'll actually put my... I know I'm like right close to Trudy right now, but I'll put that on my hot bath. There you go. All right, now I'm going to kind of swim above Trudy, and we're going to swim along until we get to the next leaf, right? So then we're going to essentially repeat the process and find the next leaf. So let's keep going along, and then eventually we should find another one. As you can see, there's another leaf right over there. Now, there is mosquitoes around here now that we've handed in the hedge chip, so we've got to be a little careful, but we can kind of swim under the log here. 
and kind of just like stay out of the way of the mosquitoes here. As long as we're in the water, they won't really aggro on you. So you can use that. Like if bugs aggro on you, you can actually jump in water to like it, like get rid of their aggro a bit. Right. So here we go. There's another leaf right here, right? So this is where we're going to find probably something else. So again, we're going to swim down. And we're going to see if we can find a gap in the wall. I, I think this one has something anyway. If not, then we can move on. Uh, let's see. Aha. As you can see, yeah, there's a gap in the wall right here. So again, I'm going to go in here, turn on our, turn on our light here. And here, if we swim through here, there's actually some unique mushrooms that you can only find here. But there's also a diving bell spider here, so we'll eliminate that. We'll get ourselves some science right here. If I can swim through it, thank you. And if we go over here, look, you'll actually find a set of rotten fin flops as well. So if you come here early, you can get a set of rotten fin flops early. Like with the regular fin flops, if you analyze those, it will unlock the, uh, the full regular fin flops. But yeah, there you go. So you can find some science, some rotten fin flops in there. All right, now once again, we're going to make our way across the top. And we're going to go to the next leaf. However, there is another molar on the way to this. So if we go head to under the pool net, if you look under the pool net, you can see there's actually a log under the pool net here. Now, if you go through the log, you'll actually get some raw science. So if we swim through it, there'll be a little, a little bit of raw science. A couple of tadpoles here and some raw science. So go grab that. But... If you turn around, you might have just noticed that there's a little white glow right there. It's very well hidden, but if you turn around and come up here, there's another molar just here. So you can grab that, and there is another one. There you go, so there's that one. And then we're going to swim up one more time. All right. Last but not least, there's one final leaf that we have on this side. And as you can see, it is right over here. This leaf here will lead us to something a little bit more unique. Uh, if I can find the way into it, there's a, there's a very specific way in that we have to do this. It might be a bit lower down. I don't, I don't think it's like super low down, but yeah, there's something else that we can find down here somewhere. Uh, there it is right here. So there's a gap right here. So we're going to swim into this gap right here, and we're going to go over here. Now, if you get your light out here, you'll see that you're going to start to see loads of ant head totems. Now, remember that thing we found in the hedge for the ant head totem? Uh, so you know, there's some more slime mobs here. Let's grab them. If we actually continue to go this way and follow this all the way to the end, you'll see that we actually come out just up here into, like, a little underground section right here. And if we go over here, what we should find is there is right here an abomination totem recipe so this thing right here is an abomination totem and this recipe will show you how to craft one yourself here we go a recipe de detailing how to create a disgusting abomination you'll also find some sturdy marble and quartzite right here uh or the supreme ones but you will need a tier three hammer to break this so unfortunately we can't do anything with this right now so we're gonna have to leave this and come back for it later um let's see it says that uh, wait do you still upload your stream uh to your twitch funds yeah it's still it's still it's still going there as well you'll find you'll find it in both in both yep so it goes to twitch and to youtube and the dove says burglar is sus as fuck i know right burglar is very sus uh right let's go and make our way down here and we can now make our way up and out of here so that will be all of the that'll be all of the secrets in the walls that we can find so next up we want to do is find all the pond locations now the reason we want to do this is if we can find five of them it's going to give us a, mu a mutation called mertin and the mertin mutation is is very good because it'll allow you to swim faster and breathe for a little bit longer which is you know of course very useful while we're here so let's go see what we can do so first of all we're gonna get rid of these guys hi spider Ooh, okay that one hit me a bit Ow. Yeah, I'll keep taking these uh, spider chunks as well. Uh, look, there's a boatman here. Let's go grab that. Nice, thank you, boatman. Right, so there's some raw science under this frisbee here, so we're going to go grab that. Should be some under here, I think. Uh, kind of. Is it under here or is it not under here anymore? Oh, it's not under here now. Okay, I know there used to be some under here. Um, although, I think, isn't there like marble or something under here? I think there's like some like marble chunks or, or something under this frisbee, if I remember right. Uh, or maybe not. Things might have changed in the update. I don't know. <laughs> I, know I know they move certain things around, but yeah, let's see what we can find. And uh, Bray says, uh, I, was, I was looking for that. Thanks, Max. You're welcome. All right, so let's go find the uh, rest of the raw science in here. So maybe it's down a bit. So go down this way. Oh, more diving bell spiders. Hello. Oh, okay. Let's 
Okay, now I got three dive mess fighters. Okay, now just one. Okay, oi! Stop biting me, you. Got him. One, two, and three. Nice. And then again, that'll give me some extra air. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep swimming around until I find more more stuff down here. If we don't find the science down here, it doesn't matter though. Because there is uh there's other stuff we can find down here as well. There's a there's a little area under this rock here as well that where the pump goes. Uh but yeah, not too much to find here. But yeah, mainly down here you'll find science and a couple of other things. But there is another entrance down here that leads into the mouth of the pond depth from a different route, so I think I see it right there actually. Hey! I'm trying to read my chat, damn it. Chat says, uh, do you still have the do you still have the Yes, I still they're still on both. So you'll still find the VOD after, so don't worry about that. Just on the YouTube side, it will be there permanently. So yeah, it's now uploaded to both. Here we go. So yeah, down here, you'll find the depth smell. This is like a little entryway down here, and it will give us the depth smell location. This area will have a lot of diving bell spiders, though, so we've got to be a little careful. But as long as we keep killing diving bell spiders, we should be okay. Right. What we're going to do down here is we're going to get the torch out here. Man, these guys are biting me a lot, aren't they? I need to, I need to heal soon. Okay, let's use a uh, bandage to heal. There you go. Heal up the damage. All right. We're going to keep going down here because what we should find down here is there's actually a... Uh, there's some raw science over here, look. So we're going to go grab that. That might actually be the science that my thing was trying to guide me to anyway. But better than that is if you look in the ceiling on the right side here, you'll actually see a door. All right, so we're going to go and open that one. So this is the uh, this is the only other door in the pond that we can currently open apart from the main lab. We're actually quite close to the pond there right now. If you come in here, you'll find a load of free shit. There we go, so we'll get a load of that. So some koi scales, we get some quartzite. We also found a scabby as well. So that was the uh, that one is the holodazzle scabby. We got a scabby, yeah. And uh, better yet, we will also find ourselves a uh, a pond research note right here. So this is a data item. You will require it for 100%. So let's get this one. As we sit perched away in the cliff face down here, away from the street noise and pervasive fauna, it seems we can do some real long-term undisturbed work. The majestic snake koi lives the same day over and over, sucking up morsels from here and there, depositing waste wherever. The rest of the creatures swim to and fro and play their part as well, eating and being eaten, reproducing, growing, dying, all in this pond microcosm. We could harness this cycle and put it to use. A meeting of aquaculture and hydroponics in a natural, nearly microscopic setting could be but one step on the path to solving the hunger crisis. I've begun drawing up schematics for a kind of tundukered aquaponics-inspired lab setup in the deep pond substrate where we could just tap into the natural system already at play, with a few enhancements, of course. I'll task Burgle with running simulation shortly, assuming he can muster up the ram for it. <laughs> just like, just like, just, 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 just like, yeah. But, but, but Burgle is like, Burgle's like, sorry, we have a sack overflow exception. I am out of ram. <laughs> Water filtration tablets needed. There you go. Uh, the the abomination totally looks funny, so that's why I wanted it. Yeah, it is a funny looking thing, isn't it? It's, it's pretty cool though. All right, now we got some stuff in these boxes. So we got ourselves a granola bar, some eelgrass, and some essentially just some like slime molds and stuff. So. And then if we come over here, there's actually a door here. We'll open that. And then if we come out this way, there is actually an analyzer right over here. So if you need to analyze anything, just like we do, we can go do that. So this, I don't think it's going to unlock much. This will unlock the Koi Scale armor as well. And we also get the Koi Scale chair. Very nice. And then if we go here, we'll get the fin flops. That'll analyze. That will unlock the fin flops if you haven't discovered them already. But by this point in the game, you probably have. And we've got next level of brain power. And that's unlocked the black hand sword, shield, and shovel. Nice. All right. So that's everything analyzed there. Is there anything else I need to collect? Not from here. So if we go out of here and kind of swim upwards here, this will actually take us all the way back out into the upper pond. There we go. All right. So now we're back in the upper pond. There's a couple of other things we can find. There's this area right here, which is the sunken pot. And if we swim down here, we'll actually get some science inside it. And as you can see now, we've discovered enough of the uh, locations to unlock Mertine. And what Mertine does is essentially lets you swim faster and it will give you a bit more breath hold as well. So very useful while you've got the uh, while, while you've got the guild tube. It's a very useful mutation to have. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Can you show me the uh, can you show me the recipe? Uh, yeah, I can show you the recipe. Hold on. So for the abomination totem, uh, that's probably going to be under this thing. Uh, let's see. Is it under that one or is it under this one? It is that one. Abomination totem. Two bombardier parts, two red out mandibles. Um, two water boatman fins and two lava spikes. So all really easy things to get. And yeah, then you can get the uh, then you can get the abomination to the recipe. So yeah, it's not not a hard recipe to to make at all. 
Uh, right, so now mutations-wise, I'm going to turn off Natural Explorer now. I'm going to put Mertine on, considering we're swimming. And uh, as you can see, we now swim a little bit faster. But we're not done yet. There's still some locations to find, so we're going to go find them. Because the more we find, the closer we get to 100%. And we need all of them for that. Says, uh... Huggy says, okay. I was not expecting that. Oh, what did, what did you find, Huggy? Alright. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, okay, you got behind me then. There we go, got him. Right, okay, so there we go. So there's a couple more things we have to find down here. Uh, so there's the sunken pot, but there is actually another location pretty much right next to the sunken pot. So we're actually going to swim under here a bit. And what you'll find down here is you'll actually find the wedding ring. So there's the wedding ring we found down there. So another location uh, charted. I think with all that now, um, we've also got the pond hatch and the pond dome, but I think you actually have to be inside the pond lab to discover that one. So they are right here, but yeah, got to be inside there. All right, come here, you. I got him. So yeah, pond hatch and pond dome is right there, but yeah, can't really do anything with that right now. Um, I can look at the pond dome. I might be able to discover it from the top. I'm not sure if I can. No, I think you had to be stood inside the pond dome to discover it. But there's the pond dome here, and then the pond hatch is not too far away either. Can we discover this one at least? Man, I'm playing a lot of diving by spiders today. Right, come here, water flea. Alright, got him. Thank you. Let's see. You might have to be in the pond for this one as well. Uh, oh, no, you can discover the pond hatch at least without actually being in the pond. But the pond dome is, re you're required to be in the pond. Uh, let's see. Uh, it says, I just went into the, the hole under the wooden uh, block and I find a black widow with a wall spider. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah, other bugs can spawn um, in locations where they usually wouldn't in New Game Plus. Uh, it says, uh, luckily, I live near a place with a lot of lava. And, and uh, another thanks to you. You're welcome. Hello. Right. Man, everything wants to eat me today. Uh, yeah, got rid of that one. Man, how many water please coming in? No bubbly poo. I don't want your bubbly poo. Here are you. Man, there's so many spiders here. Well, at least they can swim. Oh, shit, they can swim. <laughs> right, come on, you. Right, is that fish on the move yet? Nope, still there. Right, ready, another one? Man, I'm just, like, fighting all day long. All day. All night. Okay, I think I've made the, uh... I think I made some of the creatures, uh, mad with me now. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it's like the spiders are annoyed by you. The water fleas hate you. Every creature in the pond wants you gone. Right, here we go. We got a bit of raw science for that. There you go. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to base real quick. Drop some stuff off. Um, says, if you need grubs, don't go to the picnic table. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw lava down there, isn't it, under there? Uh, I did die, by the way. Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah. The pit table is like completely lava, I think, under the burrow around there. You can also tell what it, what it is underground by the sound that it makes when it burrows. So if you hear like a kind of an earthy kind of sound, it's a grub. If you hear like a rumbly kind of rocky sound, that's a lava. So yeah, you can you can usually tell what's going to be underground just by uh, just by listening to it, which is actually pretty cool. Um, right, so. Mm. Let's see, let's go cook some food. There you go. Add those, add those. Drop some stuff off if we can. Right, I don't have any sunken bones dropped off here, so... Well, they're technically, like, creature parts on this. So they can go in there. Yeah, creature parts in there. And right, okay. So, next up, uh, we are going to get the bubble helmet is our next uh, our next thing we want to get. So to do that, we just need to get some more sunken bones. So luckily, we've got a couple already, but we do need some more. Hi there. No bubbly poop. I'm just like, I'm just like running circles around this guy. I'm just like, ha, 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 ha. All right, we got him. Right, let's swim down. Right, so yeah, we're going to go back into the pond depths, and this time we're going to go this way. And again, like I said, before we go in, make sure you get a bubble before you go right down. And this time, we're going to need to use our light, because the light down here will reveal... 
a lot of extra stuff that you will find down here. So yeah, using the light, you will see the bones and stuff a lot easier. There should also be enough for you to, to find down here before having to swim too far. So yeah, you should find... There should be scales and bones and enough of both. Okay, unfortunately we're out of stamina real quick, but that's fine. We'll just recover it. So we get the scales. Yeah, we'll get all the scales and get all the bones here. So yeah, there's two bones here. Oh, okay, my love. I hope you sleep I well. You. I love you too. Oh, you having some food? No, it's for... Oh, okay. Maybe for, for the coffee princess. Good Aww. night, chat. Good night, coffee queen. Love you. And I hope you sleep well, my love. I will, baby. Alright, so we'll get this one, we'll get this one, and we'll get this one. So there we go, we've got two. There's another one, and then there's actually another one just up here. So we'll get that one as well. Alright, come on, grab it. Okay, there we go, now I got it. Right, now i got to swim back out. We've actually gone quite fast, so we need to swim back out and try and get some air before we, uh, before we die. Luckily, though, we do have Mertine at this point. I recommend having Mertine and the Fin Flops before you try this because yeah it'd be a lot easier as you can see i can kind of just like swim up here and then within 23 seconds we should find another bubble coming up here right so it should be okay uh it should be okay come on come on come on bubble come on bubble i should have just swum off the surface shouldn't i oh there it is there go. nice there you go got a bubble and now i can get out of here all right there we go now i can craft the bubble helmet and we're good marie says uh, i know how to get the mossy key oh yeah we'll be getting that soon too <laughs> Yeah, we'll be, getting, we'll be getting all the stuff sooner or later. All right, here we go. Right, so there we go. We've made it out of here. So now we can craft a bubble helmet. All right, so we go into here, and we should, I think, now have everything we need for it. Let me just double check. I believe we do, though. Uh, a, bu a buble helmet. Do we have one? Uh, let's see. That's the roly-poly one. Spider one. Koi one. Bubble helmet. There it is. Right there. There you go. So we've now got the bubble helmet, which means we can now retire the old, uh, we can put the old uh, rotten fin flops in here. We can also retire the other one as well. I feel a little less squishy now. And then we can wear that. There we go. And now we've got a bubble helmet, which means we can breathe a ton longer underwater. And now we can essentially find everything else in the pond, which is going to be really good. Uh, so be careful of the spooders. Oh yeah, they're, they're everywhere, aren't they? Those annoying little bastards, they're everywhere. How dare they be everywhere? I don't like it that they're everywhere. It annoys me that they're everywhere, but there they are. <laughs> Alright, so next up, we are actually going to go... Before I do the pond lab and the lower pond, I'm actually going to finish the rest of the upper pond, or at least all of the upper pond that we can right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to swim towards the oak tree. And within the roots of the tree, there's going to be a couple of ways that we can swim into it, right? So there's going to be a hole right here. And a water flea. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Right, so if we swim up in here... Come down here. What we should find is some raw science. Nice. Bit of a dead end, but raw science and a couple of slime molds as well, so we'll grab them. Right, next up, we're going to go around a little bit, and there should be a second entrance into the oak tree just over here, right? So we're going to swim into this one next. And we're going to make our way all the way down here. There you go, grab some more slime molds as we go. And we're going to swim down this little hole, and this one will actually lead into a dark passage, and it's a very dark passage as we go in. So here you will definitely need a light, because it'll be too dark to see otherwise. There you go, so need light, and as you can see, there's some science right here. Alright, hi there. There's some science. Alright, try and get this one. There's one. There you go. And now you should bleed out. There you go. Now, these smaller diving bell spiders actually hit harder. One thing to bear in mind. But once you clear these guys out, you'll find a mega baller right here. So let's go get this one. You just help me in three ways. Very nice. Uh, I need to listen for a rumbly rock sound. Yeah, for lava, rumbly rock sound. For grubs, it's kind of more of like an earthy sound, like you're running your fingers through sand. Or like you're running, you're like scratching your fingernails through sand, it kind of sounds like. All right, once you've done that, we're going to swim up this way. I think it's through here. And if we keep going this way, what we should find is if we swim along down here, you'll find another milk baller right here. So let's go grab that one. Nice. There we go. So there's our second milk molar right there. Now what we need to do is continue along, and then we're going to essentially hug the right wall. And there'll be a place in a minute where... Oh, I think we went past it. But there's a rotten uh, slime lantern there, which you can use if you need it. Some upgrade rocks. There's some science over there. I'm actually going to leave that science there for a minute, though. 
and take care of the diamond mail spiders. But yeah, if you come down here, there's actually a hidden scabby just down here. So we're going to go in here. And hey, guys, guess what? We got a scabby. Yeah. And that is another scabby. And that one is the shine bright scabby. Which is kind of funny because it's in like the darkest possible area in the pond. But there you go. <laughs> I the irony. I like the irony. Right. Okay. So this time we're going to stay to the left. And by staying to the left, hopefully we'll go down a second path here. And there's some science right there. Hey, you. I got it. There you go. Kill that spider. And we're going to move on down here. And what we should find down here is there is actually a bag right there. If you search that bag, you'll get some arrows and some venom arrows as well. So nice little bonus. Extra arrows and stuff. If you are into your range combat, then, you know, a couple of free arrows never hurt, right? Uh, all right. And after that, all you got to do is essentially swim up this way where we left that raw science. So we're going to swim up here. Go past the raw science here. And then all we need to do essentially is there is a way out of here through this little hole. And then we go up the hole, swim all the way up here. And then when we make our way out of here, we'll, you'll actually uh, come out in a very familiar location. So if we come out here, come right out here a little bit and then swim all the way to the top. Hey, look, we're by the Oak Lab. There you go. So yeah, you can come out in a very, very, very nice familiar location. And this will give you an opportunity to like do some upgrades and stuff before you take on the Pond Lab. There we go. Very nice. He says, uh, I'm trying to get every bit of armor, including the rotten armor. Oh, okay. All right, so now we've got that. We can run through here. We can probably turn this off now because I'm not in need of it anymore because Burgle's lab is right over here. There we go. And we can jump straight up there. And we're back in the oak lab. Look at that. Nice. Easy. All right, so now we can go and upgrade some stuff. So let's do that. And we can analyze anything we need to. So on the ASL, we can now upgrade some stuff with molars. So we've got four molars to spend. So I guess I'll just put one in stamina and healing. There you go. Upgrade it all equally. And then for this one, we'll upgrade stack sizes. And then condense any loot that we can. Nice. All right. Now I can swing back by the base, drop everything off, and then we'll be ready to go to uh, we'll be ready to go to the lower pond after that, and then we should be good. So let's go out here. A little bit laggy in here, but that's okay. Right. Let's get out of here. Then we'll go to the lower part of the pond, and then we can do everything in the pond depths as well. So let's go do that. All right. So make our way across, and yeah, we need to uh, refill our canteens. I should have done that in the um. Should have, done, should have done that in the lab, really. Didn't realize we were actually getting that low, but that's fine. It matters not. All right, so down here. There we are. All right, so we got plenty of food left, so we're just going to refill the water here. Yeah, that's why I recommend having two of these uh, do collectors, because then it will provide you enough water for a refill. Plus, you can also drink two as well, so you essentially get nice and clean. three lots of hydration out of that, which is really good. There we go. And drop everything off. Nice, that's everything pretty much emptied out that we don't need. I've got a couple of uh, water flea meats on here, so I'll take this food and then we'll cook up the other lot. There we go. All right, and that's everything done here that we need to do. Uh, Koi scales can also go in there because we don't need them on us. And I guess I can put the arrows and stuff in here because I'm not really using them right now. So, so yeah, venom arrows and that lot can go in there. Not really too much need of them. And then we'll uh, actually, no, I'll eat that as well. So we'll eat this food. There you go. Keep it going. All right. We are now ready, essentially, to do the pond lab and the lower part of the pond depth. So let's go do that now. Um, so here we are. We're going to go grab this thing. And the easiest way to find the pond depth entrance is to just come to this lily pad here and then just swim straight down. You'll see the light right there. And then you can just follow the bubbles down. And that's how you can find it every time without struggling. All right. So what we're going to do this time is instead of, like, looking for anything down here, we're going to go under the T-Rex because you can actually find a little bit of raw science just over here. So we'll grab that guy right there. There we go. And uh, so uh, you help me get that. You help me get the rotten fin flops. Nice. I'm glad I can help you. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to take our way into this jet stream, but we're not going to go too far. We're actually going to look up to the right. And if you see, there's actually a little glowy over there. There is a mega milk molar just in here. So let's go get this one. Okay, one mega milk molar. Excellent. All right. So we got that guy. Let's continue on the way. Now, when you come down here, there is also a treasure chest that's just back there. You won't see it really very clearly unless you have a light. But essentially, remember this location right here. There's a treasure chest right here, and it requires a mossy key to get into it. Just remember that one. We'll need to come back there in a little while. All right, so now we're going to move on. And the best thing we can do right now is to uh, use like some of the jet stream power to kind of make us swim to this area a little bit quicker. 
And once we come over here, you should see that the pond lab is essentially right in front of us right here. So there it is. So we now discover the pond lab. But unfortunately, this hatch is locked. As you can see, it's all locked up. We can't get in. So where do we go? Well, first of all, we're going to head over here. We're going to get ourselves the raw science over this way. And we're going to swim up into here. Once you swim up here, you're going to need to make sure you have at least 15 seconds of air because there's actually a biometric scanner that you're going to have to put your hand on before you can get into the lab. Uh, would you be prepared? Can you show me where all the crusty roly poly, uh, where, where the crusty roly poly thing is? I got the leggings. Um, yes, the helmet is in the trash can, uh, on the left side of the trash can. Um, I've actually already got that one, so I can't show you the exact location now because I got it, um, I got it last stream, I think. Um, and then the chest piece is in the sandbox. You know the antlion tunnels with all the salt in them? There's like a there's like a bit that kind of goes in a circle in the middle of that tunnel. It's it's against the inner wall in that tunnel. Um, but yeah, I'll be able to show you the other ones at some point. All right, but once you come in here, you'll find a couple of things. We've got ourselves the uh, another one of these rotten slime things as well, so we can get another one of them. Very good. And there's also a cassette log right here. I'm actually going to read the hands test thing first because you know the cassette log will take longer, and we can listen to that while we do other stuff. So here we go. Hands test day one. Initial diagnostics indicate that everything is in working order and ready to begin the Brussels sprouts live testing phase using the automated hydroponic aquaculture microponic system. Uh, uh ham, I suppose. Uh, 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 shepherdess. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Maybe jump down. <laughs> uh, going forward. Um, Virgil's task of cultivating in the biodome mycelium network seems to have not been a complete failure and signs are detectable in all extremities. Harvesting is typically 90 days out, but initial tests show that small sprouts are ready within the span of a week. We'll look to optimize that further, keeping in mind a certain level of structural integrity is required to scale them up to nearly a grapefruit size. All right, so after we've read that, we can go and open this thingy, and we can get this cassette tape right here. Remember, all this data stuff is required for 100%, so we'll go get that. Uh, as Shepardess says, uh, I'm waiting all stream for that to, for that to come back in stock. <laughs> Thanks, Shepardess. <laughs> Bloody scary. All right. Each member of the Tolly family, excepting yours truly, looks at Brussels sprouts, the great cabbage of Belgium, with utter disdain. Oh, dear. Within its densely packed leaves, a high-powered nutrient boost in a miniature form factor. And yet mealtime after mealtime, it is recklessly cast aside. Well, more for me. The body knows when it's lacking something. Funny that it doesn't tell the mind why, though. <laughs> well, that's kind but of true. I have taken the hint, and I'll do those brilliant horticulturalists of Belgium one Actually, no, better. I'll leave these, leave these in there. Oh, I can't know. You yeah. see, these little morsels are a prime candidate for experimentation in my new submersible multifunction lab. A closed-loop system complete with retractable solar dome. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Dr. Tully, it is almost time for your appointment. Already? Huh. The joys of getting older. Trudy pushed me to go see a doctor after she remarked that I looked like a plate of wet ham. But very well. Mustn't be late and keep Dr. Applebaum waiting. Shona says you're very welcome. <laughs> Alright, so what we want to do is we're gonna now put on our full set of armor again. Because in this room, there's gonna be a new thing that we haven't seen yet. Well, unless you're an OG grinder player like a lot of us are, but in case you're not, then this is gonna be a new type of enemy. We're gonna open this door, and you'll see if we come in here. It looks like a tasty, but this guy can actually shoot uh, plasma spears at you. So we're going to peep him. There you go. And that is an arc R. And yeah, he's uh, he can also uh, generate a shockwave as well. So as you can see, uh, we want to back away from that. If you have a shield, you can block it, but you cannot block it otherwise. And there we go. Just like a tasty, just keep smacking him till he dies. Clubs and hammers are the best thing to use on him, but you can use whatever you like and whatever you have access to. And then in here, we got ourselves a bit more silk rope, a couple of quartzite marble as well. And there's another uh, thingy right here. Here we go. Ham's test day 15. No change from last week, but I feel we're on the cusp of something here, and I've got an idea. I shot awake this morning, sweating with a memory of the frenetic uh, energy of fitness infomercials that popped on before the kids' Saturday morning cartoon shows, and in those early hours, being annoyed at the greasy glow of skin stretched tightly over bursting muscles, screaming about some trivial new invention, Bane's halting with hot blood. But that movement and excitement, that's what's missing. Our wilted petit shoe need to get pumped up. With this inspiration, we are moving forward with an admittedly odd Hail Mary procedure for Generation 2, vascular grafting. 
At the time of writing this, we've already removed the cumbersome stem from the growth process, rendering these auxiliary buds longing for a new system to be a part of. I've had Burgle harvest the, the appendicular artery off the old jarred appendix, and have begun splicing them into the sprout roots, mending the union with a, min with a manner of agar glue. The, the systems of both man and plant are not that different after all. But could they be this compatible? Maybe they could. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, there is a bed down here just in case you need to reset your respawn. You know, it'll help to just like respawn down here. And there's also a workbench here. So say if you need to like craft anything, then you know, you can craft stuff down here. Yeah, I can actually make myself a, a koi helmet here. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I can make myself a guild tube if I want to. But yeah, usually a lot of the stuff down here will actually allow you to make a guild overridden. And there's no way we can do it from here. So unfortunately, we're going to need to go and trip some breakers manually to get this done. Now before we head back, we're going to put on our diving gear again. And then we're going to head back down here and see how we go. So now we're going to swim down here. And there are three breakers that we need to trip. So let's go and get each of these in turn. The first one is, you've probably actually seen it as you've gone past. It's right over here. So we're going to just swim past here. And you can see this little red icon here. The breakers look like this. We're looking for three of these. And here's the first one. We're going to trip that one. Breaker number two. If you're struggling to find them, look for the wires coming out from the lab and follow them, and it will show you where they are. So the second one, as you can see, there's a wire that's going this way. So follow the wire along. As you can see, it's kind of like going up and over here. And then if you come down here, you'll see that breaker number two is over here. There you go. Now, in this area, we're going to be uh, ambushed by a diving bell spider, so let's just take care of him. Now, for breaker number three... If you haven't got the bubble helmet, I recommend getting full air first. If you have got the bubble helmet, then it's fine. Don't worry about it. But you can also kill a diving bell spider that's near the area to get your air back as well. It's completely up to you. But for break number three, it's actually inside the sunken section of Pond Lab. So we're going to swim down here. And we're going to go into this door. And we're just going to follow this along. And then breaker number three is going to be up and over here. Now, there's a lot of stuff to get in here, so we're going to do this quickly. First of all, we've got this breaker number three. We've also got a milk molar that's just down here. So it's actually in the in the roots just down here. We've got ourselves a molar. So let's get that one. There you go. And we've got that little guy. Only need to drop out one of the roots to get it, and you can kind of glitch through it. Now, if you go over here, you can see a scabby here. Um, we're going to get that. There's also a skeleton here as well. So we're going to get our scabby. we got a scabby. And that is the frostbite one. And over here, we can find another photo. We can also find a toxicology badge, which we'll talk about in a minute. And we've also got the recon journal for the toxicologist. Today, I head back below the depths. When I caught a glimpse of my last uh, frigid dive has piqued my interest. Some manner of cultivated fleshy variant of cru uh, uh, cruciferous vegetable. Holistic remedies are not really my forte, but the benefits of, this, uh, of the subterfane in Brussels sprouts are well established. Could there be an enhancement of that compound lurking within these yoke monstrosities? Only a field study can answer that and maybe provide some insight on the effects we're experiencing down here. I've been observing from a distance, but I saw the intern the other day. He doesn't seem well. Absolutely avoiding from now on. I should not like to have another run-in with that with that giant koi fish, but she seems somehow less dangerous. Anyway, dip down, get a sample, and head back to base for some actual science. The kids haven't been around for weeks. I think it's safe. <laughs> Clearly not safe. All right, so now I'm going to swim back out of here. And uh, let's get out of here. So come out of here, come out of here, and then you can actually, uh, there, there is actually like a crack in the window down here, so if you're struggling for air, you can actually swim through this little crack to get out a little bit quicker, and once you've done all three of the breakers, this thing will open. However, we're not going to go there right yet, right yet, because there is one more scabby that we can find, a very sneaky one, that's just down here. You can see it like kind of through here, so we're going to go down here and grab it. It helps to have wide interaction on for this one, um, so grab the algae around it, and then we should be able to get the scabby when we get near. We got a scabby, yeah! And that one is the muck scabby. And there we go, we got it. And now I can get out. Of, we can get out of here. And the pond lab is now open for us, so we can just literally swim up right up here. And there we go. Pond lab is done. All right, now we'll jump out, and there we are. And we're in! There you go, so we managed to trip the breakers. We're now in the pond lab. Uh, Comics Guild passes Max's Guild. Yay! Well done, guys. Uh, let's see. So now we've got to press this button over here. So press that one. And as you can see, that'll lead us kind of like back around into this room that we've already been in. Don't really need to worry about that. But what it will also do is open a door over on this side. And this is where we need to go next. So we're going to go here, get some science. 
Next, we're going to head around here. And if we actually head around the, as a side here, we'll see a couple of things. There's some quartzite here, so we'll grab that. And we've also got some uh, some hams tests as well here. Hams test day 36. Generation 7 fitness stable. Vascular systems have evolved into something inspirational. Scrout muscular amplification research is going swimmingly. Generation 4 being taught the rhythm of the flesh in a way the fungal networks could transmit was certainly key. Each node is forming in tandem at, at peak efficiency. Condensed crop cycle manipulation is accelerating general hi generational hybrid evolution at an unprecedented rate. Hams is proven to be a highly advantageous apparatus. Super dense Brussels sprouts, muscle sprouts, conducting a ripe symphony of proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates via the push and pull of plant and muscle fibers. The application here for sustainable, humane and omnivorous diets are tantalizing. Notes. Consider an aerobics program for the lab monitor array to increase nitrification and introduce a motivational aspect to growth. Plug data into Burgle's recipe module. Finally, something we can share a common bond over. All right, there we go. Uh, Marie says, uh, my phone is on three battery. No! <laughs> says, uh, don't forget about the uh, the magic key for the treasure boxes down here. Oh, yeah, we'll be getting that too. Uh, right. So next up, we got our treasure chest right here. We shall grab that. And let's talk about the toxicology badge. So toxicology badge is actually very good if you haven't got a gas mask and you're trying to fight sting bugs. Toxicology bag is good. It doesn't give you complete gas immunity and it will make you weak to poison. So if you fight a spider wearing this, probably not a good idea, but it will give you 90% gas uh, resistance. So that means you can pretty much face tank a stink bug a lot easier wearing this before you get a gas mask. So if you don't have a gas mask and you don't really want to go through the hedge looking through websites to get sting bug parts, just get this toxicology badge, use that, and just pack a couple of bandages with you and you'll be able to outheal the gas damage. And as long as you're good at fighting it without, you know, getting hit too much, it should actually be uh, actually should be pretty good. All right, so now now we need to actually get into this room over here. So there's a room there, but as you can see, uh, well, it's kind of locked from this side. However, there is a path down here that we can go through. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get the light here and we're going to swim down. Now, when we swim down over here, we should find a little hole in the floor. So we're going to swim down through this hole in the floor. And then there is a chest right here. So don't forget, don't miss that one. It's got 15 quartzite in it. You do want that one. All right. Now we're going to just kind of push through a little bit. And then we're going to go up like this. There's going to be a spider in here. So we want to make sure we take care of this guy. See if we can uh, take care of you. There you go. Got him. Right. Now what we want to do is we want to kind of look through uh, look through here. There's a bit of quartzite there, so we'll go grab that. There's actually two bits of quartzite down here. Uh, some of those might help to go into first person here. Actually, this bit I will go into first person because it's kind of helpful to see a bit clearer. Right. Now you're in first person. When you come through the second piece of lab, swim to this part of the wall and head to the left side, and you'll find the Koi figurine. This is one of the seven figurines you'll need to find to upgrade Rascal Rogue. You need all seven for level three. This is the second one. The aphid one is in the hedge. The koi one you can find right here. All right, now I'm going to dig through this clay. And if we dig through here, we will find another scabby uh, and get all your wonderful little statues too. I know you're the master of this. Oh, yeah, we'll get it. We're, we're getting them. We're getting them. Right, here we go. And as you can see, we've got a scabby right here. We got a scabby. Yeah. And that one is the ginger spice scabby. Also get some clay down here if you need it. And then once you've done that, that's pretty much everything you're going to find down here. There's not too much more to find. You know, a bit more clay and everything if you need it. But, you know, you can get clay easily. You've probably got a ton of clay by now anyway. So probably not really too necessary. And then you can come out of here. And now we're going to switch back to our other armor to keep ourselves a little bit safer. All right. So we're going to come over here first. I'm going to turn off my uh, turn off my light here. I'm going to the bar to heal up fully. Right. There's a uh, file over here. So we're going to read this one now. We've got Muscle Sprout Test Kitchen. Results for Dr. Wendell Tully. Prepared by Burgle. Ingredient assessment. Test samples are currently 0.833% of target production size. Complex and somewhat tense muscular nuggets. Several flaps overlap to protect a central organ. All entirely edible. An innate sense of fitness and survival compels them to fight against p, -p, -p preparation A smack of the spatula calms them right down. Initial research, er, initial recipe module analysis indicates use as a replacement for dry aged beef liver. Unexpected. Compiling flavor profile compatibility. Results? Onions. <laughs> liver and onions. There we go. And then if we come over here, we will have a cassette tape right here. Two granola bars. Dr. Applebaum has pronounced me in perfect health. For a man 20 years my senior. And then we can press this button, mash the keys, I must face the and that will unlock the next load of doors. The gray hairs, the wrinkles, they are not figments of the imagination. I can draw only one reasonable conclusion. It is the elusive fractional errors of the shrinking process which are the cause. Oh dear. 
Trudy has asked that I discontinue my experiments, but what choice do I have? If I quit now, I will have nothing. What will I be other than a failed inventor and scientist with no discoveries to his name, unable even to teach the basics of and physics Reece, to uh, a guy gotta go. all See you tomorrow. All right, Marie, all right, Marie, thank you so much for popping along. Hopefully you'll see you next time, and have a good rest life. of your day. And so be it. All right, so now we come out here, there will actually be some tasties in the stream. Uh, but, you know, we got the pitch tracker, so we should be able to kind of tank our way through here pretty easily. There you go, so we can just like smack them, get through those. Very nice. And we get a little bit of raw science. And then let's see what else we got. This room here, we can go through. There is a tasty in this room too. There you go. So yeah, we can use our pinchwhack on these guys. We can fight the tasties like a tasty and see how they like it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so tasty. <laughs> Don't even need to boil it. Right. Need to drink some fluids, and then we're gonna make our way up here. So yeah, in, in this last bit, just follow the footprints and it will show you where to go. So we'll go up here. And then if we go into here, get some more bandages and stuff. See if there's anything else up here. I don't believe there is. So we've got everything in this little area here. And then this last room is where we're going to have another little bit of a fight. So here we go. Let's see. And uh, Riz says, remember me. Of course I remember you. <laughs> right. There we go. Let's go and take care of these guys first. There we go. Now we got a lot of these guys to fight, so... Oop. I got zap zaps in the back here. Yeah, but yeah, these guys will uh, be a bit of a challenge, though. So. Oh, owie. Yeah, that's why I put my full set of armor on, because it's going to make it a bit easier. There you go, back over it. Yeah, that one, like, bounced off the other one. Got him. All right, let's run out here. Let me pop a granola. There you go. And there we go. Just like that, they're all down. Nice, and we actually got the Arkar Gold card, which is really good. You should get the Arkar Gold card once you've done the Pond Lab, because there's no more natural spawning ones after this. They actually only appear in the Pond Lab, oddly enough. Okay, so we got a uh, we got a thing here to do some analysis with. There we go, Grave, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Very much appreciated. How was your stream? I hope it went really, really good. What have you been getting up to, dude? Hope your stream went really, really well. Thank you so much for popping along. <laughs> How was, uh, what were you playing today? Were you doing some seven days community day? And uh, for anyone who doesn't know who I am, I'm Maxwell's Gaming, I'm a UK survival streamer, and my main game is Grounded. And as you can see, right now we're playing some Grounded. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome in Raiders as well. Uh, Grace says, uh, it went well, seven days, yeah. Nice, dude, what did you get up to in your seven days today? Um, okay, so we can also get the Rotten Spinger Steer, uh, Spinger Steer? Stinger Spear? A uh, Spinger Steer, yeah. We can get the Rotten Stinger Spear analyzed. There you go. That'll do another one. And then we need to make our way over here. So there's a few more things we can find in this room. So don't just like blitz through the room. There's actually a few things to find in here. So there's actually another scabby right here. So guys, we got a scabby. Yeah. And then we can also find some quartzite along here. So we're going to try and grab all that. Um, and there's a couple of like notes and folders and stuff to find in here. So yeah, there's a chest right here with some more marble and quartzite. There is a folder right here. Here we go. Ham's test day seven. Nominal results, not even marginally different from initial pretest runs. Nitrogen cycles levels remain optimal, and the local fungal network appears robust. Brussels sprouts seem slightly loose and fairly limp. They need something to promote growth, but I can't put my finger on it. Other phalangeal observations. Trudy finds her ring better suited for the koi pond substrate than her hand. Notes. Work on making calls to the house. Tell Burgle to fish that ring out of the pond. Back. The fishwife's ring. It sank to the ground in a sparkle by light. Twas lost and then snuffed. A snake coy's bite. Her big wiggly mouth. The glistening thing. It swallowed up whole the glittering ring. Twin bubbles flicker. Her fins they did flap. It appears she was choking. Her door slided slap. Held to the beyond. The ring was now free. As well as one eye. Which then winked at me. Are you my wife now? Asked with my heart big and true. I've googled her response. Oh, it's your fishwife. My name's Trudy too. <laughs> Alright, there's that one. There's a... Analyze the thing right there as well, so we can use that if we need to for like a resource surveyor. All right, we'll keep going around because there is more to find. So we're gonna keep go keep on look. So there's the analyzer right there. So now we need to do is essentially check the middle of the room. Actually, that might be everything actually at this point. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually everything in this room. So that's everything on the lower part, and now we can actually go up into the biodome. Right. One one important thing here. Um, it might have been fixed now, but I'm not sure. We're gonna walk up here. All right. Okay, so it does discover. Before, you actually had to look up to discover the Pond Dome. So if you don't discover the Pond Dome when you come here, make sure you look straight up and you will discover it. But now we'll find a couple of other things. We have another Burgle Chip. There you go. There's the second one. We also have another Duper Disc. This is Duper Disc number two. 
Gray says, I saw the new map that I actually hosted. Was surprised there wasn't more problems. Only one game crashed. Nice. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad it was I'm glad it went really well. Alright. The data disk contains firmware for the super duper in the Oak Lab. Loading disks activates the machine's software and increases the raw science processing limits required for duplicating more complex objects. Very nice. And then over here, we can also find another thing called Fight with Trudy. However, we're not gonna go there yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way around this side. Because over here, there's actually a very well hidden folder back here. Ham's test day 91. Alas, failure once again. Product candidate generation 21 could not be scaled without catastrophic side effects. Dialing back to generation 9's parameter set to find a path forward. The big brains over at Mouthtown came back with nothing but the grand idea to grind them up into crunchy gristle for the breakfast table. Hardly well changing. They mock me! If only they could taste the meals Burgle had prepared these last few weeks. If only the sprouts survived the scaling process the way the earlier generations had. It's a shame that cellular maturity is required for the sprouts to become viable as a product, but something about reaching advanced biological age is incompatible with the expanding process. Is it purely because the tissue damage and regrowth cycle is on a substantially compressed timeline? They'd be not much older than myself if I converted to human chronological age, and I haven't experienced effects such as this. Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, so now what we're going to do is uh, you'll also find in this area there are actually muscle sprouts here. These things are actually our second type of smoothie base. So you know how we can make a smoothie with uh, grub sludge? You can actually make them with muscle sprouts as well. And any smoothie that you make with muscle sprouts will heal you twice as much as any smoothies made from grub sludge. So essentially this is like making smoothies out of this stuff is like making a two-in-one smoothie. Uh, unfortunately our inventory is full, but we can just get rid of some spiderwebs here because uh, I don't need them on me. Uh, nope, I want to... I want to trash it, damn it. Uh, hang on, let me do that again. <laughs> I want to trash it, damn it. Go away. No, go away. Uh, yeah, trash that. Nice, there you go. So yeah, we'll grab all these muscle sprouts here. Now, what you want to do is these first little muscle sprouts, you don't immediately want to make them into smoothies. If you can plant them in a garden patch, plant them in a garden patch, because then you can start growing your own but if you do happen to use them all, they will respawn here after about six in-game days. It does take a while. And once you've done that, we can go and open this thing right here. So we've got a connection error. So all we've got to do is just you know, mash the keys, sort the connection out. And there we go. The Pond Dome is now open. We win! All right. And now this will also open up a couple other doors in the pond that were previously closed. So there's the first door, and there's the second door. This one you may recognize as being under the oak tree, uh, under the oak tree, and the other one that you'll recognize as being under the pagoda. But there we go. Kelly must be one heck of an engineer to be able to build something like this. Exactly, exactly, Pete. And then we've got this last cassette tape, Fight with Trudy. Here we go. This time you've gone too far, Wendell Tully. You've done the unthinkable, trespassed the unforgivable. N you missed Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> oh dear. Who can blame Trudy? I know that I pushed things to the breaking point and that she has grit her teeth and borne it. She told me that she could not bear to watch me destroy my life, let alone hers, the children's, in single-minded pursuit of this technology. Never in all the years of knowing her has she given me such a cold, immovable ultimatum. My science or my family. But if only she could see. I am doing this for them. I understand it has been hard. It has been harder on no one more than myself. If only I had more time. If I could just prove to them the wonders that are so, so close now, they would understand, wouldn't they? And if they did not, perhaps they never understood me at all. All right. Uh, let's see. So uh, let me see. No, I'm all cool. I'm a chat. Okay, so that's another cassette we can find. Right. So one of the doors that was opened was down over here. So you can see this door here now is open. So we can swim in here and let's see what we can find. So we're going to come up here. And we're going to swim up inside. And as you can see, there is uh, there is actually like a button here. I uh, can't really do anything with it. It's just, you know, active. Doesn't really do anything. A couple, uh, couple of bits of sunken lab here. Now you can see there's a door here, but it actually requires a key card. It requires an assistant manager key card. And unfortunately, we don't have that yet. So we're going to have to come back here later. But don't leave immediately, because if you come through here, there's raw science right there. There you go. So there's our raw science. Very, very nice. But yeah, we're going to have to come back here a little bit later on once we've got the key card. There is also one more door that opened, so let's go to that. That other door is actually under the uh, it's actually under the pagoda, right? So we're going to go for that one. Uh, hang on. I think I heard some... Uh, I 
think I had some raw science around here, but I'm not too sure. Uh, right, I need to drink some stuff. Yeah, let's go over here. So we'll keep we'll keep low so the fish doesn't see us as well. Because yeah, if the fish sees you, then you know that's gonna that's gonna be a bad that's gonna be a bad time. <laughs> so yeah, try to stay away from the fish if possible. I just got lucky in the fact that it's kind of like stay where it was. All right, so there's two more things we have to do. We have to find one more open door in the pond. So we're gonna go for that for now. So. As we said before, this other open door is under the pagoda here. So we're going to go and open that one. Uh, Alicia, say, Alicia says, uh, imagine how OP a spring boat with veteran diver would be right now. <laughs> I, w I wish they did have like, uh, I wish they did have some underwater, some underwater things, honestly. Like some more underwater range weapons. Because I know you can like throw spears, but some underwater weapons would be nice. But how you doing? Uh, how you doing? Um, uh, oh, no, it's, uh, sorry, Alida, not Alicia. My bad. I read the D as a CI. My bad. <laughs> how you doing, Alida? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, here's the other one, and as you can see, we've got some science in here. A couple of bits of, uh, couple of, bits of uh, marble there, but as you can see, once again, we have another door that requires an assistant manager key guard. We can't go in there yet either, so we're going to have to have to come back here a little bit later. Uh, there's nothing else really that we can find in this room, so it's time for us to leave. All right, but we're not done with the pond yet. As you guys may remember, before we did the pond lab, there is a treasure chest, right? And that treasure chest has a key to it somewhere. It has a mossy key somewhere. But where? Where could the mossy key be? Well, it's time for me to show you how to find it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way across again, and we're going to go across to the pond depths. So we're going to just like swim over here till we find where we've got to go. I think it's just beyond here. Usually the usually spiders sort of mark the entrance to where it is. It's a little bit, it's actually a little bit tricky. You can kind of easily miss it if you're coming from the lily pads. Right, so there's the lily pads up there. Our base is... Actually, no, I think we've actually gone right past it. Our base is over there, so it's actually backwards a bit. But yeah, an easy way to find it, though, if you do get lost, like I do sometimes, come up to the lily pads. And essentially, it is going to be... So my base on that one, it's going to be this lily pad. From this lily pad, swim straight down. And then you should see the light straight away. There it is. Yeah, so I did go right past it. There you go. So yeah, swim straight down. Look for the light. And there we go. And now what we're going to do, to finish off the pond for now, is find... Um, is find what we need down here. So yeah, we gotta go find this key. But where could the key be? The key could be somewhere, but no one knows where. Apart from me, and probably a lot of other people as well who played around it before. But uh, but apart from me, <laughs> nobody knows where the key could be. But I'm here to show you where it is. So we're gonna swim over here, and we are going to go across this way towards the uh, towards that broken section of the lab where we had to trip the breaker before. There we go. And uh, we got Kazi Cottage. Thank you so much for the raid. I very much appreciated. How was your stream? What were you doing today? You doing a just chatting stream? Or were you playing some Sly Rancher? Or what were you doing today? Welcome in. How's everyone doing? And welcome into the raiders as well. Anyone who doesn't know who the hell I am. And Kaj, how you doing, dude? Thank you so much for coming along as well with the raid. <laughs> I hope you guys had a good stream, though. Uh, I'm Maxwell Gaming, UK survival streamer. And uh, Ground is my man. Dubs. Hey, Dubs. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, you're playing Grounded. You're playing Grounded? You're playing grounded. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, man. That's awesome. How do you, how do you find it? I hope you, had a lot, I hope you had a lot of fun with it. Currently, we are doing the uh, the pond, and you know, I'm showing people where to get the mossy key to open this uh, to open this uh, treasure box. Because yeah, we kind of need the mossy key um, so we can get our burgle chip and continue on. Uh, like I said, it scared me. <laughs> well, okay, why did it scare you? Was it, did you get like a wall spider on you or something? All right. Once we're in this room, you'll know you're in the right place because there are three diving bell spiders in there. But there is a bubble in here, fortunately. So it's kind of helpful to have the dagger here because of the bleed damage will uh, rock on the spiders, so that can help you a little bit. There's one. So we're gonna kill all three spiders. There we go. There's two. Yeah, bleed bleed on your dagger helps in this room. Makes the fight a little bit shorter. There we go. Okay, now what we need to do is look for the mossy key. So essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to swim around till we find it. And what you should what you should do is uh, find it leaning against one of these roots down here. So let's see if we can find it. There it is, right there. So yeah, this pipe, this kind of curvy section of pipe that leads around it, you'll find it right there. It blends in very, very well. So you will need a light to see it. But there we go. We got ourselves a mossy key. And with that, we can go and open the mossy chest, and we can get a couple of extra little uh, little bits and bobs from there, and then we can go back to Burgle and hand it all in. So let's go do that. 
let's go take on you as well. I remember, every time you take out a diving bell spider, you will get some extra oxygen. So if you're running low on air, say if you only come down here with the guild tube, uh, take out the diving bell spiders on the way. And then leave one for your way back so you have plenty of air to work with. Now what we've got to do is just take the jet stream and go this way, and we should be good. Cat says, uh, I'm going to keep at it though. It's not my usual type of game, so I think I just need a bit of practice. Uh, oh, just a little spider, but that was enough. Yeah, honestly, it will, it will literally just come down to practice, honestly. But yeah, just keep, just keep at it. To keep at it, trust me. It might take a little bit of might take a bit of a learning curve, especially with the combat at first, but yeah, just keep at it and you'll get it. Alright, now we've got this chest. We're gonna open this chest right here. There we are. And we've got ourselves 700 raw science, which is awesome. And we can go into here. And there we go. We've now got ourselves another burgle chip and another mega milk mauler. And with that, that is pretty much everything that we can find down in the pond depths, all done and done. We've got all the scabbies, we've got all of the uh all the burgle chips down here. And that's pretty much the pond done and done. We don't really need to worry about it too much more anymore. So now we can essentially make our way out of here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to make our way up and out of here. And we're going to head back to the Oak Lab and hand all this stuff in. And for now, we can just retire our swimming gear because that's pretty much everything in the pond that we need. And there's not really that much more we have to do down there. So now I can take off our... Uh, Take off our light, store everything. There you go. And here we go. So that's looking good. Right, now I also want to store the muscle sprouts into my smoothie box. Because, yeah, now we've got muscle sprouts. So we're going to need these for later on. Toxicology badge can now go into... I can actually turn this light off. Toxicology badge and this uh, light can go in there. We might need this light a little bit later. But for now, they can go in there. Eat those, eat those, and then re-equip our armor. So these guys can go in there as well. There you go. We're just going to store it in there. Oh, I was meant to eat these. Uh, whoops. <laughs> eat these. And then I guess I can just drink this. Uh, I can drink this as well. Uh, so do that one and give me that. There we go. That will keep my uh, keep my hunger low for a little higher for a bit. And then, yeah, this uh, this rotten... This rotten thing. Can we analyze that one? No, I think we did it already. That rotten one can go in there as well, because we don't need to keep hold of that. So there we go. And uh, hey, Natural Chaos says, a whole Carnage family. Hey, the entire Carnage family. Welcome in, guys. <laughs> How you doing, Chaos? I hope you're doing well, dude. Thank you so much for popping in as well and coming along with the raid. All right, so I think that's everything there that we need. Okay, so is there anything else I need to take with me? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, gas mask I'll need for next time. And there we go. So now I've got to do, guys, is hand everything into Burgle. And we should be good. There you go. So let's go make our way over to Burgle then. Hand that all in. Oh, and before we do anything, let me swap mutations again. So back to Natural Explorer so we can run a bit faster. There we are. And let's get out of here. So back to Burgle. And then we can hand him in the super chip we found and the auxiliary chip. And that will give us a bit more raw science to work with and unlock as well. And we can probably get some more quests to do for next time as well. Because there's, there's probably plenty more that we need to do. So let us go through here. And let's go get this. Uh, let's go get this chip handed in and everything unlocked. So, first of all, come to Burgle. Uh, he's over here. Hello, Burgle. Hello there, acting science manager Burgle, at your service. Why, hello there, Burgle. How can I help you today? All right. Well, first of all, let's hand in the auxiliary chip. Here you go. Uh, more chips. There you go. Thank so, you. 2,500 raw science. Hand it over and let us see what I can remember. Hmm, much better. Check the ASL Terminals Science Shop for the new recipes. All right, I found another super chip as well. I knew I could count on you. There you go. Please hold while I update my file. Two thousand raw science, very nice. Here we go. Processing, processing. Whoo! Better than ever. My diagnostic module is now restored. Hooray! Analysis shows the spacer suffered a catastrophic failure in the embiggening cell. Did you come up with that name? If only. Sadly, I can only explain its function. The embiggening cell stores and regulates interatomic energy transfer during the spacing expansion phase of the spacer. Put simply, it controls the rate of growth of the subject and prevents overexpansion, which can be quite messy. Ah, tell me more about the growth stuff. Yes. Um. If the subject's rate of growth is not precisely regulated, overexpansion will cause bioorganic subjects, such as yourself, to pop like a gremlin in a microwave. Hooray! Yemli! How you doing, Yemli? Welcome back. <laughs> Are you off work now? Um, so it was a Maxo, help me! <laughs> Why, Yemli? What's up? What's up? <laughs> How you doing, Yemli? Thank you so much for popping back in. I hope work's going okay. Er, scientifically speaking, of course. 
Okay, so what does this all mean, Virgil? And uh, thank you, uh, th hey, thank you, Natural Cast, for giving Emily a shout out. Very much appreciate it. I got, I got a mod in training right here. <laughs> nice. Emily <laughs> uh, says uh, there's there's too there's too many games to play. Uh, there's there's too many games to play. Uh, Pally has another patch coming up next week. Another one? Fucking hell. <laughs> well, um, I would just play grounded, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just just wait for Pally's patch and play grounded right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay, you know what? You know what? Hang on. Since uh, since we since na since natural chaos seems to have a natural aptitude for modding, just like natural carnage. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Let's go. Uh, let's let's go do this. <laughs> uh, just just for, just for the um, just uh, just just for the just for the day. Here you go. Here you go, chaos. You now have the sword privileges for the day. There you go. Since you, since you, since you've, uh, since, since you've shown some attitude for modding, there you go. I'll give, you, I'll give you the sword for a day. There you go. <laughs> so now you can give people shoutouts if you want to. There you go. Thank you so much as well for for helping with the money. It's very much appreciated. Yo know, says, uh, I'm so busy working with grounded right now. Yeah, honestly, I would stick with grounded. Just stick with that for a little while. Hey, crazy fish, welcome back, dude. He says, Let's go. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Welcome back again. All right, so Virgil, what does this all mean? Like to have first. All right. Uh, let's have the bad news first. The bad news is that the spare cell I have is empty. Okay. What is the good news? The good news was that I have a spare cell. Yay! But empty? The cell must be filled with a special mixture, a cocktail, if you will. Another breakthrough invention by Dr. Tully. And uh, Kel says, appreciate it. You're welcome, dude. Uh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can be mod for a day. <laughs> uh, he says, uh, I'm so busy with grounded right now. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we're grounded. And do do all that and then go back to Pally after that. Um, he says, my head's about to explode, Maxo. No. <laughs> Yadley, just think of the lava and how much you lava the lava. But then you're going to think that you don't lava the lava and you want to smash the lava. Then when you think you want to smash the lava, it's going to stop that overexpansion and explosion of your head. Just like the embiggening cell will stop overexpansion of your body and grounded. And then your head's going to like contract back to normal size because then you're going to be uh, then you're going to be there you go now you're on a one track mind to go keel all the lava so now you're you don't have to worry about your head exploding because now you have Lee. you know what your mission is you must keel the lava <laughs> all right um it says um uh i thought the infused lava and they are they are la so lava ugly <laughs> yeah they are, yeah the infused guys are crazy aren't they in new game plus it's awesome though all right Hold, please while i push the recipe for the embiggening cocktail to your scabby Alrighty, let's go for it. Processing. Processing. Error. Missing directory. The directory you attempted to copy does not exist. Boo doo doo. Boo doo doo. Yeah. Cheese and fries. It appears the formula for the embiggening cocktail is not in my memory. It must be on one of the remaining super chips. Huh. Okay then, Bagel. We will need that recipe in order to fill the embiggening cell and send you home. I am sorry. It seems like the forces of nature are trying to keep you in this yard, but I believe you are here for a reason. Hold on to the empty cell for me, and when you feel ready, retrieve another super chip to see if we can piece this puzzle together. Yeah, all right. And the other's like, shut up, Burgle. <laughs> Guy's just like laughing right now. <laughs> uh, okay, then, Burgle. Uh, well, let's head off and try and find you another chip at some point, but here we go. Goodbye, Burgle. Please come again soon. I am extremely lonely. You're always extremely lonely. You won't be lonely after this. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and see what new quests that we have to unlock. Here we go. So new things now. We have the Buoyant Foundations. Uh, we've got the Mutation. Uh, we'll go for the Curve Floors, actually. we got 11k raw science. So we'll go for the Curve Floors. And we'll go for the Cooking Recipes, of course. And then in this one, we've got Slap Burst. We've got Fin Flops Plus and Diving Lantern Plus. Um... I may as well go for some of these, haven't I? I guess we'll go for the slap burst. That's probably the most useful one. And now we've got 3,000 left. So I guess we'll go for uh, this one, which is going to be the fall damage one. There you go. Because Battle Buddies is not going to be very good for me right now. But this one will work just fine. And there we go. Guys, we're down, we're down to 70 raw science. Oh, no. Why? Why only 70? Someone help. <laughs> okay. So that's all done. Um... And that's pretty much all the stuff now handed into Burgle. We do have two more molars, but I don't think I can spend them yet. No, we need we need to we still need to find some more, which is fine. He says, ah, did Burgle really say he's lonely? Yeah, he did. He says, uh, he says, take my raw science. <laughs> Here, take my raw science, Burgle. It'll make you feel better. All right. I could use something to drink. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to. Uh, let's go head back and do some drinks and stuff. It. All right. 
So, I tell you what, um, I'm going to end on the stream in just a sec, though. So, I tell you what we're going to do. Uh, as as mod for the day, Natural Chaos, could you give uh, Carnage and Dubs a shout out? Could you do that for me if you're still there? If not, don't worry. But if you're still there, could you do that for me? If you can, that'd be great. If not, then uh, Carnage, let me know, and I will. Uh, I'll do it from my end. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and off here, guys. So let me go and see. Um, I have like 110 cases. Like, Holy shit, that's a lot of signs. <laughs> yeah, you do get a lot though in New Game Plus, though, don't you? You get you get like uh, you get a lot of these things in New Game Plus. Um, so yeah, that's that's a thing, right? Um, because I think for every creature that's infused, you get 3k from it, don't you, right? And um, Reese says, uh, Reese says, can I have a shout out? Um, I don't think I got them set up on my other side of things, but I tell you what, I will, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me wait, can I even do it on this side of things? I don't, I'm not quite sure how it works on the YouTube side. Let me have a little bit, uh, uh, a little look. but welcome back, by the way, Marie. Um, let's see, well, I'll do, I'll do the command for you anyway and see if it works. Um, uh, let's see, does that work from my side? Ah, no, I've got I've got to set up the bot on this side of things, but I'll tell you what I can do. Um, let me see if I can... Does it, not, does it not let me link to your... Uh, does it not let me link to your channel from here? Um, it doesn't, actually. Okay. I will have to see if I can get shoutouts set up then um, to see if I can make it work on YouTube because I'm not sure if I can get it to work on that side of things at the minute, but okay. I've, I, I've, I've tried it, though, but yeah, we'll see. Well, I'll see if I can get it to work at some point. I've not used the bot on this side in a while, so yeah, it's probably probably something to do with that as, as well, but yeah, we'll see if we can get it to work. All right, so let's go ahead and get some... Uh, let's go get get some someone to go raid, shall we? Because I do need to see who is available a raid right so well that, that's the question who is available for raid let's have a look so we'll go to my main twitch oh hang on i gotta I'm gonna do this through here right so go to main twitch and let me mute myself so you guys don't hear me twice there we go and wait why is my twitter open that's probably why my pc's been running so crappy because twitter's open damn it um okay so is anyone right now playing grounded i see crazy fish playing grounded but we also have raiden playing valheim and we also have let me see we've also got uh east coast galactos playing valheim as well okay do you guys want to see more grounded or do you guys want to see more or do you guys want to see valheim uh in the raid so if you want to see if you want to see some grounded we'll go we'll go raid crazy fish if you guys want to see some uh valheim then we can go to uh we'll probably go to to raiden uh so uh, thank you uh, th uh thanks for helping me with that uh, with the totem there you're welcome you're welcome Rio. i'm glad i can help you out with that yes it's, it's honestly it was one that i never knew of and, until someone actually showed me so it's very well hidden one uh kind of says grounded for me okay Okay, uh, so that'll be Crazy Fish is currently doing grounded right now. Um, is there anyone else doing grounded, or is it just Crazy Fish? I think it's just Crazy Fish doing it. Yeah, we got someone, some people doing a shrouded. Uh, yeah, it says grounded. <laughs> All right. Well, I think the masses have spoken. All right. So in that case, then let me go and do some shoutouts. Then, so first of all, then we've got one for uh, got one for Natural Carnage. There you go. One for you. Um, we've also got one for D Two Dubs. Um, I was going to see if Chaos wanted to do it, but I think he may have gone already. So um, we'll go do the shoutouts for these, for these guys. So awesome mods. And of course, as uh, we've got to give one for Chaos as well as, you know, a mod for the day. So thank you so much, Chaos, for, for you know, showing me your aptitude for modding. It was, uh, and, uh, you know, you did the shout out really good. It's just a shame I hadn't had you in a mod beforehand. But there you go. Let's give you a, let's give you a shout out as well. You know, you've, uh, and I hope you enjoyed your sword for the day. <laughs> and uh, of course, we've got to give a shout out to the one and only Coffee Queen. Guys, if you haven't checked out Coffee Queen and you want to find another amazing streamer, then you definitely got to go and check out Coffee Queen. She's absolutely amazing. She's a beautiful woman and she's the love of my life. And not to mention that she's just, uh, she is just absolutely awesome. So yeah, thank you guys for coming along. And yeah, if you want to see like some more crochet stuff, then you've definitely got to go check her out as well. And of course we do have to give some, uh, I do have to give some shout outs for my raiders as well. So we have one for Mr. AD Grave. And of course, we have one for Cat as well. So if you guys want to find some other awesome streamers, Grave uh, is a fan of Seven Days to Die. So if you like that, then definitely go check out Grave. He also plays loads of other games as well, and he's like really into Entrouded as well. So if you like that too, then you've got to check that out too. And then of course, we've got one for Cat as well. So there you go. Have a have a have a shout out for Cat as well. And uh, she's getting into Grounded. So if you wanna if you wanna help support a new Grounded player and you know help get her up to speed on everything, then you definitely got to go check her out as well. Uh, you know, Carnage is uh, Carnage's other half. So if you like Carnage you'll probably like cat as well <laughs> so yeah definitely check them out as well uh dub says uh six uh, 681 000. Oh, is that how much you made on uh on sea of thieves nice dude but yeah um 
it a hey, crazy fish is back is he still still going oh he is still going okay crazy fish will go and send it will go and send everyone over to you then let's go and do that and uh because says please send help <laughs> and uh, he ever says dubs gimme <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and uh raid crazy fish oh he's so cray cray <laughs> all right let's go raid crazy fish and yeah because he's doing grounded right now so let's go ahead and get that started off over here as well and uh dub says get on the seas yevly <laughs> you guys gonna do some uh sea of thieves all right uh if I'd use the name Crazy Fish, oh, is it because I can't use the at sign? Okay, we'll do that then. Uh, raid Crazy Fish underscore UK. Here we go. Is that gonna work now? Um, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, now it works. Okay, that's better. Now it's working. <laughs> Dark says, Sail the seas, Yevs. Yevs says, My head's toasting already. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Sail those seas. You gotta show them pirates who's boss. And then you just you gotta sink him and you gotta say, Yar har. <laughs> all right, guys. That's gonna be all for me, though. I hope everyone enjoyed. Thanks, everyone, so much for tuning in and hanging out with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, hopefully next time we can get started by doing some of the other labs. So probably do the Haze Lab next time. Um, not sure I'll be live tomorrow, but if I am, I will let you guys know through my Discord. If you do want to find my Discord as well, then you got the uh, got the link right here. CMG, thank you so much for hanging out with us there as well. Hope you enjoyed your time on CFTs with Dubs. I um, let's go ahead and uh, give you guys a Discord just in case you guys want to come in there if you haven't found it already. And you know, I usually keep stuff updated on there or on my Twitter as well. So you know, you can find me on there. My links to everything is like down just below the stream as well in my little link tree. So if you want to find me anywhere else, then you can find me there. But guys, that's me all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll go. I'll go I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, guys.